Alright, no complaints, so we'll... We'll get going with it then. So! So, so, so. I had my punishment games last week. Well, I was meant to, only had one of them. Uh, but this was it. It was Animation Throwdown Quest for Cards. A uh, horrifically predatory card game that throws all sorts of counters and timers and currencies at you in an effort to make you part with your money to buy gems or gem equivalents to buy things to make your cards better. And uh, to that extent, it was Ultra Cancer. However, the underlying game I actually really enjoyed, and I continued to play after that stream. And uh, this is my first time playing it today, so naturally it's going to go, hey, your dailies and your prizes and your, yep, yeah, all those milestones, getting you into that endorphin-filling routine of opening boxes and getting goods and thinking, wow, I want this more, I'm going to pay money for it. I will not. So, what was so great about this? Well, I really just like the deck building. The meta deck building. See, you, you put these together before you go into your battle, you upgrade them here, you tend to them, you switch them out. I like building a deck like this. And more than anything, I like the fact that they were characters and places and items. They weren't actions, right? There isn't pommel with your, uh, your sword pommel here. There's not... Uh, heal up potion here, there's not swift strike here. No, it's, uh, hey, there's Mort from Family Guy and, and King of the Hills Bill Dotry, right? They're, they're characters and things that I can relate to and know, and I like that. I like the idea that Sterling Archer is marching in to fight, rather than just, oh, here's a, here's a quick blade attack. So that was pretty cool. Um, and the fact that I could level these up in my own time, also really cool. Did enjoy that. I've leveled up the Sterling Archer to be max level and he's been double forged or fused or whatnot. Uh, the problem is with this game is that the power creep is insane, so after my hours of playing I have three cards of epic rarity. But there are legendaries and there's something even beyond that, some golden cards, I can't remember what they are. But I, oh, okay. I don't think I did anything, but milestone complete. What are these gold things? I don't actually know. Uh, right, what is it? It's... Golden... No, these are, these are addict cards. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's an even better golden card to be had. But hey, why don't we do one unboxing? I have coins, apparently. Huzzah, we got ourselves a Steve card. So, so, so. I'm gonna play a few rounds of this and just talk about why I like it so much after we check our research. This is one of the more egregious monetization baits here. The amount of time it takes to research combos, and you can only do them once you research them, uh, is very painful. And of course you pay to speed it up. But one of the big problems is, uh, let's, let's say this. Oh man, just another high heat bill. Uh, I've got that. Anyway, if you figure out how to do, uh, let's say, Bill and Propane, huzzah, but you have to then research Bill and Rare Propane, let's imagine I had a Green Propane, you have to research that again just for the same bleeding combo. Painful stuff. Anyway, I don't think I'll throw any of them in because I doubt I'm going to play any more of this game beyond today. He says, just wait for it to burrow into his head some more. Oh, there, there are so many currencies, Salty Tempest. I wonder if we can actually see them all. Mm, you got a message for me? Oh, sure, give me my rewards. Wow, 5,000 coins! 500 Wonder Wharf coins! 500 Greater Epic Stones! And some Super Legendary Stones! And Giggity Watts! And coins! It's, it's weird how some of the things they've branded with the uh, with the shows here, so that's I think that's the Nixon coins from Futurama. Giggity Watts is probably from Glenn Quagmire in Family Guy, but it doesn't look very Glenn Quagmire-esque. This just seems super generic. I don't know if Wonder Wharf looks Futurama-ish, but I, I don't know about that one. Any other rewards? Oh god, they got a lot of rewards here. I'll lay them all on me. 
It's from Bob's Burgers. Okay, I've only seen about two episodes of Bob's Burgers, so never mind that. Ooh, I got enough golden poos. I'll be able to spend them on something. Hello, unfortunately, the Kif Malay began with a hiccup. So here are some things to apologize for that. Oh, okay. These things I needed to keep doing the arena, I think. I was playing yesterday and I was unable to play any more because all of my energy bars and timers just ran out. Two copies of something something, they were locked, blah blah blah, okay, I'll just give me the goods. So here are even more currencies for you. Ooh, with my milestone I get my... I get my more... Uh, what are these things even called? Super legendary stone, and I should have a thousand of them now, I can combine them. Of course, you only get the crappy milestone rewards if you're not a premium player. And hey, if you buy premium for only, oh my god, 20 buckaroos, you'll be able to get, oh, legendary cards. Legendary pre-combined cards, so you actually save a turn on deploying them. 750 giggity watts. Yeah, some actual good stuff. Oh, you wouldn't just get one ray card, you'd get two legendary ray cards, no less. Anyway, unbelievably disgusting. I might as well spend all of my money on Oh Hello. Could save him up to get guaranteed epic. No, I like to take my chances. And the game actually tells you your odds here. Look at that, 1.8% chance for an epic. I like those odds, give it to me. Mm, drugs is useful with all the attic things going on. Looking pretty grim. Ooh, when all hope looked lost, we managed to get ourselves a rare card. None of which I think are particularly good for me, but hey! Potentially, I could get these legendaries. What's the potential? Oh, wow. Not great. Give it to me anyway. We've, we've, got, we've gotten all the golden poos for it. Oh, we did! Not just a legendary, but a legendary pre-combined power card. Hang on, what was on that? Pretty low, I think, but this Tranquilized Dale is phenomenally powerful. Payback 7, Recover 7, Boost 6. Mmm, none too shabby. There we go, legendary power card, 2% chance, and we just grab it because we're like that. This is how they get you. Oh, oh, can't forget to click my rewards here. Does it have a drawback? Drawback? Oh, no, no, it's just become powerful to become more powerful. Anyway, Tranquilized Dale is definitely getting added to my card list here, and I will upgrade him to the maximum. Wow, these legendaries get pretty... Pretty juiced up every time you giggity watt them. And there we go. Now he's a level six. I would fuse him into an even better tranquilized Dale if I had another copy of this, but no. Oh, better get my daily for upgrading cards as well. And I should drop out a card, a weaker card. What do I have that's pretty weak and never used and never combined? I Dale is cool, but. I don't, I don't have any comp. No, I have one. I have a combo for Dale, don't I? Yeah, I do. I think I'll drop the baseball. I seldom use baseball. You want to fake out the dragon already? Well, too bad. Ooh. I got a, an already combined toad looking. Did I already have a toad looking that was combined? I do, I think. Yeah, meaning I could merge these two, so I just need to max you out. And then I can fusion you, and then the new Toad Licking will have two more defense than the old one, and can be upgraded again. And just like that, it leeches four health for every attack. Phenomenal. Why don't we actually play some freaking cards? Now the problem is, you only get 10 rounds, or 10 currencies per rounds, and a round here costs 3. Awkward numbering, but it means you get to play 3 times and then, oh, you're out of luck. 
Uh, Tranquilized Dale was drawn immediately, so I can play him immediately. And he's just going to crush everything that Fry does. Even though he's got some rare crack on hand. Failing that, I think we'll deploy old Bill Dotrieve. Tranquilized Dale is gonna power up something fierce. Now what is all going on? Well, it's going on too quickly, so let's slow it down. So he leeches for 7, he heals himself for 7. He gains 6 attack every time he attacks. And whenever I do another combo, he gets 8 more attack. And 9 more health. And if you hit him, he hits back for 9. So let's do said combo. Bill is going to become Globe Racer Bill. And that combo will boost Tranquilize Dale for 9 health. 8 attack. He destroys Fry's card. Gets even stronger. Bill can't quite destroy... Oh, he did destroy it. Okay, cool. Well, he took out the enemy's card. And that crack... This is where turn advantage comes in. He played that, but it doesn't get to do any of its... Uh, any of its effects. And before it can even have a shot, we destroy it and kill Fry. Amazing. What a victory for Dale. And I'm playing as Dale instead of Archer because there was a quest to win a certain number of rounds as a King of the Hill character. Oh my god, character leveling. i get to that. Yeah, you go away. So, there are characters, but the characters have levels. And the different levels are actually very impactful. So I was playing as Archer the whole time. He has 25 health and nothing else, but if they level up... Oh man, every turn they just get to do some free cool stuff. And this level goes high. And I couldn't figure out how to level your characters. Well, you just randomly pick up character levels. So for some reason, my Bob Burger Bob is level 3. So he gets 31 health and he cripples a random enemy card 2 per turn. And there's that ugly kid from Bob's Burger shoot, Tina. Uh, for some reason, my Tina is level 5, even though I don't have, un have her unlocked and I'm miles away from ever doing so. She gets 42 health and restores 2 health to cards. So, you, you gotta play a lot, or pay a lot, to unlock these people. Anyway, Dale is really weak with only 20 health and no, no bonus. Bender would be a lot better, but hey, we'll go with Dale. Anyway, spent 3 of my currency to play. Let's keep on playing. I think leveling is just based on winning in the arena. Honestly, it's not very clear. Um, I will deploy the Krieger. Now that is a significantly better card than mine. Dare I smoke bomb? Or dare I engage in... I think I'll go Fort Kick-Ass. I have a good stone wall here that Farnsworth will have a hard time dealing with. Unless he gets upgraded. Oh no! Not Cutie McWisters. She she might be able to get through Fort Kick-Ass. Toad Licking, huh? I think I'll deploy co uh, Toad Licking. I don't recall it having crazed four, though. Well, I'll take it, because Crazed is great. Doesn't this game heavily favor going first? Yeah, first turn advantage is huge. If you just keep destroying the enemy's cards uh, while they deploy them, they just can't do anything and you just keep destroying them. Right, I'm in a bit of a pickle here though, because Fort Kick-Ass is about to fall. So I need... I think I'll get Dale out. Although Dale won't do a whole lot for me. Mm. I think I'll actually deploy Elzar's Fine Cuisine so I can heal up my other cards. They're gonna need it. I just can't get through Cutie McWisters though, and Cutie McWisters is about to destroy us. Oh boy, Layla likes her cuties. And this is a problem because Dale is gonna get thumped hard now. However, I'm pretty confident Toad Licking. If I just keep Toad Licking alive, it'll be fine. So let's deploy old Trank Dale. There we go. Toad Licking leeches a lot of health, so he can get his health back. He can also be fed by Elzar. 
Elzar smacks Layla because it has no opposing card. And just to drive the point here at home, I actually quite like this gameplay. Right, the, this deck that I have built with these cards that I have fostered, I like deploying them and playing them like this. We'll get Mortimer out there, he should be able to bring things home for us. The problem is with the deep monetization and the intense amount of power creep in this. Like, these legendary and epic cards are so good. I'm pretty sure Tranquilized Dale could solo the... well, solo everything, really. So if I play Placebo Effect here... Oh, that Placebo Effect is something else. That pumps up Dale, something fierce. And on top of that, the effects of Placebo Effect are huge. Cripple all enemy attacks by 9. <laughs> Just shuts down all of the enemy's ability to hurt. So as strong as my cards look, if I enter something with a bit of uh, a bit of challenge to it, it's going to mop the floor with me. And indeed, I think I'll do that. Ugh, Peggy Hill. I gotta go and crush Peggy. She's the worst character in King of the Hill. And that's uh, that's a low bar. Oh well, we got Dale out, so in you go again. Which figures Dale would be playing Dale, the best Dale card. Well, I assume the best. Mm, bring an old Krieger. That power up is so good, though. But Peggy just heals up her cards just because she's stronger Peggy than Dale is. Mm, get the choke bot out. Dale gets so much stronger if I just combine another card, but I didn't have combinations to hand. Makes me think that the strongest deck of cards you could have would probably just be cards that you can keep comboing. But then maybe just a load of combos out the, out the gate. Anyway, strong cards are strong. Who would have thought? Doesn't matter. Peggy's about to die. Seems to me you don't really like card games. You just want to watch the cards play the game for you. That sounds like a card game to me, dyslexic. It's a game. There are cards. What more could you possibly ask from me? Alright, so those three rounds are all we can play. Oh, well, Jack, well. We could always play this. Is this Find the Golden Zoiberg? It is Find the Golden Zoiberg. All right, come on, let's have that. I think they always make this laughably easy so you feel like you're progressing. And whilst I would love to watch an ad... Oh, well, too bad, no ads for you. And I think some of the sound effects just died there. So yeah, we can't actually keep playing anymore. That would be too unmonetized. I could spend 180 gems to get more energy to play more rounds. Uh, I think I'll pass on that opportunity, thank you. Why don't we go and fight something that is going to kick my ass? Burger Boss Challenge. So you, you start thinking, okay, I'm doing well, we can blast through adventure mode, but hey, I'm, I'm out of energy, so I need to find something else to do. I'll do, the, I'll do the weekly or daily challenge, whatever it is. Bring it on, Burger Boss. I am quite confident that Burger Boss is going to mop the floor with me here with legendaries. I have one legendary now, and boy do I feel on top of the world because of that. Let's see how long that lasts. We'll deploy Toad Licking. And Burger Boss brings in Legendary Bender. And on top of that, uh, this level 3 gamer Fry heals 2 and gives hijack skill to his cards, so Bender here. Blocks 4 damage, pays back 4 damage, leeches 5 health, and hijacks power up. Okay, pretty bad. Uh, I'll deploy Hank Hill, though. Bit of a discrepancy between our everything here. Toad Licking is almost certainly going to be destroyed this turn. Oof, just barely holds on. Bender leeches all of his health back. Uh, Alright, well, let's add some money and become Boss Hank. 
Couldn't help but notice you had another legendary there, Fry. How many legendaries do you have? At least three. I thought Magic the Gathering was trying to fleece me, but this game is something else. Okay, so um, his legendaries with their combined attack could kill Dale twice over. Uh, well, Krieger, put up the glorious Krieger defense. At least you'll stop Bender. Oh, well, Jeff, why have three legendaries when you can have four? So I can only assume this kind of stuff is in the game to make you feel like, oh man, I totally would have won if I'd had my own legendaries. But they take so long to get, I'll just pay for them. Painful stuff. So, okay, guess we're not fighting Gamer Fry then. But hey, we could actually fight other people. So as best I can tell, you are offline fighting other online players, fighting against their decks. So, let's go and destroy Giant Chicken. But maybe I won't play as Dale. Oh, but what about my daily? Well, is it a daily? No, it's a weekly. Win 15 arena battles with the King of the Hill hero. And they have to be the battles that you pay your energy for. I tried doing a practice fight, it did not increment this. So if we win six battles today, we're gonna win some cupcakes and VIP things. Hold on, I didn't combine my legendary things, did I? Where's even my my stuff? Combine a thousand super mythic stones to get 250 fragments. Oh god. But I should have enough of something here. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. I got my super legendaries. Oh, wow. Look at all these legendaries I can get. There are actually quite a lot of them. How much money you gotta pay to... Ooh, legendary propane. You've had me at propane. Let's have it. My choice of three? Even oh, well, we're not having Bobby. Oh, but the other alternatives are both um, American Dad, and American Dad sucks. Don't make me choose Bobby. Oh, I hate the alien as well. I guess we're going to go with a signature cocktail. So huzzah, but what's the point in having it if I don't have it ultra leveled up? So let's max you out. That still looks pretty powerful to me. So you get 5 health when another combo is played. When played or comboed, permanently gain 5 maximum health for each enemy card. So if I play this late, it's going to be almost unkillable. Pretty good, but it does a lot of crippling. It's a dangerous thing. Do I want it out early or later? Uh, I never tend to use Klaus much, but... I have two Sterling Archers, I only need one. Alright, come on Arena, you won't know what hit you, giant chicken. So we're fighting against Brumeister, and he's got a chicken defense. I've never seen any chicken, uh, these defense cards. Not on my side, at least. Oh well, let's just absolutely wallop you with our legendary. You won't stand a chance. Oh well, uh, yeah, you've got your own legendary sword. That could be a problem for me. Deal three damage to enemies adjacent to the one this attacks. If it attacks me in the center, that's gonna hurt. You're just generally gonna hurt me. Hmm. I should bring in a combo to boost up Signature Cocktail, if nothing else. I'm going to deploy Archer, because he's going to be the most durable against the Purity Sword. Good, you've been made weaker thanks to the Signature Cocktail. Very much weaker. Okay, so you've got two Epics and a Legendary. I'm already feeling a little untoward here. And Purity Sword boosts up, but thankfully only by one. Right, so we're going to probably turn you into Swiss Miss. Although we could go honeypot. 
15, 12, I think we'll go uh, Swiss Miss. There's no way I'm defeating the Purity Sword, so I need to break my way through the defense and crush Brewmeister. But he's got about almost twice as much max health as me, so could be here a while. Oh no. There's no way I can get through Cotton. Oh, I am so dead. Right, Krieger, I need you to defend against Roller Derby Haley. Oh, I'm very dead. See, they went with the alien. That's the end of us. Bye, Dale. Honestly, I had no chance against Cotton. We killed Fitty Men. Alright, surely we can take out Double X Death Hand. Again with the defense card. Hmm. Well, you know what? Tranquilize Dale. He'll win the match for me. He has boost, at least. Oh no, but he's got his own... His own legendary. The power creep's insane. Uh, Erotic Friend Fiction's probably a good one to place in the center because it adds uh, bodyguard. It's gonna keep us defended from little fist attacks like that. That sketchy bus driver is very difficult to kill. It's got 11 block. But I'm sure High School Bill could do something about that. Pumps up Dale, because we did a combo card, and smash down Stewie. Jake, is this one of those cries for help I hear so much about? <laughs> no, it's not a cry for help. I don't need any help here. Again, I quite enjoy this gameplay. It's the monetization and the insane power creep that I do not like. There we go. Death to Stewie. There aren't many good characters in King of the Hill, and he's not one of them. So I think these battles get progressively harder the more you win. But a lot of it is down to chance. Are you actually going to get your uh, the cards that you want to play deployed? Let's bring out Paintball. The defense card doesn't mean too much, so we're just trotting around each other right now. Slurm, on the other hand. Oh wow, you've got so many effects, it just tased me right down. I'm going to deploy Archer in the middle, because he boosts the attack of adjacent, and he himself has a pretty good stone wall. Now you're not playing around there. Level 5 epic card, Bob Burger. Hmm. I don't particularly want to use Stuffed Alligator, it's not a very offensive card. But I don't really have much else that I could- oh, right, well. If Hank can survive Bob's Burgers, then I could turn him into Grand Theft Hank. Give it your all, Hank. Million dollar beer can, I remember that episode. Luan drinks it as I recall. Alright, survived long enough to deploy the propane hang. Yeah, and since that's a combo, it boosts actually nobody. Hmm. However, Hank leeches health, so he's back up to full. Ah, uh, yeah, your Hank is too weak for my Hank. I think it's time to bring this boy to bed. Out you go, Archer. Dead. 
Down goes all of your cards. You got nothing on me, Soul Crusher Bacon Bits. Oh, I get it. That must be their name, and this must be their clan or faction or whatever they belong to. Hmm. Well, they're getting crushed. And, well, out you go, Dale. Just bring it on home. Can't believe Paintball with Guns survived so long. It's not a particularly good card. And then Grand Theft Hank brings home the win. Alright, nice! Give me my nicks and nickels so I can uh, buy more cards. Again with those defense cards. Maybe they just get those to negate the one turn advantage. It's the best guess that I have. Ooh, we don't have good anything here. I will deploy Krieger because he's a pretty good defensive card. Man, you just keep smacking me with these abilities. Punch, punch, tase, tase, power up. Mm, only targets cards that have not attacked this turn. Okay. Well, I could give Krieger his smoke bomb weapon. Traumatized Hank could be deployed. I don't think that's a good use of a combo, but I don't have many good uses for combos. Tell you what. Uh, I will deploy Elzar's Fine Cuisine, and I'm just going defensive cards here. They'll heal each other up. Not enough, though. Not against the Beef Squatch. That's a problem, because you're going to get pumped up with every attack you do. Elzar won't survive that. I'm going to need the Smoke Bomb, I think. Elzar's gonna die this turn, though. Be squashed to become a problem. I need something good, and that's not something good. Although Archer could become Swiss Miss, but Linda gets to hit me with impunity now. Can't get over how ugly the Bob's Burger style is. Ugh. Oh, kind of painful to look at. Okay, Beef Squatch. You are going to kill Archer no matter what I do for him. Even if I Swiss miss him up. However. Well, I don't have any howevers. You're still going to crush Archer and then destroy Dale this turn, so I have no real choice but to... Give him something to keep him defended. Gonna go Swiss Miss just because it's the most health that I can put on you. The only consolation here is that Jake will eventually run into a paywall to be able to do anything else. No, I don't think I'll be playing this game at all after today anyway. Alright, Dale down. So like I said, that kind of gameplay, I do enjoy. It's just everything attached to it is beyond painful. All of these counters and currencies and clicky box get your things, it's, it's disgusting. I've never experienced failure before, but it looks like it stings. See, one of the stipulations was every time I laughed at a joke, I would have to extend the timer. And some of it isn't bad. There was one time the the alien from uh, this guy's show, he tickled me pink and I ended up laughing at him, but that wasn't on stream, so too bad. I'm not here to edit my deck, I'm here to... Ooh, how about we open up the mm, chance of mythic card? What's the chance of mythic card? Uh, I don't know, this thing automatically closes in a few seconds, probably to stop you reading the odds. I don't know, but let's crack you wide open. Hey, I think that's one of the super common rewards there. A hundred golden poos? Yeah. No such luck there. Spent all my luck getting the power legendary card. But hey, we could always open more cards. We have to show the odds, as per law, but they don't say how long that's 
probably exactly it. Alright, nothing but uh, nothing but trash here. So yeah, I think I would be sucked right into this game if it wasn't pay to win. If I just paid up front for this game, I'd probably enjoy playing it quite a bit. If actions that I did leveled up and gained me more cards rather than just paying, 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 and getting rid of this research thing entirely. Because you think, hmm, you know, what happens if I give uh, more to Mir the Olive Addict, uh, Olive Addict, um, Meg? Well, I won't be able to find out for one whole day. So you set it up and you just leave it. Oh, but you can always pay to speed it up. And we actually have our speed up, so let's find out. Ew. Uh, that's phenomenally disgusting. Archer. Archer with his erotic friend fiction. Can I drag you up here? There we go. Find out where you two begun. I must admit, the theming is putting me off something fierce. Aw, oh, Lonely Lacrosse, that is sad. Do I get to see it here? I think it'll show up under combo, right? Huh, Lonely Lacrosse is very powerful. Except it doesn't deal much damage. It's very defensive. Deploy this pretty late, it's not going away. I actually quite like the theming because I know all these shows. I don't necessarily like them all so much, but at least I can kind of relate to them. It's a lot better to me than the high fantasy World of Warcraft styled card games. Those ones turn me off something fierce. Anyway, seen enough of this. I've spoken enough about why I particularly like this and what I particularly don't like about it. So let's go and check out some other card games because when I played this I did ask for recommendations on card games. I got a few. I'm going to play them now. I'm going to start with Slay the Spire. So you go away, animation throw down. Spire. Alright, Slay the Spire. I have already played this game. I've already played this game uh, a few times, actually. I played it once, I beat it in one shot, and I went, well, that was pretty fun. I played it a second time, beat it again, played it a third and fourth time, and died pretty damn fast. And, yeah, fun game, but it's not the experience I'm looking for. Because it changes up quite a few things that I liked about the previous game. Uh, but let's play around anyway, and... Well... Hopefully enjoy it and talk about it as well. So let's embark on a quest. Uh, chat, which character are we going to play as? The Ironclad, the Silent, the Defect, or the Watcher? Did you do Ascensions? No, because you have to unlock Ascensions before you can play them. Which is just... Blech. In fact, I, I generally don't like... like okay, I can, I can do Ascension level 1, but I can't do any higher level until I unlock them some more. And I can't do any Ascension here because I haven't won yet. Zingus is one that seems to have the magical uh, touch when it comes to whatever I play, so we'll go with you. Let's play as the Silent. Um, what is Ascension anyway? Runs get harder as you win. Elites spawn more often, but again, I can't crank this up. Well, whatever, let's go with you. Don't know what's up with this giant multi-eyed whale thing, but hello. Reach the boss to receive more blessings. Also, I haven't done any audio balancing for this game, so let me know if anything is untoward. Uh, just give me the max hit points. Hit points are nice. So this is very FTL-like. Choose your path. You don't know necessarily what you're going to run into. That is definitely too loud, isn't it? Sounds too loud for me. Let's just bring you down a fair bit. I like getting these mystery areas, so I'll probably go with the one that has the most mysteries, which seems to be you just following this path, so we'll do it. So what's up with you? What's up with everything here? So we get to draw extra cards, and I like just drowning my foe in cards. More options are surely better options. Our deck is made of 
what's that? Five standard attack cards, five standard block cards, two fancy ones, a free neutralize and a block and discard. There's a lot of discarding cards with you. Three energy, these each cost energy, and you're about to attack me already, so it seems like the obvious thing is to neutralize that damage you're going to do in, uh, do me in with, gain eight block to negate your attack, discard uh, defend, because I already defend enough, and strike you down. Bang. Easy peasy. Oh, and I still have another bit of energy, so I'm going to strike you again. So some very, very basic deck builder game things that went over my head in the past, and now I'm slowly picking up on. Like the idea of your discard pile. But once you've discarded all your cards, they get shuffled back into the draw pile, right? There was a card game I was playing on stream not even that long ago, and this basic concept I just did not understand because I didn't play card games. And I wouldn't even say at this point that I do play card games, but hey, I'm trying here. Strike appears to be the only useful thing I can do here. These defend cards will do nothing. I don't know if there's any benefit to not using them. But there's absolutely no benefit to using them because block goes away after every turn. So just off they go. Uh, you are bulked up with strength and defense, which is pretty scary. So, so, so. Boy, uh, I don't have good stuff to play around with. I want to block that for sure. I got loads of defense. I'll throw that away. I will strike. Well, actually, striking is going to do absolutely nothing. Because he's already defended. But that's going to go away anyway. Well, whatever. Just ultra tank. But he keeps buffing himself up, that strength doesn't go away. So what I can do is make you weaker. I can defend most of that. And then just strike you down otherwise. And then I'll kill you next turn, hopefully. I'll take two damage. Smack. And then if I just finish you off... Ooh, but can I? Barely. Get out of here. So huzzah. And the rewards are very random. I think you always get gold. I think you always get a card, but I swear I've seen times when I haven't. Do you know what build you want to go for? You're making a lot of assumptions that I know anything about builds in this Zingus. You need to talk to me like I'm a child or a particularly uh, intelligent Labrador Retriever. A free attack? There's quite a lot of discarding going on, so Sneaky Strike strikes me as quite useful, so I'll take that. And I'm just going to take the mystery places rather than fighting every battle, because mystery is fun. Among the stone and boulders you notice an intricate large blue statue, and there's gold! Hmm. Well, why would I not just take the gold? Remove a card from your deck and lose health. That sounds like both bad things. Although I suppose a lot of the basic attacks are kind of a waste of time. I've got too much block and too much regular attack. Even so, I'll just take the money. can always use that money to remove cards, so I'll go with that. Deck bloat is bad. I disagree. Deck bloat is good. More cards, more better. Although I know it, it drowns out better cards, but some things work uh, work better with more cards, surely. 25% chance to find a relic. My luck is good today, so let's take it. Uh, let's continue to take it. Yeah, there we go. We are oozed and damaged, but we have the Horn Cleat. At the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. Oh, okay, that seems... Well, it's better to have it than to not need it. Let's keep going. When you come to a dead end, you turn around, walls slam, you're trapped, three faces. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. Remove a card, transform a card, upgrade a card. I like the whole transform idea. Let's go with that. So I guess I'm just going to take one of my crappy cards and hopefully become something less crappy. Alright, defend. Become something a lot better, please. I don't know if timing matters here, but I just close my eyes and hit it. Infinite Blades. What is Infinite Blades? 
At the start of your turn, add Shiv into your hand. Why would I pay one to get a free card? I don't understand. I know Shiv is free, but this card isn't free. Oh well, maybe it'll make sense once I try it. I don't feel very well kitted out for dealing with an elite right now, but... Yeah, what the hell. Power stays till the end of the battle. Ooh, that I didn't know. Does that mean the card gets used up when I play it? It doesn't say... Uh, exhaust on it. But I'm going to assume that's how it plays out. Right, you find a shimmering mass of light. It's nice and warm. Oh, I like nice and warm. Let's go for it. And now our blades are even better. You feel invigorated as all your <laughs> See the well-deserved slap? I know that. Okay, let's go and see if we can take on the elite. Well, this looks like a problem. So, innate. At the start of your turn, add a shiv into your hand. Strike plus, it just does more damage. Uh, I'm curious how this is going to try. So, so if I do that, I now have the ability Infinite Blades. Well, what happened to that card? Where did it go? It's not discarded, it's not on the exhausted pile, but it's still in my deck. But I don't think it's... it's not in my draw pile either. It's just gone, okay. Weird that there's a mechanic for making them gone, but it doesn't make it gone. Well, maybe it works differently than what I think. Right, I want to weaken you, because otherwise you're going to cause me a fair bit of pain, except you had Artifact, which negated that, so... Boo earns to me. In that case, I will gain some block so that I don't take that damage, get rid of one of my block cards, and we start doing damage, so let's focus you down. Splat. Next turn I get 14 free block, so that shouldn't be too much of a big deal. The card disappears without triggering exhaust effect. Exhaust is for cards that disappear. I, I don't understand. What is the difference? Right, if I was able to discard a card, the Sneaky Strike would be great, but we're not discarding cards right now. 14 will keep me defended from a lot of this, so I'm just going to strike you down. 9 and 9. If I had 5, you're not going to hurt me whatsoever. So I should probably just strike and Sneaky Strike. And that'll put you in the dead zone. Oh, crap. I don't have one for that. Oh, well, I'll just strike and strike you then. Call yourself an elite. Unplayable ethereal. So I guess this is just clogging up my hand, but that's not too bad for us, surely. I don't need to neutralize you, you're gonna die anyway. However, if I shiv you and then strike you and then neutralize you for free, you're gone, gone. And I don't need any more defense, so I'll just play everything I have, I guess. Could you stack your free shivs every turn? Probably. Heaven help me if I know how. I'd need to get more of these infinite strike things. Yeah, see, there we go. The The power is there, but I don't know how to get another one of those cards. I probably just have to get another one, normally. Ah, oh, man, I want Survivor with the other thing that helps when you throw away cards. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Block and block and block some more. Yeah, I mean, I'm still dealing damage with my shiving, so let's just not take any damage.
That's right, for our hits, Monster Train is probably coming after this. Oh wow, this has really clogged up my turn here. However, I can shiv you, strike you for nine, and then super strike you down like that, and then next turn you're dead as well. Good thing those cards disappear. Imagine if they just clogged up my pile here, something fierce. Right, thanks to Shiv, you're already dead. And it's just a case of dealing with you, which I can't because you've clogged up my cards so much. There's a lot of permanence to the damage you take. So I'd rather not take too much, even though I've got, I think I've got a rest coming up after this. Alright, finally. So I can gain some block, which I don't need, but it allows me to do, get rid of this card, which allows me to sneaky strike. Which costs two energy, but because I've discarded a card, I get both the energies back. Not that it does much, because I only have one that I can use here, and shift you as well, and you're already dead. Or are you? Nine... Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oof, barely. Smack. 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 Alright, so, nice thing about destroying the elites is that we get an artifact out of it. Enemies in elite combat have 25% less hit point. Hmm. Kinda cool, because we're probably going to see a few more of those. Apply three poison to a random enemy three times. Uh, maybe. Draw three cards, discard one card. Now that's pretty cool. but it doesn't do anything else. I think I'll go Dagger Throw, even though Bouncing Flask is a rarer card. I'm not big on poison play. Although I don't know if block reduces poison. I suppose in a way 9 is good, because it can do 9 damage, then 8 damage, then 7 damage. Eh, I'll take it. Alright. No choice but the campfire, and whilst I could rest to get 23 hit points back, I could upgrade a card in my deckland. It could become an even more poisonous poison flask. Or we could sneaky strike. Nah, that's just more damage. There's nothing exciting about that. Let's go with a bouncy flask plus. Right, what have we here? Kind of lagavulin. That's kind of whiskey, you know? Mm -hmm. I have options, that's for sure. I wonder if you're just going to stay asleep if I don't do anything. See, so it says asleep. It doesn't tell me how to not make you asleep. Well, I can deploy my infinite blades. If I wake you up, maybe you'll try and attack me, so maybe I should just go all out here. Well, let's find out, shall we? Ah, mistakes were made. I should have played Survivor first. Then I would have had the power to deploy Sneaky Strike. You know what, I'm just going to end my turn and see if you wake up. Although then again... Gains 8 block every turn. Block goes away, so I guess that's not a big deal. When I could massively poison you next turn. Eh, doesn't that sound like an idea? I think it's waking up. No, it's still staying asleep. We can just leave it there. I wonder if Bouncing Flask will wake it up. Yeah, it appears to be asleep, so we should just kind of wait it out. No need to wake up what stirs, right? Just in case it does something weird. Just block up a bit. 
Oh, oh, I didn't like that. Hmm. Okay. Couldn't you still play Survivor? The block wouldn't do anything, though. Uh, still don't have sneaky strike, though, but now I need to... Oh, God, he really intends to smack me down for that. I think I'll just not have anything to do with that. Please ship you while we're at it. Time is on my side. That poison is enough to kill you, maybe. What's 11 factorial? It's 11 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7, da 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 da. You can kind of have it, mix them together. Basically, you're going to die. Come to me, Shiv. I certainly want to weaken you. That way, a couple of defends will make... Hey, how did I get a second Shiv? How did that happen? I have no idea. Factorials multiply, not addition. Okay, well, what's the addition one then? How much is that? Anyway, I can play everything. Defend, defend, strike, shiv, shiv, have at. You didn't use shiv, so it went into your discard pile. Ah. How about that? Okay, you are so dead. Bouncy flask. Bloink, 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 bloink. You are already dead. Shiv you. Strike you. Say goodnight. Yeah, this is meant to be a difficult game? Come on. T-set. When you rest, you start your next combat with da da da. But only when you enter, not specifically resting. I don't like rest sites, so blur to that. In Venom, whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, deal one poison. Sneaky Strike, Flying Knee. That's another power card, right? So I give myself that. Hmm. I guess. I don't like how expensive that is. I need more power. Nunchuck. Every time you play ten attacks, gain... Ooh. Okay. That'll help out in longer attack, in longer fights. Hen nib. Every tenth attack deals double damage. That's going to be hard to keep track of. Alright, do we fight monster, 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 rest? Or treasure unknown, elite unknown, rest? I like the unknown. Also, that isn't treasure, that's merchant. But I have dosh, so let's do it. Hello, weird merchant guy. Yeah, welcome yourself. Uh, remove a card from your deck. Jeez, it costs 75 to remove a card? That's more than I thought. Combat reward screen now contain colorless cards and cards of other colors. Every three turn gain energy. Whenever you play a power card, heal for two hit points. How many power cards do I have? I've got a couple. The problem is, you use a power card and it's gone. But healing is hard. Anything better than that? Gain two block and draw a card for free. Uh, yes. Yes, I very much want to do that. Well laid plan. At the end of your turn, retain up to one card. That's another power card. Every time you play five cards, deal ten damage to all enemies. I'm probably going to take that because I plan on dealing lots of cards in this. All enemies lose six strength in this turn, and it's gone. I'm quite fragile. That could be good when there are a lot of enemies going or coming my way. 
loads of cards and not taking the slice. It might be three. Three is good. Yeah, three is good. Let's take it. But I don't have many things that let me draw even more cards. Alright, mystery. What'll it be? The mystery is fighting. It's not very mysterious. Anyway, you're going to attack me, so I may as well block you. And since I am able to throw away a card, that allows me to deadly strike you. Then you curl up. And I can infinite blade to get my free shiv. And then I can completely remove you, and we're done. Completely blocked, and I get free block this turn. 14. And honestly, you're already dead. Every time you play five cards in a single turn. Oh, single turn. Oh, that might be a lot. Anyway, doesn't matter. You should probably already be dead. Well, maybe not. But you're not going to damage me this turn, so it's hardly a concern. It's free, right? Hard to say no to free. I need to remember that, that power things stay. But how do you get your power card back? Does it only return to you after the combat is over? Well, I've got no way to heal myself up here. I may as well just destroy you. That's the neat part. You don't. Okay. Choose one of three random colorless cards. Okay, but the uh, flasks here are one-off use. Calculated gamble. Discard your hand. Draw that many. Exhaust. If this is discarded, draw two. Innate. Eleven damage. Oh, huh. you just start off by dealing uh, eleven damage. Sounds cool. I like, I like all these free cards. But now, I've got an actual fight on my hands. You're going to start off with a buff. Okay. Well, I can get my panache. Five or more cards in a turn. That's a lot of... Oh, this is every time you do ten attacks and it rolls from uh, encounter to encounter. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty very cool. I certainly want to Bouncing Flask you, but I'd also like to Infinite Blades. Gain two block and draw a card. I mean, if I don't play this, it's just a waste, right? And by deploying you, I get to Sneaky Strike pretty much for free, so... Oh, but I'd rather Bouncing Flask you. I don't actually think I need Infinite Blades, I'd rather Bouncing Flask, so let's give this a go. So I deploy Survivor, I throw away Defend, I smash you with Sneaky Strike, Splat, and then I Bouncy Flask you. Glug, 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 and then I stab you in the back. And you should pretty much already be dead. Enrage, huh? Whenever you play a skill that gains two strength, well, let's face it, that thing is already dead. It calls itself an elite. When you would die, heal to 50%. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. Swift Potion for three cards, and a free card. Draw cards until you have six in your hand. Wow, that sounds good. If I have a lot of energy, it sounds good, actually. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure that's worth spending. Hmm, you didn't change category on Twitch. I mean, doesn't that not update for people that don't F5 anyway? Slay the Spire. Wow, a lot of viewers on this game. 
You have lots of free cards, so drawing free cards is good. Not wrong there. Alright, go for it. It's the rarer card after all. Mystery encounter. A banana, a donut, and a box are floating around. Relics are cool, but... An unplayable card is probably bad, especially when I'm drawing lots of cards. So let's go with the max hit points. The donut hits the spot. We can rest up to max out our health, but I'd probably rather upgrade, especially one of these fancy free cards. Draw f oh right, let's still just draw one card. Let's... Nah, 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 nah. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 14 damage to everyone. 15 damage, drawing an additional card, dealing more damage, more damage, more damage itself is just meh. You can only upgrade things once though. There's no truly pimping out a card. Yeah, I see that less cost for Envenom. And that is a power, which I would like to use often. Mm. All those free attacks will poison enemies. Ah, you're right. Well, whatever. Let's go for it. Now we've got to take on the big cheese of the floor. And it's slime. You'd think slime wouldn't be able to be poisoned, but I think you can. Sadly, I don't have my ability to do him in with that just yet. I know he splits. I wonder if his split versions get poisoned as well. Five power. Every ten tax gain. Da da da. Ah, there it is. After you rest. Oh, and you always rest before the big cheese. So maybe that's pretty cool. Well, I want to try my luck with um, with bouncing flasking you. I got six power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got to. Well, I won't be using this defend, will I? So I guess I'll just use everything else. Let's see how poison works against you. Get our infinite blade power going. I think I'll use up everything I can and then use expertise, so I'll slice you, stab you, I'll deploy my defense, actually uh, yeah, I'll, draw, I'll draw my cards right now whilst I still have a little bit of power. Not really much to use with this, I'll just strike you while the going is good. Is this scratching the same itch? No, it's a very different kind of itch. Not really an itch I have. I mean, this game is fun, but it's not really doing what I'm looking for. I know, I know. I'm impossible to please, right? Five cards in a single turn. That's likely to happen. And I can Envenom myself now. And now I can just go Strike, Strike, Shiv. His intentions are not known, but he isn't attacking. When he splits, he's not below 50% health yet, though, so it's not going to split. What is he going to do? Slime Crush. He's about to hit me massively, but I think the damage he's going to take is going to make him change his, uh, his tone. Case in point. There we go. You are interrupted and now he's going to split. Now I'm really curious if this poison damage is going to persist. It would be awesome if it did. Hmm. Well, 
Well, this is it's useless not to use this, so give me a free card. Gank the guy, and this just keeps piling on that poison like nobody's business. So he's got 28 poison. What happens now that he splits? Oh, you cheap bastard! Who gave you the right? Well, on the plus side, my next uh, next attack is going to do double damage. So if I discard a card, I can just kill one of these things outright. And hey, I bet I can discard one of these cards I don't care about. Like, slimed. Doesn't really do anything, does it? So... If I do that and throw away this card that I don't want anyway, then I can shank you. 24. Oh, well, let's shank the one that's going to attack me. And then the one that remains just gets... Striked, striked, and shivved, and dead. Hey, does poison deal damage the moment it contacts, or only at the end of turn? That I don't know. Hmm. Unload. Discard all non-attack cards. Yeah. Adrenaline? Hmm. Hell yeah, that's just free turns. Why would I not take free turns? Let's see. During the boss and elite combats, gain thingy at the start of your turn. Well, that's exactly when I need it the most. Start of turn. Is that every turn plus one? Because that sounds pretty good. Tiny house sounds like one of those upfront sounds good, but you'd rather have longer lasting things. Attacks that cost zero deal four additional damage. I think I would go with Slaver Collar because... Although I want to stack free attack things, more flexibility is more better. Also, if you play with sieves, yeah, but I don't have a build for getting unlimited shivs currently. Right, again, I like mystery, but I also like fighting elites. This gives me one, two mysteries. But you go one, oh no... Mystery, mystery, you, mystery, elite. Any more elites? Come on, as many elites as we can. God, if I want elites, I have to take left route here. I can get an elite here, that's one. And two. And then end. Or I can take this route for one, two, three, and then the boss. I think I'll take the mystery route with two of them, though. I don't have a lot of money, so the merchant's not worth my time. So mystery, mystery, attack. Mystery, elite. Hmm, but look at all... Ooh, ooh, another elite over here, with all that mystery as well. Alright, that's what I'll go for. Right, what's your shindig here, Shelled Parasite? You've got a huge amount of defense. A buff and attack for 10 damage. At the end of its turn, against 14 block. <laughs> okay, so plated sounds pretty powerful, but poison can get through that, can't it? So if I envenom you... Ah, but that's only for unblocked damage. Mm-hmm. Set myself up for stuff. I could put on Envenom and Infinite Blade and then defend. Yeah, probably better than wasting my time trying to get through that aggressiveness, so... Envenom... Infinite Blade... Maybe I should have defended twice to completely negate the damage, but oh well. There's a little bit of it. Backstab will be wasted, and it's only exhausted when I spend it, right? So let's not use that for now. 
So smack me for five. Oh, I got all my health back after that floor. Now you really want to lay on the pain train. Well, might as well put that skill on, it's free. I can weaken you, which is great. Four damage twice. Well, you're not going to get through me regardless. Problem is, I, I've got too much. I've got too much. Right, well, smack you, slice you, strike you, and let's just take nothing. anymore. Oh, there's my adrenaline, though. I like my adrenaline. I mean, hell, it's just free. I'm not, I don't have my bouncing poison, though, which is what I was really hoping for. I do want to block you, though. Discard a card. What would I even discard? I could discard a regular strike. Also, shiv you. I'm gonna see what happens when I end up with three more cards, though. Gain two block, but well, that completely negates your damage. Sweet. And I might. Uh, that wasn't what I was expecting. I was hoping I'd get sneaky strike, but I can just bounce and blast you to death now. Donk, 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 donk. And we're done, though. You fail to hurt me. Hello, Jake. Are you interested in Rimmy ship? I have no idea what that is. You're going to have to elaborate a bit more. Let's keep you nice and weak. And this next attack deals double damage, so it's hard to say no to smashing you with a backstab. And between that and shiving you and striking you and sneaky striking you, you're already dead. What was that extra 10 damage there? If this is discarded, I do a fair bit of discarding, so that's very tempting. Yeah. Panache to play five part. Ah, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. That's awesome. Because if I ever discard that, I just get two free rolls. Alright, couple of mysteries. As you continue your ascent, thick black smoke billows out. What is apparition? I don't know what intangible is. One turn of invincibility. Well, that sounds kind of cool, but it really wrecks my max hit points. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that. Booted figures to an unassuming cathedral. Cultist! I know this ritual dagger, I've seen it twice before. If fatal, permanently increases damage. Yes, please. Slice me up, give him my card, and we move on. You keep killing with that thing, it becomes very powerful indeed. Right, so you... You do not lose your block, so I need to chip through that. Well, more than chip, I need to crush my way through it, but poison would work. If only I had some poison. And I'll get rid of my shiving. Me defending would do practically nothing. Um, I guess I will slice you and backstab you and then... I still don't have what I'm looking for here. But if I am able to draw my bouncing poison... 
which I did not, but if I'm able to draw my bouncing poison... Ah, oh, I did not. Hmm. I'm not going to be dealing much unblocked damage to you here. But I could at least chip through all of your, your barricading, so... Smash you, and just smash you some more. At least I got through that. Oh, hang on. Negates three debuffs. Is poison a debuff? It probably is, isn't it? Yeah. It almost certainly is. Alright, well, first things first. Let's weaken you. Oh, right. Weaken was a debuff, and that did not help me. Oh, well, nothing for it. I defend, I strike, I strike, and I shift. I get... Oh, right, we got extra defense because it was turn two. Okay, so, well, that's so many different things to keep uh, track of, but it's all pretty cool. It uh, doesn't matter, you're already dead, and I might as well kill you with the ritual dagger, because that way... Splat, it now deals more damage. How much more damage? It was 15 before, right? Now it's 18. I wouldn't mind upgrading that if I can. That thing's going to become uh, pretty powerful. Costs one additional thingamajigger for each time you lose hit point this combat. It deals 16 damage for free. Deal four damage when you draw this card. Add a copy of it into your hand. Oh, so if you have a very small deck, you can just keep drawing this. Well, that seems like a lot of bloat. But bloat is good for me, right? However, I might go with dagger throw, because then I can discard cards. I actually like discarding cards. Alright, take the mystery, because we like mystery. In front of you sits an altar to a forgotten god. She demands a sacrifice. Uh, okay. You can take my health, then. Cutting my wrists! Ugh. Oh well, let's hope it was worth it. Hmm. Minion, minion. I bet you summon minions. Yeah. So I probably want to uh, poison you out. And again, I, you know, if you spend a turn uh, summoning minions, it's a turn I don't need to bother smacking you around. But... Oh, hello. Upon receiving attack damage, gains one strength. I mean, I can just kill you immediately, poison you, and then do whatever. Bouncy. He's buffing, not summoning. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying he's probably going to summon more of these once they're all gone. One bit of defense will take care of that. And I want my shivs, obviously. How did you get poisoned? Oh, it was random, wasn't it? The, the, the bouncy thingamajigger. Oh god, now you now you mean business. Good thing I got my 14 defense, but you're going to strike me for 27. And you're going to strike me as well. Well, sounds like a cause for getting some adrenaline going. Let's get that extra block while we're at it as well. Maybe I should have used expertise a little earlier. Uh, right, I want to weaken you for sure. Let's take a lot less damage. Now you're only going to deal 18 and 7, which I almost block. Pretty much block that, so if I kill your little bugger, that'll be a decent idea. In Venom first, Jake, think of the poison. I'm thinking about the poison. Probably throw a dagger at you. 
because I pretty much block you anyway, so I just want this thing out of the picture. However, I need to kill it this turn if that's how I'm going. What would I discard? Probably a regular strike. Probably discard the defender. I don't need to block you. I need to kill. Six and six will kill you. Actually, you're already poisoned, so let's do a bit better thinking. You're already poisoned for three. If I hit you again, that's four damage. On top of that, four damage. It's not enough, though. However, six damage brings you down to five. Ah, either way, I need to strike you twice. So I will strike you and shiv you. Now you're dead, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's see what happens when we get more cards. Can I discard this somehow? Seems a waste to ritual dagger you, but it's a way to make my dagger stronger already. I'll hold on to it, though. That's a shame. I was hoping I could discard you. And you. I need more card discard. Oh, well, nothing for it. I'll just strike you down. The dagger doesn't work on minions. Well, thank goodness I didn't decide to do that, then. Right, this is it. You're probably going to summon more minions now. So I think what I do with you... I don't really have my panache on. I guess it wasn't an 8, so that's a no. Drawing a card is just free goodness. Almost. These aren't very good, though. I mean, I have 4 power and 4 things to use and no way to get more cards, so... Strike you... Defend me, ship you, defend me some more. I mean, I have a potion that lets me draw more cards, but it hardly seemed worth it on this, because this guy's already dead. Oh, wow, they come in and get to attack straight away, and you are on the case, aren't you? Abandons without their leader, so I need to kill the leader right now. He's already taken 9 poison damage, so he pretty much has 37 health. Ooh, if I get rid of you, and I can get rid of you, that's pretty free. Alright, so I'm going to throw a dagger at you first. I'm going to draw a card, and I'm going to discard Tactician for 2 extra um, energy. And since I discarded a card, Sneaky Strike is free. Splat. And then I can weaken you. And... I'm going to strike you, right, I'm going to shiv you, which I hope doesn't kill you, it shouldn't, right, good, even though we had that extra 10 damage come in, and now I'm going to hopefully get the ritual dagger to finish you off with, I did not, is there anything else that will let me draw more cards here, and is it worth drawing three cards from Swift Potion, because I know it's right there. God, man, the odds of me getting that were huge, and I didn't get it. I would like to buff it up some more, but I don't think it's worth doing that. This is like a get-out-of-jail-free card. A minor Ming Max thing you can do is set up a pen nib and nunchucks as best you can. I'm not putting that kind of effort in. Every tenth, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no way. Could attack the minions to count up nunchucks. And the pen nib. Yeah, Sounds like too much work. It's a shame I don't get anything from just killing loads of these minions. Maybe I'll kill them just to make myself feel better. Yeah, you get out of here. Yeah, what do you think about that? Probably nothing good. Poisons come and go. The dagger damage is eternal. An excellent point. Ritual dagger get to work. Ah, it's only growing by 3 damage per thingamajigger. Maybe I need to boost it up. Right. The Matryoshka. The next two non-boss things contain two relics. Okay. I like lots of relics. Does that mean two relics that I can take both of? Or... No, probably not. 
Ooh, more adrenaline. Mmm, I like adrenaline. Deal four damage for each skill in your hand. Yeah, I know. Give me adrenaline. Lots of drawing cards. Drawing cards is good. Mystery and mystery and chest. And it gets me to, um, to nasty elite man as well, which is cool. So let's take it. Hello. Pay up to pass all of your gold. Oh, I'll pay you all my gold. Go away. Hey, would you look at that? Uh, I'm going to deal double damage on my next attack. And that's going to kill you in one shot. Right, who are we killing in one shot? Probably the fat bastard at the back. He's got the most health after all. They don't like me killing Bear. Well, what a shame. Uh, maybe I should have played something else first. I was too excited about getting my one-hit kill in. Right. Well, I'll draw myself two cards. I really should be doing this first. What am I thinking? Because this probably was going to be a five... Well, it probably still is a five stabby turn. Because with that... 10 damage to all enemies, so I just need to bring these guys down to 10 and they're already dead. I don't have block on, on this guy, so maybe I should focus more on killing you. And I might not be able to. Oh no, I will be able to. This next, uh, play one more card, 10 to everyone, so you're about to die, and splat. What are you gonna do, friend? You just watched all your friends die. He's just gonna yell at me. That's not very exciting to me. Alright, uh, give me a card, any card. Not that card, though. A better card. I don't have any... I don't have nearly enough um, discard card cards. This one lets me draw more, which is all well and good. Alright, I have enough defense. I'll just draw two more cards and see what we end up with. Oh, doesn't matter, you're already dead. At the start of each combat, apply one week to all enemies. That's kind of crappy. They don't often attack on first turn anyway. And it's still just one turn. And what are we getting? Apply five deadly poison. Add three shivs to your hand. Draw three cards and discard a card. I actually quite like that. I don't have nearly enough discarding cards going on. Mm-hmm. Got anything for me, friend, please? Maybe some coin? I just need somewhere to stay. I have treasures I can trade. He seems delusional, but harmless. Rob him! <laughs> no, we're not that nasty. Here, have some money. Fair trade. Whenever you enter a shop, you... Oh, man, that's not fair trade. I don't go to shops often. Although there is one at the end of here, so I can just consider that as paying money for health. Now, this apparently contains two relics. Ooh, right, and it's not a choice, we just get the relics. Enemies with weak deal 40% instead of 25 Ooh, that's good, because we have weakened, don't we? Just as a free card as well. Uh, whenever you would deal 4 or less, increase it to 5. Our shiv does 4. That's probably That probably works amazingly with things that rapid fire 1 damage, but I don't think it works well with my build. People getting excited about Shiv. Shiv is just one thing. Why did you weaken immediately, by the way? Oh, hang on. I was talking about this apply one weak being pretty bad, but now weakened does quite a lot less. But he's not attacking me, so blare to that. Right. Draw two cards. Gain some power. Well, yeah, sure. Strike and strike. 
draw three cards. Is there a limit to how many cards I can hold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just keep drawing cards. Drawing cards is fun. However, uh, finesse lets me draw and it's free. God, those crappy cards I need to get rid of. Ten, I think. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's use this up first, just get it out of my way. Although, if anything, I'd want to have this active, so I'll do that. Alright, now we're going to discard something. I was hoping there'd be one of those cards that is happy to be discarded. So, failing everything else, I just get rid of the block card. But hey, there's more adrenaline to be had! Man, so many cards. I should have done panache to begin with. Uh, here's your bouncing flask. Prepare to get backstabbed, Snakeo. And sadly, this is not enough to get me through, but there you go. This is not deck bloat. His hand is full of basic strikes and defense. As you start the game with those, he did not put them there. Yeah, but there's always the option to get rid of them. Why? What does confusion do? Whenever you draw a card, randomize is lost. Randomize? What's randomize? Random oh, randomize its cost, not lost. Right. Does that mean it can be free, though? Ooh, that being three isn't very nice. That being two isn't very nice, because that's meant to be free. I hope that confusion goes away. That, free, that thing is meant to be free. Uh, well, I've got 14 defense, and you only do 15, so that's hardly a big deal. I might as well just use this turn to invent in myself. Right, now, let's hope we get some... Oh, wow, it can bring things down to free. Now that is sweet. And, oh god, that discard card. Whoa. I certainly want to discard a card, but I'd like to deal the double damage with my biggest double damager. Sadly, though, I think it has to be dagger throw for free. Splat. Get rid of Tactician for extra energy. Sneaky Strike isn't free, but it does have a two-thing rebate. And I might as well shiv you and strike you. And my next attack is going to deal 10 extra damage. I'd be better off drawing cards, though. And let's face it, you're already dead. Is there anything cool I can do to you, like get my ritual dagger out? Yeah, acrobatics. I want my dagger. And I can discard tactician to gain even more... I want my dagger back, but you, this isn't this isn't the order, right? Cards are here. Uh, cards are shown sort of by rarity, so it's probably still random. Can we draw any more cards? Mm, no, and you're already dead thanks to poison. How disheartening! Oh, that we just. Okay, gold, 20 fire damage to one enemy. Could get me out of a pickle. I like that free damage right from the start. Apply four poison and two weak to all enemies. Nice, but expensive. I like the whole backstabbing. It's not bloat if it's free. Okay, painful stabs. What's your shindig? Looks like you hit a lot of times for low damage. Mm hmm. Well, let's start by envenoming ourselves. And then let's get our infinite blade going. 
I want to block that, of course, but not before I stab you and stab you. And thanks to my boost, I don't need to worry about defending on the second turn. That's a really nice boost, this thing. I think I poo it only affecting me once, but it pretty much saves me having to do any defense on second turn. 14 negates most of that, and if I have my... I don't have my weakening. Love my ritual dagger. Could do 48 damage if it were my 10th blow, but not sure we're getting there just yet. Yeah, give me my extra card. What's it going to be? Nothing fancy. Alright, we'll just get shanking then. I'm not going to use that dagger though. Well, actually, what are the odds that I actually... You know, maybe. Maybe it'll get re-rolled. Let's try a look. We do draw a lot of cards. Silly how the game version, number, and date is always showing in the top right corner. Is there a way to get rid of that? I was curious about that. Disable, 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 disable. Upload gameplay data. Yeah, fine. Huh. Can't see a way to get rid of it. Adrenaline is nice. Sadly, the ritual dagger is still in my discard pile. Ooh, right, right. Your, your stabs are getting uh, stronger. Whenever you receive an attack damage, add wound into your discard pile. Wound's probably one of the clogging up things. Uh, right, no good reason not to use adrenaline. No good reason not to use panache the moment I get it. Play five or more cards, deal ten damage. Well, I'm probably going to have no problem doing that this turn. Let's start by shiving you. Free poison damage. Let's do a bit of acrobatics for even more cards. Oh man, even more adrenaline. Uh, discarding makes sneaky strike free. I guess I'll just get rid of a crummy normal strike. And since we've discarded something, this is free. Splat. Splat. Even more adrenaline. Oh my god, could you just have infinite turns if you... No, because exhaust doesn't come back. Although I'm sure there's ways to get it back. Feels like there's just ways that you could constantly cycle through all of your cards. And it... I bet that would be very badass. Uh, problem that I am doing right now is that I am not negating that 21 damage that you are looking to do to me. So I should probably think of a way to deal with that. I'm probably not going to poison you with Bouncing Flask, because I don't actually want to kill you like that. But yeah, I don't have any defense, do I? Let's throw a dagger at you and see if we can figure that part out. Oh, well, Discard Tactician gained two more, uh, two more energy. But now... Hmm... I'll slice you. I will... Strike you. Killing you is now very much on the cards here and now, so I will strike you again. I'm not going to spend this, I'm going to use this. Draw some more cards, hopefully get my Ritual Dagger. I did not get my Ritual Dagger. And I don't have any way to draw it now, so I'm just going to kill you. Although, defend, defend, neutralize, maybe... Oh, never mind, you're already dead. Dang. Howdy, Jake. I just made my annual return advance. Best time of the year. Any plans for spooky games this October? God, October's right around the corner. Uh, plans? No, but if I'm prodded and reminded about it, I will look into it, because we've always had lackluster games on the spooky games. Right. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Every turn? That sounds amazing. Uh, choose one of three... Okay, it's just more cards. And now we get more shivs. We do like lots of shivs. Gain six block, and then another six block. Ah, eh, that sounds kind of crappy. These shivs, though, they keep adding up nicely. And I'm pretty sure that doesn't count towards our drawing cards. So yeah, give me even more infinite blades. Alright, Merchant, give me my 15 health meal voucher stuff. 
And I'm probably probably going to remove one of my crappy regular strikes because they're bloating me something fierce. Apply two vulnerable. They take 50% more damage from it. That sounds amazing. Shuffle three random skills into your draw pile. That also sounds amazing, but that's not free. When six po apply six poison, when the enemy dies, deal damage equal to its max hit points to all enemies. That is phenomenally good if I'm fighting multiple enemies. Another bouncing flask. I like bouncing flasks. It's gaining... well, hmm. The thing is, I always need to be drawing more cards. Check the relics, Jake. Upon pickup, raise your max hit point by 10. Eh, I got plenty of max hit points. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Skills. I don't deal in skills that much. A lot of tax and powers. Upon pickup, pick, uh, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. Do I get to choose which one? Because if I had even more adrenaline... Mm. Or another ritual dagger. I don't know if it keeps that. Ooh, what happens if I use Panache twice? Hmm. Every time you would that mean that every five cards in a single turn I deal 20 damage to all enemies? Because that would be pretty baller. How can I say no to that? My problem is it's not upgraded. Whereas, you know, if I had two Bouncy Flask pluses, think of all the poison damage that would do. It's not free, and I do like free, but god, I love Adrenaline. You draw so many cards with Adrenaline. Mm. I just love drawing cards. Yeah, give me more Adrenaline. I wish it were upgraded, but it were not. And I think I should also get rid of one of my crappy uh, regular strikes. Yawn indeed. Oh well, hey, there's my adrenaline already. And you're already weakened. My god, you're not gonna have a good time. I think these guys will die so quickly I don't need to worry about many other things. In fact, if I stab you twice and then ritual dagger you... Actually, I might have a bit of a problem with not enough uh, cards here, but... First off, let's Adrenaline. Draw two cards and exhaust fine. Yeah, regular, regular crappy attacks here. I can do 11 and 11 and 24, but that's not quite enough. 11 and 11 and strike and 24, that's a different story. So strike you, stab you... Oh, well, that's a different story, because it's our tenth attack. i got to take this slow, because these things will totally pass me by. Anyway, Ritual Dagger just became very nice. And I don't want to get too curb-stomped by you. So I think I will Envenom, Defend, and Infinite Blade. Will I backstab you? Yeah, why not? Let's get the damage rolling. Wait, if you accrue enough points, you can dictate a stream. Anyone do this? Oh, we've had five or six of them so far, I think. A fair few. Right. Getting rid of this card is nice, but we don't have a way to do so currently. Um, so I just, I'll just do everything I can to you. I live in a no-gambling area. Oh yeah, that was one of the horrible things about being in Sweden. 
They didn't want me to gamble my um, imaginary internet points. Whenever you do a non-attack card, draw one dazed into your dropper. Ooh. That is quite the hex. But they're going to my draw pile. Eh, I like my odds here. I'm just going to play as normal. Besides, if I don't, uh, you're just going to hurt me. Nothing that I'd be keen to discard there. I'll just block for free if nothing else. But yeah, there's my there's my dazing. Tell you what, I can I can always just block you out. Get rid of expertise, I'm not gonna be having that right now. I will shiv you and I will strike you. And hey, you know what? I might be able to get through some of my dazed with this. Behold! Goodbye, dazed. Hello, panache. Now bring it on. Oh, you are every shade of dead. Where's my ritual dead? Oh, I already spent my ritual dagger, didn't I? You got a lot more health than I thought. Oh, I'm still hexed. Maybe you keep that hex forever. That would explain a thing or two. Uh, right. These aren't doing any harm to anyone anyway, but let's just adrenaline up. And it just keeps throwing more of these at me, so if I adrenaline, we just get more of that. Also, uh, you're about to hurt me a fair bit. Maybe I should do something about that. Mm. If I use everything I have... I should be able to do you in regardless. And then with this, you're already dead. Although some might say I should have saved my extra stuff here. Speed potion, right, but I can only carry three potions on me, so... What is dexterity? Improve block gained from cards. Blah to that. Heal hook. If the enemy is weak, draw a card. Uh, I don't weaken my enemies much. Apply 99 vulnerable and exhaust. Oh, right, no, apply 99 Vulnerable, then the card exhausts. I don't like the look of that. I do like drawing a card, though. I mean, hell, that's just a free card. I'm not going to say no to a free card. Speaking of disappointing, anything managing to scratch your EU4 itch? Oh, right, the, the general grand strategy itch? Sadly not. Hello. And take out the Mystic. As long as I can block you. And I can backstab, backstab you. I'd rather acrobatic first to get myself some more options. Yeah. And that then means I get rid of Tactician for two more energy. Excellent. Just as I was planning. And now with all of this, I don't have panache. No other ways to draw more cards. So if I do 11, 11, and 27, then you're already dead. Splat. There's no, nothing saying I have to use that. I have plenty of power. Uh, strike is 6. 6 and 27 is not enough. Stab you, shank you, and now you. I want to neutralize you. I want my infinite blades. Uh, the eight block will be sufficient to deal with you, so I will just strike you, and all is well. <laughs> I don't want to run my mouth too much, but when does this game get hard? <laughs> Uh, panache for sure. Escape plan is just a free draw, so yes. 
That is free as well. There's a lot of free going on here. Give me my freebies. Give me my freebies. Give me my freebies. Give me my freebies. <laughs> This isn't even fair. And doing all of this gets me extra damage done on you, right? Yeah. That's low ascension, all right. I put it as high as possible. If I discarded a card yet this turn, I don't actually know. But I can make sure that I do by getting rid of... Defend. That means Sneaky Strike is free, or at least completely rebated. And then we just keep on shanking you and shiving you and flasking you. And then infinite blades. And you're already dead, so I can save these for my next uh, next thingamajigger. Bye bye. Ancient potion gains artifact. No, Artifact just uh, reduces one debuff. That sounds like a waste of time. Bullet time. You cannot draw additional cards, but all of the cards in your hand become zero cost. For three? Yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm. Because I do a lot of card drawing. Ugh. It lets you play your whole hand. Yeah, but my whole hand tends to be cheap cards anyway. I don't have a lot of, um... I don't have a lot of expensive cards, except for this one. Drawing cards is pretty much what I do, so I think I'd go with something like Quick Slash. I could have gone with none of them, but I went with that. Right, let's upgrade something. I would love to upgrade Adrenaline. Mmm, that's just one extra turn stuff. Infinite Blades only becomes innate, which is not inherently amazing. I think I want to upgrade Adrenaline, although... Mmm, Ritual Dagger becomes so much better. But I think it's better enough as it is. It's gonna have to be Adrenaline. Oh, but hang on, Adrenaline gets exhausted. Damn, I thought I kept I thought it kept cycling, but it's just the fact that I have a lot of adrenaline. Oh well, never mind that. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. You're immediately weakened. I don't know what you're gonna do. The dexterity potion you rejected earlier combos really nicely with artifacts since it lets you keep the five decks for the full encounter, since losing decks is a debuff. Huh. How about that? God, I'm not even sure I can spend my six energy here. No, I've only got three costs. Is there anything that lets me draw a card? Well, yeah, expertise lets me draw loads of cards, so the first thing I should do is do extra damage. Well, that's backstabbing for you. And I want my shivs. This is free. This is free. All my extra shivs. This is free. And give me more cards, please. And this doesn't exhaust, which is rather nice. Uh, did I mention how much I wanted more cards? Might have come up once or twice. Hmm, more cards. Hmm, more cards. Let's envenom up so we start poisoning you something fierce. I don't really care about my strikes here so much. Let's draw some cards. Uh, I was hoping Tactician would be here to get rid of, so I'll just get rid of regular strike. Draw a card? Yeah, give me more cards. I certainly want to throw that at you, no doubt about it. But I also want to draw a card. Yeah, give me a card. That's what I was looking for. And now I can throw a dagger at you. Now I can get rid of Tactician for two more turns. This, this, he probably doesn't even think this is remotely fair, but that's, uh, that's not his problem. 
Right now I can drown you in poison. And now I can finally let you have a turn. Also, what's in my what's in my, what am I drawing next turn? Ah, huh, more adrenaline. All right, have at. I don't think some people were throwing nasty words my way about the kind of deck I build. I knew it. You just screamed minion guy to me. And because you're a minion, I don't get the bonus from ritual stabbing you, do I? No, certainly not. Right, well, I certainly want to discard something, but let's start by... This doesn't actually do me anything, but I might as well just use it, because it's a free card. Oh, would you look at that? More cards. Da -dum, da -dum. Oh, would you look at that? More cards. Uh, before that, though, always get panache going. Uh, let's get some more cards. Hello, Ritual Dagger. I might just use the Ritual Dagger's double damage to uh, utterly brutalize the Collector. If I'm going to get rid of something, I'll probably get rid of a regular old Strike Attack. Although, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... I don't have a way to deal uh, to get more cards this turn. What a what a bummer. I might as well just use everything I have. Right, do I kill your minions or do I focus on you? I'm already blocking your minions, so maybe I should just focus on the collector. Keep stacking up that damage. Shiv and shiv, and double damage is coming in shortly. Right, here we go. 60 damage. Not fatal, but... I mean, that's some pretty hardcore damage. And I can play all these. I don't even need to worry about the rebate here. Smack. Lock up some more. Smack. Oh, maybe I had. Well, who knows. Well, you know what? Use them or lose them. Give me some cards. Three random attacks for me to draw pile come in. What kind of attacks are we talking about? Yeah, my attacks tend to suck. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero. Yeah, that's a waste of time. At the start of your turn, play the top card of your draw pile? What? Hey, that's a power. And I... is it free? Let's try it out. It plays it for free. Okay, what's the top? The one on the furthest right? Oh, they got strength and that's not good for me. So is it Bouncing Flask? What got played there? Yeah, you lost me. It played Finesse. What did Finesse do? Oh, it played Expertise. Did that even give me any cards then? Because I already have seven cards. Well, probably not. Uh, right, never mind. I got four here. If I can get rid of Tactician, we're on to something. However, I'd need to be able to discard a card. Two of my cards here allow me to discard. Is it worth taking a risk on? I do like taking risks. However, I don't like how powerful these guys are. Oh god, you're also powerful. I need, I need you weakened. Right, I can't be taking that kind of damage. Let's uh, take care of you. That's not what I was looking for, but at least we get you out of the picture. I'm going to want that block. Hmm. Ten block is actually kind of tempting, just to reduce the amount of horrible pain this is going to instill. 
Oh, but I get all my health back anyway. Besides, that means that you're pretty much dead. And then with defend, I take care of pretty much everything you're about to do. But you know what? I'm not scared of you. Drink this. Alright, you're dead in two turns. Starting to wish I'd kept the ritual dagger now. Oh, well, we just threw a dagger. Okay, I don't like this madness thing. Glad we only have it for one turn, then. It's removing a lot of flexibility, and flexibility keeps me very alive here. Well, let's just keep drawing cards. Cards are nice. But I can't think of any card that helps me. I don't have, like, regain health cards or anything like that, so let's just uh, put you to the sword. Also, I accidentally kept these at 9. I got my colorless potion back, like I said, use it or lose it, and... Hey, adrenaline! I like adrenaline! Although, next turn your attacks deal double damage. I do a lot of attacks. Hmm. I think Mayhem is good, it's free energy and free draw. Well, it's gone now. Phantasmal Killer, double damage. Mmm. Yeah, but adrenaline works. Yeah, adrenaline does work. But adrenaline exhausts. So I'm kind of hoping that we quick kill. Mmm. Yeah. It's only on next turn, though. But next turn, if it was full of adrenaline and that, nah. Screw it. We're going with the adrenaline straps. Nothing but adrenaline in the veins. Uh, upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. Removing cards is powerful. Getting rid of these crappy strikes. The first time you discard a card each turn... Well, we discard cards quite a lot, so that's essentially one free power per turn. Uh, maybe that's overselling it. Gain power at the start of your turn. You no longer see it. No way, no way. So either... First time you discard a card each turn. How much card discarding do we really do? Discard a card. Not enough, actually. You know what, I think I'll just get rid of uh, two crappy cards, two regular strikes that I don't want. Uh, oh, crap, I wanted to double check and see if there was anything more useless that I had. Thought there'd be a confirmation button there. Adrenal exhausts, you need a lot of it. And I want a lot of it. Right, where do we fight elites? Elites are what I'm interested in. Also mysteries. We can get ourselves 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3 elites. So... There's triple mystery right from the get-go if we take the left path. Double mystery if we take the right. I'm assuming it's the same number of steps, no matter how you cut it, right? At a quick glance, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way to step more frequently. Take left path. Mystery is good. Alright, what's your story? At the end of its turn, it gains three strength, so I need you dead very soon-ish. Alright, well, panache should always be the first thing I do. And then first attack is double damage, so I'm just going to shank you something fierce. And I'm going to shank you something fierce. And then I guess we're just going with a lot of blades, striking you and defending, so there's nothing else I can do. Unless I use one of my precious potions. How can I say no to playing more cards? Mmm, there's my Ultra Adrenaline. Right, lob something at you, throw away that for even more, and then even more. And let's bounce you, neutral- oh, I was thinking they could play in tandem. Uh, shank it, and then shank it some more. 
And then if I strike it again, we still build this up, so that's probably a good thing to do. Be gone. Hmm. I don't do enough card to discarding, which does bother me about Tactician. But it is very nice. Poison Stab is already upgraded. Certainly better than any of the old shanky things we had. Yeah, like I said, I don't do enough discards to want to do that. I'll take the Poison Stab. Alright, mystery time. There's an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. I'll certainly give it a wee bit of a prayer. Oh good, I get to choose which card I ditch. Probably regular strike. But this is a thought, you know, if I give it a better card, is there going to be a better reward? Or is the reward that I remove a card? Well, however you cut it, goodbye strike. You feel a weight lifted off your shoulder. Okay, more mysteries please. Damn work, I missed a good two hours of stream. How goes it? Goes very well, Elinari. Very well indeed. Can't believe I get three damage every turn on these. Seems unfair to them. Right. Nothing letting me draw more cards, which is a shame. Oh, well, no, this lets me draw a card. Which of these are problematic? You deal three damage back every time I smack you, so maybe I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to take care of the Repulsor first. Smack. Mm, double damage if I do two more attacks, though. So if I... Slice you... Then I throw my dagger at... Oh, right, probably it's the double damage thing kicks in. But uh, the double damage will kick your ass in one go. And then I get to draw a card. I like drawing cards, but I don't want to discard that. I don't discard any of these. Um, but I'm never going to have the power to use Poison Flask. Unless I want to poison you to death. Which might not be the worst idea, because you do nasty things to me. Hmm. I only have two power anyway. I'll get rid of you. Panache up. Backstab you, infinite blade, poison stab you. Either way, I'd be taking damage off of you, so too bad. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this game so far, Elnari. If I have any criticism, it's that it's <laughs> too easy. Right, uh, I'm gonna shiv you out of existence. When attacked. Well, that counts as an attack, probably. Alright, tell you what, get rid of that. If I block, I already have plenty of block, but if I do block, then that thing won't hurt me so much. Uh, let's just draw some cards. Um, by which I mean draw some cards. Keep forgetting that. Five cards, ten damage, and I don't take the counter-attack damage from that. Right. Um, I'm going to take my shot at this other card. It'll probably be Adrenaline. Who would have thought? It's Adrenaline. And then we get Adrenaline. And then we begin our amazing escape card. I got plenty of ways to kill you. Question is which one? Did I discard a card? God, I wish it would tell you if you have or have not. I don't have memory for these kinds of things. It tells you if you have. It glows yellow. What glows yellow? Well, let's look. This is it not glowing yellow. Let's make sure we're discarding a card. And now, it's not glowing at all, but I don't have the power for it. So maybe that's why.
<laughs> because you can't play it. If you could have, it would glow yellow. Uh, okay. There's always more to it, huh? Right. When in doubt, adrenaline. And when you're still in doubt, adrenaline. And then I want to finish you off with a dagger. And, oh, you're already dead. But hang on, are you going to spike me regardless? Just in case you do, let's be blocked. Yes. Okay, so you do counter spike on death. Oh, now that I want. This is what I want more of. Drawing and discarding. Drawing and discarding is good. And it's free. Haven't been able to tune in for a stream for a while. Pleasant surprise to see Jake playing some Spire. Always thought he'd like the other roguelike card games. Now, this game's pretty great. It's not exactly what I want, but it's still good in its own way. What I wanted was Animation Throwdown without the monetization. Uh, because my problem is, I don't care about these cards. Right? These cards are just a means to an end. If this was the Hank Hill buff, or the Stan Smith blade attack, then I'd probably be a bit more enamored by it. And I'd also want to foster them a bit. We slowly make our way up. There are whispering voices. Receive madness. Reduce the cost of a random card to zero. Hmm. But it costs. And I, I use a lot of low cost things anyway, so that's probably not good. Heal, but I don't need to heal. Ugh, none of this is very good. I guess I'll just lose the four hit points. It's a shame. What if they were waifus? Well, again, they're very ephemeral, right? Once you've done your run, they're gone. And there are lots of... Uh, I suppose Animation Throwdown had repeats as well, but it had so many you were unlikely to see many repeats. Right, what's your story again? I think we fought you before. Do I get to discard anything? I do not, so when in doubt, get something that lets me discard a card. That is not it. I guess I'll just infinite blade and poison stab you. And nib is up, so double damage on the next thing. weakened and frail. Ooh. Well, just when it wants to go and hit me hard. Now that's one thing that my build does not have. A lot of defense. And if I attempt to defend, that's not going to go my way right now. So, 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 so. I think uh, you know, poison is a little too slow for dealing with you, but at least it's something. 25, yeesh. I've seen Dicey Dungeons in action. Uh, I watched Fishlips play it a fair bit. I'm not sure it's my cup of tea. I think I'll just take the damage you're going to throw at me, and for now, just shank you as much as I can. Although, no matter what I do, I'm in for a bad time. Strike plus you, and I don't think I'll expertise right now. Just do what you can to survive. Although... Maybe I'll get an amazing colorless potion that'll save me in my time of need. Gain two block and draw a card. Seems nice. If you have no attacks, I'll, uh... I have no attacks. So two cards is nice. The enemy loses nine strength. Oh, that's pretty good. That's like nine block. Yeah, get out of here. Not in any of that. And now I'm not actually going to take any damage. Okay, now his attack looks a lot more reasonable. Oh, hello, Adrenaline. Do you think we have enough Adrenaline? I'm unsure, but I'm also weakened, so that's a shame. I'm not going to use the expensive Adrenaline just yet, or the, the one that gives me loads, because I need to draw more cards and see what I have access to first. This is pretty good, because it lets me discard a card, so... With that, I can discard... Oh, I should have thought about what I want to discard.
Ah, huh, none of these are good for discarding. And I certainly want Venom active. That was a mistake, but okay. Venom ourself. Now I can really start piling on the poison, so... Bring in more. Even more. Mmm, even more. Wish I had tactics to discard now, and I didn't pick it up even though I said I should. Right, shove the bugger. More adrenaline, more better. Yeah, having the boot is actually helping with my weakened. Oh, if you draw a skill, you gain two blocks. So, right, otherwise you don't. Well, more is better, so give it to me. Hey, that's a skill. Thanks for the block. Hang on, where's my tactics card? Did I already throw it away? Yeah, there's Tactician. I got rid of it. Hmm, that's a shame. Right, this is gold, which means I've already done it, so I can actually just chuck you in now. I might as well slice you since it's free anyway. I'll try and hold on to the Ritual Dagger, see if I can do you in with that. But it is just taking up space if I don't. Right, more cards, more better. More panache, more better. More cards, more better. Neutralize you is great, so now I now you barely hurt me at all. Draw a card, discard a card. I'm gonna try my luck and uh, see if I can grab tactics. I did not, in fact, grab tactics, but defend cards aren't very useful to me. Bouncing you with poison is good for me. And defend would help me a little bit, but not much. So I'm just going to draw a card. This is going to be discarded either way. I'll throw it away right now. There we go. Boy, masked up poison is such a death sentence for the enemy. And now we get the double damage, but I'm still weakened. A bit of a shame. I guess as good as I can do is the dagger throw. It let's me throw something away. Although, what would I throw? Maybe one of my shivs. So now I'm getting to the point where a lot of the stuff that I have I kind of want to keep anyway. Maybe Quick Slash, although I do like drawing cards. I do really like drawing cards. Right. Smack, Rebate, Slice You, Neutralize You. Let's get our extra card and see what it is. I was worried it would be Tactician, and now I still can't get rid of you. Oh well, just keep shanking. Poor guy, he's dead next turn anyway. I don't need to do anything. I mean, I truly don't need to do anything, so I can just end the turn. Ah, no, 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 hold that thought. If I finish you off with my shanky shanks, that will power up. So, let's draw our last card. And now try and draw the other one, so... I'll clear my card of these shivs. I'll clear my hand of these shivs. Draw three cards. Hope that one of them is the uh, Ritual Dagger. Draw one more card. Hope that it's the Ritual Dagger. Draw three more cards. Hope that one of them is the Ritual Dagger. Panache is going to kill you in a few turns, so draw one card, hope that it's the Ritual Dagger. Okay, no, no luck in the Ritual Dagger. In that case, I just end my turn and watch you die. Hey. 
At the very least, I got these leveled up to where I need them. Gain 12 blocks, sounds very useful in a pinch. Masterful stab. Costs, yeah, no thank you. I don't, I'm not sure if I want any of these. Oh, I'll take this because it's free. But I need to not take damage. Oh, well, see, there we go. Comes up straight away. However, if I can get Panache to appear first, then that's brilliant. So, let's uh, draw a card and hope that it's something awesome. It's not really. Why is this in green? Because it's going to deal double damage. Hard to say no to 24 damage for free. Need more cards. Need a lot more cards. Give me my cards. Oh, see, that's what I was looking for. And now I can backstab you, and backstab you, and blade, and slice, and strike, and extra damage. Oh boy. Thankfully those are in the discard pile, so I should have you long dead before that becomes a problem. Hey, Tactician! I just need to be able to discard a card. Adrenaline, help me out. Adrenaline, help me out. Hey, there's my discard card. Bye-bye, Tactician. Let's make you weakened, because that's a pretty powerful and scary attack. And if I bring you down enough, Ritual Dagger's going to do you in. Sneaky strip. Wait, deal one damage? What? Intangible. All damage is down to one this turn. Ah, fiddlesticks. I guess all damage includes poison damage. Fortunately, I got my block for this turn, but I'm going to need to block. Well, it's still damage. Draw a card, please. If it's a skill, I block more of that. Um, I'm not sure using my adrenaline at this point is going to be particularly useful to me. You get to five with the boot, though. Oh, really? Let's see. Hey, you're right! Reduce all damage, but increase to five. Well, I guess boot beats whatever that is. Mm, is there anything useful I'm going to get out of this? Maybe. Maybe. Less adrenaline up anyway. No, I already have enough energy. Uh, uh, no, adrenaline up. Better now than not now. Besides, I can draw loads of cards. Look at that, already worth it. I wish I'd spent the defend first, though. Hey, more adrenaline! <laughs> yeah, go on, then. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Let's see how poison damage works with this thing. Well, that certainly doesn't look like it's all damage reduced to one. The poison damage is still three. I need to negate that attack. And it's completely negated now, so it doesn't really matter, so I might as well just use these up, and... I'll hold on to the Ritual Dagger, just in case. How many Adrenaline do you have in your deck? <laughs> Not enough! One Adrenaline, two Adrenaline, three Adrenaline, four, and one of them is Adrenaline Plus, which is even better. But yeah, my whole strategy is just keep drawing cards. Oh, look, there's some... Ooh! Right, well, fortunately, I can get rid of that. Now I won't be burned. Probably acrobatics would have been better. Oh, well, let's get working with the shiving. I would like expertise. Let's face it, you're already dead. However, where's my Ritual Dagger? There it is. I want that Ritual Dagger. So let's draw cards. That's not my Ritual Dagger. Let's draw cards. That's not my Ritual Dagger. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Get rid of Tactician so I get extra turns. Give me my Ritual Dagger. Nah. Draw one card, but I'll kill him with that. 
Ah, oh, fooey. Well, let's at least get rid of that so I don't take the damage, and let's just say good night. Future card rewards have one additional card to choose from. Nice. I can get that right now. Oh, it doesn't include this one. Boy, that is nice. Boy, that is nice. They're both nice. Block and damage. The problem is that it's two power, and I don't I don't deal in two powers. He got dashed, Chi Chi, well too bad. Right, we got plenty of health, so let's upgrade something. Probably adrenaline. Although look at that. Draw two, discard two. But it's hard to say no to adrenaline. God, the sheer amount of cards. Yeah, adrenaline plus all the power. Expertise plus is rather nice. What about Masterful Stab? Now it's just more power. More damage ain't all that much. That's just one extra card. Fleh. Nah, more adrenaline, more better. Alright, we're here for the elites. Bring on the elites. A couple of skull minions. And some kind of mummy thing. It's not attacking. God knows what it will do. Panache plus is 10 damage. Don't I already have Panache plus? No, it's just Panache. I should have looked into what that is then, because that's a pretty nice power to have. Right. I probably want to kill these floaty daggers first. But they're not really doing much to me. Well, this one can kill this one in one go, so... Goodbye, dagger. As long as I just defend a little bit, that one's going to go. And then it's just a case of shanking you till you live no more. Might as well be prepared. Ooh, sneaky strike's alright, because that means if I get rid of... I might get rid of defend, actually. Hmm. Then I'm just asking to take that damage. The zero cost here is meaningless, because I have enough power to do whatever I want anyway, so uh, I'll get rid of that to make sure that I don't take the damage. Infinite Blade, strike you, and then I'm just going to keep shanking you. Ooh, you deal wounds, huh? And you like to summon more minions. Oh, dear lord, you don't mess around, do you? Unfortunately, this is my turn, but oh my golly gosh. Hmm, huh, well. I don't think I have time to play around with Venom Plus. Well, let's gain some extra block. We're going to need it. Let's get our extra card. Now let's get our extra cards. There's Tactician, if I can just get rid of it, which I can. There we go, six. That's enough to play everything. Oh god, I kind of wasted my Tactician card there, didn't I? No more draws either. Right, well, I will kill you and weaken you. That's the best thing I can think to do. Wait, can I even kill you? Not really. I can poison you to death kind of a waste of my bouncing flask, but... Oh, and it's also random. Right, well, let's see where it randomly goes first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damage is not enough. However, this will be able to boost it up. So that's actually going to be three, four, to nine, to ten, eleven, twelve. Right, let's, let's eradicate you. However... Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to eat that massive damage. Fortunately, I have a shield against it. Oh yeah, the boot! The boot increases damage, doesn't it? I keep forgetting about my bleeding boot. Either way, though, it's probably better just to take your damage. So, farewell. 
This will hurt. Flat, and this is unmitigated. Ouch. If only you had useful potions. Oh yeah. If only. Actually, I can eradicate you in one shot with the uh, fire potion, can't I? Right. I already have a lot of power. Maybe adrenaline isn't necessary here. But, how can you say that? Panache, you're operational. I think I'll spend all of these, and then I'll expertise then acrobatics. You've got two damage. With this, you now have three health and three poison damage, so you're already dead. I don't need to defend, but I'm going to get these out of my hand so that I can shiv you. Expertise up to six cards. Acrobatics for more if... If... Oh, there's no tactics there. Let's bring it out anyway. Then let's get our extra one, and maybe it'll be tactics. It's not, but it's neutralize. So going to neutralize you. Stab you. Infinite blade myself. Slash you and draw. <laughs> I'm not sure we'll get to that turn. Damn it, where's my tactics? Get that wound out of here. Ritual dagger is almost ready to kill you. Now it should completely kill you. However, we might as well take the opportunity to build up our counter there. Hey, there's expertise again. Give me my cards. Yeah, there's Tactician at long last. Wait, what am I even doing? There's nothing I can get here that's going to be useful, so let's just kill you off. <sighs> Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero that turn. Sweet, that happens often. I'm starting to wish I'd used one of my potions now. But I can't drink any of them. Do I want colorless? No, that block will save me in a pinch. If I remember to use it. Whenever you play a card this turn, the enemy loses five hit points. Holy crivens, that would kill a lot of things. If I just get this off early. But I like drawing cards. But yeah, choke. Maybe the end boss can be choked to death. Because it's every card, not even every attack. If your hit point is at or below 50%, gain 12 hit points. Uh, doesn't happen often. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw... Ooh, yeah, sweet. God, you can get a lot of relics, can't you? Right, if we're... Right, what was Panache if we upgrade it? 14 damage for every 5 cards in a single turn. That's sweet and all, but I really like my adrenaline. I mean, I really like my adrenaline. I guess my only problem is that adrenaline exhausts, but it's, uh... Mmm, it's a lot of energy. In fact, maybe it's too much energy. It's the cards that I'm kind of more interested in. I'd actually rather have prepared so I can draw my way through even more cards. Although I don't like the extra discarding, we have to discard anyway. It makes it innate. It does. I don't see innate here. Oh, in upgraded infinite blades makes it innate, yeah. Panache does not become innate. Doesn't always uh, appear fast enough. Hmm. I like drawing lots of cards, so let's draw lots of cards. 
as it stands, we're kind of we're almost having too much energy. All right, mystery. Things are starting to feel very real. Imaginings of monsters and riches manifest them all my days. Uh, upgrade all cards. Well, the problem is I've already done a lot of upgrading, so uh, would I really benefit much from that? Oh, a lot of these could be upgraded. No more healing? Well, I don't really heal much. But uh, it's hard to turn down another fight. A rare relic, after all. Does no longer heal also apply to the lizard tail? Probably not. Give me that fight. The relics are interesting. Right, choose any number of cards to replace. I don't really want defend. I'm gonna discard a card, so sneaky strike is nice to have. I'm not even sure if I want infinite blades right now. Oh, no, it's, uh, the earlier you get it, the better. The no heal applies to the tail. Okay, well, thank God we didn't take that then. Oh, look, it's only 12 damage. Is that really worth caring about? Oh, well, it's gold, so that did count as a discard. It's kind of cool. Alright, well, when in doubt, get the adrenaline flowing. I want my pinache as soon as I can. It's not happening now, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That would bring me over the counter, so I guess I'll just smack you with Sneaky Strike for now. You don't have any weird effects, do you? After receiving 27 damage, it changes to a defensive mode. Alright, well, let's see what you're made of there, then. Tactics? No tactics. But I can masterfully shank you. I can... yeah, no more drawing, sadly. I want to outmaneuver before I forget about it. Infinite Blade, Infinite Blade... How did this become free? There it is. Play a, play a power card, random card becomes zero. Well, now I've got too much power. The enemy intends to use a buff, and he now has 20 shielding. So what happens if I break through that shielding? Now this does extra damage. Crunch. Sharp hide. Whenever you play an attack, you take three damage. All right, so let's play our attacks. Sadly, the poison stabs and attack. Ah, but I can always defend my way out of it. Gonna use ritual dagger just yet, so I'm gonna block up and throw it away. And now I have loads of blocks, so I'm going to shank you and throw it. Mm, throw this, get rid of a shiv, and then shiv you and slice you. And now you can do whatever you want to me, I don't care. And look, I've got way too much power. How could this have happened? At least I should have a lot of adrenaline now. Which is to say, one adrenaline. Discard two. Right, Panache first. Give me a card. That's what I want. Let's get choking. Counts as an attack, but that's okay. And now every time I play a card, he's going to take even more damage, so give me my cards. Get rid of Tactician for extra power. Get rid of a Shiv. Mm. I'm kind of taking damage every time I hit him, which isn't nice. Probably not even worth it, but I do want to weaken him. So I will do that. And then I'm going to draw to six cards. Yikes. Give me another card. And it's a skill. Oh my god, all this adrenaline and nothing to really spend it on. Right, well, I'll bounce and flask you. Poison you something fierce. 
give myself some more power, although playing this will reduce something to zero, and I don't have anything. So let's draw a couple of cards. None of them became zero cost, though. I thought something... Play a power card, a random thing. Maybe it can also apply to things that are already free? I don't know. Oh, that's because Adrenaline is a skill and Envenom is a power. Let's draw more cards. And block so I don't take even more damage from shanking you. And I want another card, so give me an extra card. Tactician, I can discard that. No, wrong one, wrong one. Discard Tactician, two more power. Adrenaline, two more power. This doesn't feel fair. Um, he's already weakened, so never mind that. Give me another card. Now I actually have to think a little bit about what I'm playing here. 36 and you're dead, so if I Master Strike you... It's one for that, though. I think I'll throw a dagger at you first. Draw myself an extra card, get rid of Shiv. Now you're on that, and now you're dead. However, you'll counterattack me if I don't defend you first. Now you're dead. God, that did not feel fair at all. I think I wiped my way through my deck twice. Right, free money. Uh, whenever you would receive five or less, reduce it to one. Well, that's pretty freaking sweet. And what do we want? Free block. Another bouncing flask. Another masterful stab. I quite like masterful stab because it's just free damage. But the bouncing flask just really stacks on that poison. So... Hard to say no to Bouncing Flask. Yeah, also Bouncing Flask chugs its way through all that energy that I have. Right, I like the mystery, but it's hard to say no to the Elite. Bring it on, Elite. It's a giant head. Right, what do I not want? It's not attacking me, so if we have any blocks, those can go. Choke is absolutely worth playing. But it only works this turn. And I don't have any... Uh... I don't have many extra things to throw at it. Might still be worth doing, though. I'm not doing much in the way of attacking, so I think I'll throw away Envenom and re-roll that one. Yeah, makes sense. What do you have for me? Outmaneuver. Well, that's pretty sweet. Alright, Panache first. Then Choke. Backstab. Backstab. Are you doing something weird to me? Whenever you play a card again, it receives 10% more damage from attacks this turn. Huh. Cool. Well, I want to outmaneuver you. I want both of my infinite blades, which are now free. And now I've got way too much energy that I can't even do anything with. Please read the passive. Whenever you play a card, Giant Head receives 10% more damage. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Still tempted to throw in a colorless potion, but it's free anyway, so probably not worth looking at. I think he's complaining that you attacked before you buffed. Oh, okay. Right, he's counting down, so he's probably going to do something big and nasty to me, so let's take you out ASAP. I don't have any discard card things, which is a shame, so I've got Tactician right here, and I've got all this power that I'm not spending on anything. Uh, so I'm gonna just throw everything I have at you. Wait, why am I weakened? I guess you just weakened me. Well, it doesn't matter. Get Shanking, even though I don't have my poisony stuff. Drop an extra card while we're at it, I guess. Might be something good. Like Bouncing Flask. It's free damage. 
Gonna shiv you, gonna slice you quickly. Gonna expertise back up to six cards. Hey, there's adrenaline. Ooh, and there's my discard tactician. Bye bye, tactician. Not that block does too much for me. I got enough to spend on all of this, but when in doubt, have more. I have discarded a car, so you can do extra damage. Gain extra cards. More cards is good cards. Bouncing Blast, more poison on you. How do you poison a big stone head? Defend does pretty much nothing, that's all I got. You could manage to count down there? Are you can gonna do any damage to me? Ah, now you're gonna try. 13 whole damage. What do I do to you? Um... Let's draw two cards first. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Hmm. Draw two, discard two, but there's nothing I really want to discard too much. Especially since I wouldn't actually mind blocking a bit, since he's coming in with an attack. And you take more damage the more I do with this. Keep them flowing. Hey, there's my ritual dagger. You are going to do some serious damage. I think I'll just do you now to try and do you in. Let's not bother saving up for the big hit. That's pretty brutal, though. Let's neutralize you a touch. Shiv you some more. Grab ourselves some extra cards. Discard. I don't know, defense. I've already defended. More adrenaline, more turns. This is so unfair. I was probably wondering when he gets a turn. Strike you and get a rebate. Stab you for no cost. Defend, prepare. Oh, hey, there was choke. Could have done that before. Get rid of the ones that forced me to discard. Sorry, choke. Give me a card. Give me a card. Oh, sorry. Goodness, that wasn't fair. I <laughs> don't want to say it again, but when does the game get hard? Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Uh, I think there's only one more rest left. 10 damage to all enemies. Mm, 20 damage to one feels more applicable more often. Hmm... Game too easy, says Matt, and playing game on easy mode. There is no option to increase the difficulty. This is as hard as it can be. Skewer might actually be useful, uh, given that I end up with too much power often. Burst. This turn, your next skill is played twice. Hey, what if my skill is Ultra Adrenaline? Give me Burst. There is. If you play Ascension 1, you get to Ascension 2. Oh man, how many Ascensions does there have to be? What if I just want to crank it up to 10 now? Starting to wish I had that damage to all enemies thing already. Right, uh, you're barely attacking me. But I don't have a lot of boosters. Next skill is played to- oh man, think of all the energy I'd have for next turn. Lots of it. But that's assuming I have the cards for it, and that's not usually my problem. I'm actually going to drop in Venom for now, just to re roll. Well, that was a waste of time. Right, burst out maneuver. And now, and now, 
do actually kind of want to defend. I'm going to be eating some damage. Why don't I just take this block potion? I've been holding on to it for way too long. No damage for me this turn. If the other is still alive, it revives in two turns at 50, so I need to kind of take them all out, so... Focus down one of them for now. Let's activate my infinite blades. Everyone likes infinite blades. Oh, and it makes infinite blades free! Sweet! But infinite blades is a power, not a skill. Why did it... Oh, it's because powers do make them... Oh, okay, well... That means defend is free as well. More dumb dumb me. This is definitely not the easiest character, says Anohito. Aren't there only four characters? I only saw four, but maybe you need to unlock them. Right, I get my defense for free, but they are actually upping their game a bit. However... I have obscene amounts of energy, and we will try and get as much as we can. Well, cards are what I need now. More drawing, please. More drawing, please. Eleven power. I don't even think it's worth the drawing you. I can't even spend all this. But what if I get the thing that lets me draw up to a certain amount of car uh, cards? It's possible. That was what I was looking for, acrobatics. Let's get panache up first. I'm looking at 16, 26 damage, so I can actually defend twice to not take that. Um, draw a card and discard a card. Yeah, that gets rid of... Hmm, they're all stuck to bat their hatches, which is a shame. Anyway, give me the card, get rid of Tactician. My god, more adrenaline. Right, start hacking them down. This is double damage, which feels like a waste. So I should draw my three cards first. Oh boy, I'm not getting rid of Ritual Dagger. I might actually get rid of a Shiv. Right. Well, goodbye to you. Although you're not about to attack me, I've already defended up, so I don't think I need any more. Um, give me the cards. I don't want to discard another card. Give me the cards. Choke. Alright, I can choke one of you out. And that way when I deploy these, you're going to die with them. In fact, this will choke you out now. Dagger only grows on these guys if you get the last one. What? It wasn't minion? Ah, oh, man. The disappointment. Wait, that doesn't make any sense at all. Triggers when this is killing a non-minion enemy, and they did not have the minion flag. At least I didn't see it on them. Right. Choose one or three attack cards. Sure, I used a potion. Hmm, drawing cards. But I also have to discard cards. Hmm. At the start of your turn, apply two poison to all enemies. Does this happen every turn? I'm going to assume so. That seems like a pretty good thing to have. Although I tend to kill things pretty quickly. Deal 10 damage if the enemy has poison. Deal 10 damage again. A lot of them have poison. Bane works well with Nauseous Flames, doesn't it? But it's only one attack, whereas this thing does everything all the time, so I'll take it. Every turn forever. Yeah, that's just going to keep stacking, isn't it? Right, what do I not want here? I like drawing cards. Slice is free. You know what, I, I can I can pretty much work with what I have here. Give me a card. 
It's cool and all, especially since I can discard that card. Bye bye, tactician. Now, let's get that nauseous flame power going. It made expertise free, which is cool, because I can do that as my last thing if I want. I'm going to stab you, I'm going to infinite blade myself, I'm going to stab you, I'm going to adrenaline up. Or will I? Gain one. Yeah. Because now I can defend myself. I might just use the dagger so it's out of my... No, you know what? I have a feeling I can put this dagger to use. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to slice you. I'm going to draw five cards. To my immense surprise, Adrenaline is not one of them. So let's see if we can't get Adrenaline. Gain two block and draw a card for free. Still not Adrenaline. Okay, give me, give me Adrenaline. <laughs> I want Adrenaline. There we go. In this turn, your next skill is played twice. Hey, I wouldn't mind playing Adrenaline twice. That rebates that. Sorry, Bouncing Blast, this isn't really going to be a poison, uh, poison turn. And I've already defended, so I'll let go of that. So, if I burst, I double Adrenaline to get, you guessed it, more Adrenaline. Oh, this would have been sweet to have go twice. Oh, I should have choked you out first. Well, there's still plenty more cards I can play right now, so let's get choking. Get me my card, please. It's Adrenaline Plus! Might as well weaken you while we're at it. Draw another card. It's Bouncing Flask again. Mm. Get rid of Defend. I don't need to Defend anymore. <laughs> yeah, my turn never ends. Just bringing out another rule book. I can bring you down to 39 all as well, so what else can be done here? This is a power card, so it reduces a skill down to zero, right? So that's kind of free, and if it works on Bouncing Flask, that's all the better. Uh, no, but it worked on Outmaneuver. And this poor guy's just being choked and choked to death. Uh, kind of wishing I'd saved my double damage for Ritual Dagger. What did I do that negated that? Well, something. I think I'm out of luck for killing you with the Ritual Dagger. Yeah, I missed it. Oh well, I can at least strike you and bounce you. Oh, oh, we might still be in it to win it though. Hold off, don't waste that. Gain my block, choke him out, get rid of that, and... Goodbye! <laughs> Mom, when's my turn? Okay. Right. Blur. In five block. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Eh. I like drawing more cards. More cards, better cards. Final rest before the big bad. Do we upgrade Adrenaline again? What if we upgraded the one that gets us more Adrenaline? Where is it? Burst, right? Your next two skills are played twice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, come and have a freaking go. Okay, what's your story? Okay, it'd be nice if it could tell me anything about this guy before I throw away some of my cards. Well, he's attacking me for 12, we know that much. Oh, maybe this will work. Yeah, there we go. Whenever you play 12 cards, it ends your turn and gains two. Oh, well that's not very nice. That's my whole strategy and you've just turned it against me. 
So I can only play 12 cards a turn. Well, that's my cross to bear. I'll try and focus on more on poisoning you than anything else then. I got six to start with, so I got plenty to do against you, but I don't think I want to discard any. Just need to start shanking you as soon as possible. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess that's all I have to do. Alright. Get my infinite blades going. Shank you. Stab you. Bouncing poison you. What's that other? Why is it growing? That's probably telling me how many cards I've played, right? Yeah, five, six. And there's my block, so you can still hurt me, but not by much. Actually, you're only going to hurt me for one because of my Tori. Yeah, I could shank you a bit more, couldn't I? It's free, but what if it gives me more cards? Like this. Or this. This just does 30 damage straight up. Upgrade all the cards to the rest of the combat. Oh, hell yeah. That's useful for this. Alright. Now come and have a freaking go if you think you're hard enough. All of my adrenalines are adrenaline plus. Shame upgraded burst, but what can you do? Alright. Just try it. You get hurt, and then... You do nothing, and then nothing, and then... Oh no, not one damage. What'll I do? Well, I'll guard myself for 14. Immediately pinash. Now I've got to be a little careful. I can't use too many cards now, can I? Might as well Envenom since it's free. Might as well Adrenaline. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is whenever you play 12, not in one turn. It's just straight up. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, bollocks. Okay. Well, that's a shame. That was a waste of my adrenaline. I could negate his damage, or I could just start applying more and more poison. Poison. There we go. The Tori's not saving me from that 9 damage, though. Right, so that means I want to actually do about 12 t uh, moves per my turn. Okay, cool. But it also means my attacks need to matter. So I need to, I need to really start shanking this guy. Hit him quick and pile on that poison. I'm gonna draw my cards while I can. Tactician's what I was looking for. Too weak. Just make sure you don't do too much damage. Uh, I completely missed Burst, didn't I? Choose one of three random attack cards to ante your hand. It costs zero this turn. Attack is not a skill. I was thinking maybe I could use Burst, but it only works this turn. Oh well, let's see what we get anyway. Well, it's not a very impressive Bane, but I guess I'll take it. Still does damage. I got nothing to gain from blocking except for bringing on Time Warp. But it bothers me that I only get four, turn, uh, four moves next turn. But if I use these, it helps me even less. It really makes things awkward for my turns. Hmm. I'm vulnerable right when he's coming in for the smacking. Remember, I only get four turns here, so make them count. Bouncing, prepare, sneaky, and something else. Although I really need to do something about that damage that's coming in.
nothing to give me the defense that I need. It's not very nice killing move. Anyway, I only get two shots at you here. Oh, sneaky strike costs power that I don't have. Hmm. I like we get extra power for next turn. But I'm about to face some serious pain. Oh crap, I shouldn't play it. Now I only get one turn. Whoops, 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 whoops. Hey, what can I say? New rules taking me by surprise. I think it's about to cost me big time. Oh wow, that just that just cost me everything. Oh man, I got nothing now. Time Eater is the direct counter to this type of play. Okay, well, let's bring it on then. It's not like I didn't have a backup plan for this at least. And now he's down to only having one turn, so let's have that. So... Draw a card, get five block. Gain more turns next turn. Hmm. Well, at least I keep applying more poison damage to him, so I really need to keep piling everything on. Next two skills this turn. Well, I don't really have skills that I'm playing this turn. Give me a, give me a card. Not really what I'm looking for. Keep that damage going. Sadly, I can't use Burst. Not meaningfully, at least. Current Bamboozle counter Time Eater 1 Jake. Now, the Time Eater got me twice. Right. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd all, where, where the hell did he get all that health back from? Did he have a Rat Tail too? He dropped his poison. Good lord, the ass pool's here. He healed for your poison. What? Well, Masterful Stab is not so masterful anymore. You're gonna do a lot of damage to me, and I don't have a counter to that. Two moves next turn, sadly. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm dead. I am deader than dead. I mean, I get 11 block and 8 block, but he deals 30. Aha! But that's just enough. Bye bye, tactician. Not that it matters. Um, do we tell him? Uh oh, what do you tell me? Oh, he's gonna get extra two, so that's 32. Oh, indeed. Farewell, farewell, cruel world! Ah. Not quite the top. Well, I gotta hand it to you. That was a hell of a counterplay. Oh wait, does that mean I don't unlock the uh, ascension? 
Ooh, relics. Act 3 bosses are tough, but a total nightmare when they just counter you. Yeah, and he certainly does. Anyway, yeah, this game is great, Sir Rosa. Still not quite what I'm looking for, but I, I am hard-pressed to complain about this. You have to win to unlock Ascension. Oh man, and you have to win with each hero as well. That feels like unnecessary gating. I want to crank this up regardless. And I can't even do Ascension on these two until I play Easy Modo. You still did great. Damn right I did great. Uh, that guy pulled some ass pull, right? There's no way I could have known that was coming. Uh, anyway, brilliant game, Slay the Spire. Probably going to play this quite a bit more because it's so much fun. But not right now, because I'm here to play a variety of card games. So let's go and see if something else matches up. Let's move over to Monster Train. Well played, Jake. The game has plenty more up its sleeve. Devil, I should hope so. Our home. Frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. But one spark is enough to reignite a revolution. The Bone Shaker, our train, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. The gilded wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. Alright, so unlike Slay the Spire, I haven't touched Monster Train, so I don't know what I'm getting into. Although I'm pretty sure it's quite loud, so let's just knock you down a fair shot. Never mute in background, but thank goodness they have that as an option. Uh, right, straight away the whole Paper Doll World of Warcraft style turns me off big time. Like, I am so sick to death of high fantasy cliché. But, we go for it anyway. Standard run, sure. Uh, I have an active run. I have literally not played, so just give me a new run. Welcome to hell. Your train is carrying precious cargo. Last remaining shard of power. Yeah, we just went over that. Did you play, ins uh, play Inscription? Is that the one from the makers of Pony Island? If so, no, and I have no intention to. See, when you know it's made by the people who made Pony Island, you know that you're in for something subverting. And I'm not even familiar with the genre, so the subversion will be lost on me. It's still too loud, isn't it? Certainly how it sounds to me. Let's just knock you way down. Right, these disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven, restore, blah blah blah. Okay, let's go. This is your pyre, if it takes too much damage, your run is over. Enemies have boarded at lower level, they move up one level each turn, so we should totally attack your pyre, okay. Summon units, defend your train, deploy once per turn, okay. Now how about just a steward? No indication of what any of these numbers mean, just do it. Alright, well Hornbreaker seems like he knows what he's doing. Each floor is limited capacity, number of pips. Okay, so you took up two out of five? I thought I can only deploy one per turn. Oh, I'll just throw everything at them. seem to like moving on up, don't they? Does that mean I can move these people up? No. These are the Ember. Spend to play cards from your hand, restored at the beginning of every turn. Draw pile. This is what I have to draw from, okay.
Apply regen one. Regenerates one. Her da da da. Okay, it's not really going to do terribly much, is it? Well, let's just roast you while we're here. Got a big red guy, fairly dozen the damage. Okay, so we don't do anything to stop them, they just move on up. Visually, this game already is incredibly unappealing. But let's stick through and see what it offers. Can I stick more stewards up here? Yeah, there we go. So if they just reach it... When enemy units reach the pyre room, they trade blows with your pyre until one is defeated. The pyre is immobile, immune... Okay, well, good for it. Okay, beware the Lord of the Land approaches. Relentless combat will continue until you or he is defeated. Uh-huh. Well, let's keep you alive. Just burn the bastard. Oh, he's not kidding. It really will continue on. <laughs> card packs. Please tell me this game doesn't actually have pay to win. Mm -hmm. Move up a floor to the back of that floor. Armor, armor, blocks, warden helper. I, I don't know, just give me something. I don't have enough knowledge to know what is good and what is not, so it'll ottle black bottle, it'll ottle not you. It dip blue ship sailing along a blue you. So then we take a path here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't need to click on anything. Get back. Oh, okay. This game is so ugly. Like, so so ugly. It's like a cross between World of Warcraft and that those steam steamy games I'm playing. Am playing. Let's not get sound like it's an actual ongoing thing. What is it called again? Steam World. It's a cross between Steam World and World of Warcraft. Anyway, I have no information to work with on that, so go away. Grab a demon friend. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Yeah, okay, good for them. Combat previews. Show the amount of damage each unit will take during the combat phase. Red X means defeated. Okay, well, let's get that friend out. Oh, he's too expensive for me. Well then, here's your friend. Of course, they just scarf her up, don't they? There's no friendly units to give you, which could be a problem. And I can't move you up. But I could probably just kind of torch you and then take you out soon enough. Oh, he does attack. I didn't think he would. Does that mean you're going to get shanked right now, friend? No, they're just going to run away. In that case, keep your stewardy friend alive. Can take five before losing health. Each point of armor blocks one bit of damage and then is removed. So does armor restore each turn? Kind of looks like it does. Well, whatever, steward, you go and help deal with that. And you get torched away. Fly forward, uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Why are we even defending this fire? Seems to seems to handle itself pretty well. Right, you you look like you do well with a bit of extra shank thing, and let's give you some defense. 
Ah, you're still the relentless one, aren't you? Ah, looks like it throws it off. Seven damage, so you're going to instantly give this guy. Hang on, not enough ember. Does this stuff stack? Maybe it does. I want to deploy my friend here, so... We'll just end our turn and see what happens. No, no it does not. I just have a card I can't use. Okay. No, oh, I have a feeling this isn't going to go terribly well for us. Okay, thank you, Pyre. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm immediately just turned off by this game big time. It's incredibly ugly and it's not very interesting. And I know, right, that's an opinion you have after playing it for not even five minutes and not even out of Tutorialville. But you know what? I've got over a thousand games right now. Probably well more than that. And I, I don't feel like I'm going to get anything if I put the time into this. Although people have told me that this game is great, I just don't want to look at it. It's, it's like, okay, here's an amazing logistics game, but it's, it's all about just transporting people to Auschwitz. Like, that's all you do. And then I go, okay, well, it might have the, the deepest systems that one could hope for, but I, I, I don't want to play with the subject matter. So... No, Monster Train, you are the proverbial Monster Train to Auschwitz, so goodbye. It's no Slay the, say the, eh, slay the Spire, but it's not completely horrible. Yeah, but it's, is it good enough? Why would I play this if I have Slay the Spire? It, it is different gameplay-wise, I know. You're playing um, characters and actions. But it's hard to get over how ugly it is. I hate the World of Warcraft aesthetic. And this one's just bringing in on paper doll models. So yeah, too ugly for me. And, you know, I played Dominions 5 for fun, even in my free time. So you go away, and we're going to crack out something else. Something which is ugly in its own way. Less repulsively ugly, though. Maybe that's what I should say. Monster Train is repulsive. Which is worse than ugly. You know, ugly can be good, but that isn't good. Right, what is this? Across the Obelisk. This certainly looks like a lot of budget was, well, forsaken here. But that's okay, let's just go for it. Let's play. Choose a game mode. Well, you're not even letting me play these modes, so... What is with all this gating? What if I just want to play? What if I've reinstalled? Right, uh, give it to me. It's one of my big problems. I... Oh, never mind. When suddenly... A burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. Uh. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanchek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom, but none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. Okay, right. That was painful. Hopefully it only gets better from here. Oh, maybe it doesn't. I think I've seen you in Beauty and the Beast, Magnus. Right, you can always choose to fight without accepting a corruption high-risk high-reward. I don't even know what corruption is, game. 
Uh, we've got a legend showing. Oh, we've got a hold over it. Combat, article, event, rest. Oh, these are our party members. These are their cards, I guess. Okay. You seem to have your own stats. It's a heavy clicking noise. Right, let's go for it. Energy management. You can cast cards until you're out of energy. When you end a turn, energy that hasn't been used will be saved for your next turn. Okay. Oh, so it does save. Right. That, that was something that we had not happen in Monster Train. Available targets. Target card. Select one. Okay, great. Immediately it looks like Darkest Dungeon or Mistover. Man, Mistover was so cool. Shame it wasn't any good. Right, I have a lot of things, no real way of telling what's worth our time, so why don't we just start making you bleed? <laughs> oh god, that is... <laughs> that's funny, right? I'm not, I'm not imagining that that's very funny, right? Okay, already getting more laughs out of this game than out of Animation Throwdown. We have defense. What are you guys going to do against me, anyway? Oh, I don't want to see that. I don't know. You've got cards, but I can't see them. So I guess I'll just keep chopping you up. Look at that freaking animation! <laughs> block. Prevents one damage per charge. Oh, okay, well. Why don't you just block and defend? It just use everything. And our turn is over, I think. Monster cards. They're hidden by default. Sight cards. Okay, well, I don't have sight. Oh, he's gonna shoot me! Okay. Speed value. Value establishes who moves first. The hero to the center has priority. Okay, well, good for you. Is it just Reginald up again, or is this... Oh, no, this is you. Oh, you're, you're actually a cleric. Given that you're wielding, you know, a hammer... And gauntlets. I figured you were some kind of um, monk. Maybe you are a monk. Well, why don't we use that foresight? Although I have to choose who I use it on. So you're going to chop me. Chop the front hero. Well, that's not going to do anything. So why don't I just zap you and heal myself? No energy. Oh, well, never mind then. You are so very nearly dead, so let's just choppity chop. You'll die next turn. I'll defend till then. This really is we have slayed the spire at home. Mm, foresight is free, right? Why would I ever not play a free spell? I'm sure there'll be reasons for that. <laughs> this is uh, pretty grim. Alright, what kind of events do we have here? Some options, force you to roll, to determine action, cards from their deckland. You arrive in a nearby tavern, Andrin, Reginald's got a brother. Talking to him, he joins our party. There's a woman. It would be nice to have a woman in the party. Our only option is to try to convince her. Okay. What was the name of the beast in Beauty and the Beast? Well, maybe it was Magnus. Anyway, Magnus walks her on over. And she joins. Okay, so now we've got a, got a Final Fantasy party put together. His, his name can't have just been Beast. Oh, we've got a child. What we call him? Let's call him Beast. Didn't know a guy in school whose nickname was Beaston, but... Certainly wasn't his god-given name. Foresight isn't exactly free. It costs you the slot and deck and the card draw. I wasn't aware I was limited on those, but I'm not paying too much attention. You can craft new cards for your decks, upgrade cards you have, buy equipment. Uh-huh. Yep. 
Yes, well, let's get a fire blast for you, shall we? Maybe not. Okay, get me away from there. Oh, so it says here, craft fireball with Eplin. Eplin? Fireball? Ah, maybe this is where I... Ah, right, right, this is what she has, this is what I craft. Here's a fireball. That cost me a resource, but I like to think it's not a freemium resource. The time screen looks like shakes and fidget. I don't know what shake and fidget is. At first glance, I thought you said Shrek. Transform cards, pay shards. I'm already worried about these shard things. I need to, I need to check and make sure there's no pay to buy more things here. Doesn't look like there is, though. I am surprised. Uh, where's my load game? Ah, there is a bunch of DLC for it, though. And uh, as somebody pointed out earlier, this is a Paradox Interactive published game. Paradox didn't really have much, many fingers involved in making it. But it looks like they're the publisher for... who's the developer here? Dream Sight Games, whose previous games are... Empire TV Tycoon from 2015. Which is ugly in its own way, but not ugly like this. Okay, don't mind me, I was just checking out Steam there. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't have a Paradox release of that DLC, it just doesn't work that way. You need to complete the town tutorial, oh, okay. Upgrade Fast Strike from Magnus, sure. So using three Fast Strike cards, I can... Oh no. No, it's I choose how to upgrade it. In what way is this an upgrade? Oh, it can either make it free or harder hitting. I like free. Bear in mind that the cost of upgrading card is based on rarity. Okay, go to the armory and finish up. Buy items for us. Da -da 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 -da. Don't really want any of these. Morning star sounds pretty cool. I'm not sure if I want or need any of those, so let's get the heck out of here. Oh, right, no, I have to. Buy the spy class for Aldrin. Okay, well, here you go. I suppose being able to see what the enemies are planning on doing is quite useful. Yeah, this this game does smell of browser game heavily. Was this something that featured on Congregate or Newgrounds? Oh wow, it's just so amateur. <laughs> Especially after playing Slay the Spire. How much did I pay for this game? I don't think I paid anything for Slay the Spire. This game cost me like... Oh, 17 quid? Okay, Jesus. Right, um... Oh yeah, I didn't upgrade the category again. What's this game called? Across the Obelisk. There we go. I don't usually bother with it, because one, I don't usually change games midstream, and two, it doesn't usually update for people unless they refresh. Right, who's going first anyway? It's, um, Andrin. So if I'm reading this right, you've got four power, so you might as well take two shots. However, this doesn't cost anything, but is there a card draw cost on top of that? Look five cards. Discard any of them. Grant one extra card per charge. Mark. Plus one. One step. Yeah, whatever. Just get shooting. Why are we fighting corn on the cob? I feel like we just walk up and eat them. Alright, beast is up now. Works for all heroes, pretty cool. 
There you go, just go tanking up maximum. It's got spread damage, area effect is always good. Oh, they're even called corny. Healing ring, global. I oh, always like. Oh, crikey, it works for them as well. Oh, that's not. That's not very nice. Be gone. We imagine people hoping to see Slay the Spire and then get hit by this. Yeah, we've got Slay the Spire at home. Right, who's up? I can't even tell. It's you, right, Andrin? Get slicing. Actually, can you slice? Yeah, I was wondering if you couldn't attack because you weren't on the front row. Seeing that fireball I made, but here I have a fresh ball instead. So this is what you get out of winning. Performance bonus, great. So if you do better, you get more. Uh... So you get to choose one card to add to your pile, or you get shards instead. Oh yeah, can I repeat your oak? <laughs> the, the lack of animation for that thing going over there is jarring as well, so I don't think I can undo that. Event, event, let's have a look at the field. Near the farm you come across a burned field and a burning house, something in front, imps, half burned, deal with a fire imp. Continue your way without attracting the imps' attention. That doesn't sound like my problem. Okay, I think I've seen enough to know that I don't want to see anything more. Uh, this looks like a game that should have come out maybe 15 years ago. Kind of looks like it was finished development 15 years ago. Well, I don't know, maybe that's unfair. It's kind of cute, but there's just so much better. Now that, well, uh, that's rich coming from me. I'm very new to this genre, but honestly, why would you play this if you could play Darkest Dungeon, Mistiver, or Slay the Spire? I don't know. True, it did last longer than Monster Train, but although this is ugly, it's not repulsive. It's charmingly ugly. Yeah, it has that Newgrounds Congregate kind of look to it. It's just, you know, it's a standalone game that costs 17 quid. You can play it with others. Why would I want to taint my gaming experience with other people? I do not know. Right, so... I'm done with the games that I had prepared, but this was all part of a real cry for help. I'm very new to the genre. I've always dismissed deck builders as something I don't want to play. But Slay the Spire was good because it's... It was just really good. High production values, great gameplay. So many different ways that changed things up. Loved it. But it still didn't scratch the itch that I had from Animation Throwdown. I really liked my investment in the cards, the relatability of them, the fact that they were characters and places and items, but not actions. If you know something that gets around that, then I'd love to hear it. However, I was recommended one thing, and I'm going to go and check it out. Oh, well, no, there's a great idea. More Animation Throwdown! My, my timers will have finished counting down now, won't they? Oh man, you, you've got great ideas there, Killing Moon. I'll almost forgive you for calling me an asshole earlier on. That was very unkind of you. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah. Have we done the researches? We haven't had them going, we've been wasting all this downtime. I want to know what happens when I mix my signature cocktail with Bill. And I want to know now. Eight 
It's a tainted Alamo. It does huge amounts of gas damage. What else can we mix a cocktail with? Archer. Archer needs a cocktail. Two days? Fortunately, we can pay to win. Better be legendary. It is legendary gambling drunk. We already knew about the gambling drunk card, but obviously we didn't know that much. Please take me back to the fire. <laughs> anyway, I was uh, somewhat joking about bringing this back up. The real recommendation I had was the Pokemon trading card game for the PlayStation Color. I don't have it, but uh, maybe I can go to the lesser known Steam of Game Boy Color games and uh, purchase it. Pokemon trading card game. Uh, TBC. Uh, there we go. Limited time sale. Get the game for free as long as you as long as you delete it off your hard drive in the next 24 hours. What a deal! What a steal of a deal! Where in the world did I keep my uh, authentic Game Boy Color? I'm not sure I've got it around here somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll just need to plug it in so that you get the visual feed of it. I didn't have this prepared ahead of time, so forgive the... God, and after I called that other game out, amateur. Right. Whoa, hey, I think we got something. Now I just need to pause you. Uh, definitely get rid of Animation Throwdown. And definitely bring in my Game Boy. Is this gonna work? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's just bring you over give you the screen real estate you deserve. Let's, let's be done with animation throwdown. God, no one needs to look at that anymore. I'll be sure to uninstall it afterwards. And it doesn't go wide or anything, so I'm just going to take up more space with chat. There you go. You can look at, a, look at your own words. The, the thought is occurring that I probably had chat way too big for the other games. Well, too bad. They've been and gone. I had it large for animation throwdown, and I didn't make it small for the other games. Okay, uh, are you actually going to take my input here? Mm, joypad, configure, one, up, down, left, right. Um, I don't know which one's A and which one's B. A, B, L, R. Select, start, speed, and uh, can we just like get rid of these? Okay, you're gonna like this now? Yeah, pretty loud, isn't it? Let's just bring that down a whole lot. And I... Okay, there we go. I recall looking into turning off mute on unfocus on virtual Boy Expanse before, but I think it failed. Right! Never played this, so I have no idea what I'm getting in for. New game. What is my name? My name is that right doesn't work on my input, so let's fix that if we can. Configure, right, there we go. Alright, you got new, uh, room for everything? You do not. 
but you do have room for Marvin. Marvin is crazy. One day, Marvin heard a rumor that the legendary Pokemon cards extremely rare and powerful. Cards held by Pokemon trading card games' greatest players. Hmm. Update reminder, but we could be playing Slay the Spire. Okay, uh, this is Pokemon trading. Oh man, sometimes this happens, it just loops and doesn't load. Pokemon trading card game. Sounds about right. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary cards, we visit the Pokemon card researcher Mason. Oh hey, look at that graphic. From top down it looked the same as a uh, Game Boy game, but... What's the rush, Marvin? You want to learn how to play Pokemon? Finally. Dueling is more fun than just collecting. You should try playing it now. I said I want to collect, Dr. Mason. Sam, huh? I was thinking our main character looked awfully androgynous, and now Sam comes in. A truly androgynous name. Is it Samuel? Is it Samantha? Do we know? Uh, you know what? Just jump right in. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. <laughs> Thanks, Dot. I ran away from home just to play this game, you know. Okay, no, Sam is definitely a bloke, and it looks pretty old at that. Check the jowls. Each player draws a card. Okay, no, draws seven cards. Choose a basic Pokemon. Draw one, uh, draw seven cards. Get ready for battle. Choose your active Pokemon. You can only choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. Goldeen or Staryu? Choose Goldeen. Ah, screw you, I'm playing Staryu. Okay, what if I still don't want to listen to you? Okay, typical Nintendo, but thou must. Basic Pokemon on the bench, choose one uh, bench Pokemon, active Pokemon, only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Staryu from your hand. We didn't oh right, Staryu's my backup. We played Goldeen, right? You have no Pokemon. Press B button. Okay. I think I reversed B and A. Prizes. Was, was that a heads? It was a Pikachu space. You need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Well, I actually played the physical Pokemon trading card game. Well, played. I think I played it like three times. Most people just collected. So we attach it, and then we attack. Does attack spend the energy, though? That's what I wonder. So if I... Uh, put the water energy on my Goldeen... Goldeen, Goldeen... Then I can attack with Horn Attack. Oh, just you watch match up. You're gonna get it now. Took 10 damage. Where's his health? Draw one card. Sam is thinking. Fighting energy. Not really. Where's the, where's the... Where's the health? Oh, I see. There's hit points. Yeah, that's right. We used counters, didn't we? And I think one counter was 10 health and everything was multiples of 10. But I swear some of them only did 5 or 15. Your Goldeen's gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it to choose Seeking. Psychic energy. Do I even have that? Okay, okay, one step at a time. 
from my hand, I can uh, evolve you to Sea King. And now I can put a Psychic Energy onto you. How many turn, how many draws and things do I get per turn? And now I can smash you with Waterfall for 30. I guess you keep the power that you put on it, because I kept the water and he kept his, um, his fighting. Oh man, the strongest Ratata. Water energy, get your bench star you, select the attack command, only 10 hit points, Sea King's horn attack will be enough. Why can't I just attack him again with my existing card? I mean, wh what in the world is stopping me from just horn attacking you to death? Alright, water energy to my bench star you. And then I uh, uh, go to star you. No. I check my star you. No, that's just looking at it. What was the other thing I have to do then? Retreat. Uh, retreat's energy. difficulty following the simple instructions. Choose attack, attack with horn attack. Oh, I am still attacking. Wait, what? That's what you told me to do. Attach a water energy card to your bench star you. Choose attack and attack your opponent with horn attack. Okay, pretty sure I already gave star you water energy. Maybe it reset that when I went off the rails. There we go. Down you go, my shop. I get a prize. I wonder if I get to beat up people and take their cards. It resets every time you screw up. That's the stuff, Liege. Oh no. Not lightning on Ratata. Not Raticate. Pokemon, you lose the game. Put Drowsy onto your bench. Okay. So Drowsy, you are getting played on the bench. And then I'm going to play my water energy onto Drowsy. And then I'm going to destroy you. What was I meant to use? Probably Waterfall, right? 41 level Raticate. It's gonna eat my fish. Still not sure how the prizes system works here. Drowsy and Star, you choose Star. Oh, I wanted to use Drowsy. Wait, why did Star you evolve just there? Oh no, he's telling me that it evolves to Star me. Star me is. Uh, dangerous opponent in the regular Pokemon game. So what was it? I wanted to attach a water energy onto Staryu, and then I wanted to... Uh, what was it again? I didn't want to attack. How in the world do you... How in the world do you evolve?
Oh, Drowsy had some horrible minigame in Pokemon Stadium. You just had to click A to a metronome, but most of the minigames in Pokemon Stadium were horrible. Hey, Sea King's back. Wow, recover Staryu with a trainer card, potion, yep. Oh, he's not saying wow, he's saying now. Let's evolve. Alright, so I've got a heal, a oh, full heal. No, use the potion. Easy money. And then we attach one water energy. And then you're getting slapped. We've got another match up. I guess three uh, water energy is required to evolve Star You into Star Me. That's my best guess. Maybe I should look at these stats. Oh, okay, okay. No, I had to wait for Star Me to appear and then I could evolve. Ah. Does that mean I could have. No, no, you can only start with a basic Pokemon, can't you? Yeah. Wait, Star Freeze? I'm pretty sure that's not uh, a normal attack. Anyway, let's evolve you. There we go. Loads of health united. Was I meant to also attach water energy to you? Yeah, there we go. That gives me four. I also wanted to check my Star Me here. Star Freeze requires one water and two anything. But it only does 20 damage. Discard one water energy attached to Starmie in order to use this attack. Oh, but that's recover. Flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now parallel. Mmm, man. Playing with Paralyze. We learned a lot from that by playing, well, Pokemon. Right. Eat this. Come on. Yeah. Tails often fails. Let's finish this. Can't go where it looks like he's saying wow instead of now, though. Like he's amazed at everything I do. You know, instead of having to go to a game store or event, now you can be BM'd from the comfort of your own home. BM'd? I don't think I want to know. Yeah, that was patronizing. It's like when they bring in uh, new people into Games Workshop and the people working there always throw the game for them. You're not allowed to beat some uh, newbie in Games Workshop. This is a Pokemon trading card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemons as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. Ah. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. There are other styles of play. Try them out. Choose a normal duo. Okay. Jeez. BM'd is bad mannered. I don't understand. Mm. Hard to say no to Charmander. Charmander was my main when I first played Pokemon all those years ago. Collect new cards, try building a new deck. How do you make new cards, though? Or new decks? It was chosen as the dueling deck? Yeah, but I want to look at the deck. So it's got Pulbasaur, Ivasaur, Catapod, Metaphy, Nidoran, and Pinsir. But these are just my grass types, right? If I moved over... 
There we go. Charmander, Charmeleon. It's got level 76 Charizard. These cards were worth so much. You could exchange this card for £15 down at the local shoppy. 15 quid. Or I think you were allowed to get two other shinies and two other cards of your choice for them. Oh man, everybody wanted shiny Charizard. He weighs 200 pounds and he's five foot size. <laughs> Charizard's a man lit. Hot enough to melt boulders. That's, that's pretty hot. We got Arcanine. Magmar. Looks like he's got a butt on his head. That fire Pokemon are pretty strong. But just looking at all these types just makes me want to play Dominions. Okay, I am probably going to disappoint some people by saying I'm not really interested in playing more of this. Game looks really cool. I would have loved to play this 20 plus years ago. But this is about as insane as someone going, hey, I want to get into Pokemon, and you give them Pokemon Red. Not even Fire Red, just Pokemon Red for the original Game Boy. It's, uh, this feels aged. Doing things, especially menuing, is a little painful and slow here. Maybe I shouldn't have started out with Slay the Spire here. Yes, you should. Yeah, the, yeah, my poke nostalgia isn't that strong. I love playing Radical Red, but that was about the end of it. Not a snap. Yeah, Slay the Spire just blew everything out of the water today. But my question is, if you know of a really good card game, and I mean really good, I'd like to hear about it and give it a go. Uh, in particular, the one thing Slay the Spire doesn't do is it doesn't have me nurture over my cards. It would be pretty cool if I had a bunch of cards and I would switch them out and evolve them or level them up and use them to against incrementally harder fights, like you do in Animation Throwdown. But the problem is Animation Throwdown has such insane power creep and monetization, predatory monetization, that there's no way I'm going back to play that willingly. Anyway, this was very eye-opening, and if there are uh, if there are recommendations that come in, I will give them the time of day. I certainly gave these games the time of day. <laughs> Monster Train sobs in the corner. In any case, that's my lot for now. Um, I don't know if I'll stream more Slay the Sp- You know what? I actually want to play more Slay the Spire. Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna do a fresh run of that. Go away, Pokemon trading card game. Come back to me, Slay the Spire. That game was too much fun, and bitter taste of defeat lies in my mouth, and that needs to be dealt with. So bye bye GBA. Hello, Spire game. Hello, much smaller chat. There we go. Some people complain that the chat is too small for them to read the, on the vods, but I'm afraid that's a you problem. My vision is abysmal, and I can read it. Go edit your save file to skip ascensions first. I will do that later, next. Not right now. Let's change... Oh, but if you could... Uh, well, I'm sure I can figure out how to do that. Can't be that hard, right? And Zing is the same, same thing. Well, I was complaining that it was a bit too easy, wasn't I? Alright, let's have a quick look. Where Where's the info on how... I've got some pings here, but nothing... Oh, that's just uh, Plo telling me that chat was too big. I didn't see it pinged up here, though. Right, where, where, where do I go for that? Okay, screw it, no one's telling me. Uh, let's... I'd say you should beat the game properly first. I've beaten the game properly twice. How much more do you want from me? Unless properly also means uh, uh, with ascension. I'm just throwing away my controller here. Ah, Nyx has got something here. Uh, too much, fo too many steps to follow. Not doing that now. Let's just jump into it. Who will we play as then? Ironclad. We already did silence, so I'll ignore you. I'm not going to play the defect because I don't like defect. So will it be the watcher or will it be the ironclad? There are your options. Also, it's going to be ironclad because he's the only one that has ascension. So let's go. But really, are there more characters? Four seems very limited. Someone said you'd enjoy Defect. I played with Defect a bit. I really didn't like him. Assuming he was the automaton guy. I really didn't like managing the orbs. Felt like another game within a game. Right. 
Obtain a random common relic. Choose a card. Give me that max hit points. Right. It's all about taking on the elites, right? The elites give the goodies. I spy a path that gives me... Hmm. If I want three elites, I'm going to have to take this route. So I'll go this way, two mysteries, an elite, an elite, and an elite. Alright, very good. At least unlike FTL, you can see which way things connect. Oh boy, nothing like thinking you finished a sector in FTL and realizing that the star does not uh, connect to the end point, and you got to jump all the way back. Okay, uh, let's also check. Yeah, okay, the chat doesn't seem to be covering stuff this time. Right, you want to attack me, and I don't really want to get hurt, but there's not a lot of defending I can do here. All I can do is... I wouldn't have been able to kill you in one shot anyway. Right, strike them down. And they're going to lose that block anyway, so I might as well just strike them both now. At least I think they lose it. More FTL when? Probably never. I've already done three seasons of FTL into the airlock. We, we don't need more. Bash would kill in one hit, so, uh, bye. I think Ironclad's the very simple character to play as, which makes sense why they're the first one you get. But it's all just super basic stuff in the pack, isn't it? Strike, defend, hit hard and apply a uh, malice. A little sad if you ask me, so I'm looking forward to getting new, car new cards on the deck. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times, four damage and one to all. Now that sounds worth my time. Gain five, block, upgrade a cat. Yeah, no, screw that. Give me Thunderclap. Yeah, the starting relic heals you up for six at the end of each bits of combat, so it's good to take every fight you can, I suppose. Maybe I shouldn't be going for the mysteries, but I like mysteries. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, well, you're straight away wanting to ruin my day here. I could cane one of you. Well, not really. I might just defend entirely so I don't take any damage here. Yeah, you might even get a fight in the mystery, it's true. You can just get random common fights in the mysteries, which always feels like a bit of a letdown. Negative effect and nastiness. Well, that's all pretty bad. Um, I think I'll kill you and slightly negate your attack. Okay, slimed is no big deal. Um, vulnerable, 50% more. So I would do 8... And, oh well, there's vulnerable. Four and nine and nine is not enough. But I can't defend against you entirely either. So I applied two, uh, two vulnerable so that next turn it's just a case of cutting him dead. Oh, or it's not, because I can't. No damage, please. Get out of here. Far fewer options of this character. And be gone. Now this I'm certainly going to see some card bloat because there's a lot of fairly useless cards right here. So I need to make sure what I bring on is damn good. Gain 12 block. Deal 4 damage back whenever attacked. Kind of cool. Deal six damage and place a copy of this card into your discard pile. I could just keep punching then. Endlessly. But this won't appear very often. And this goes into the discard pile as well. Yeah. I like Intimidate though. The 12 block is pretty good. You could do Infinite Anger. Yeah, exactly. It takes too long. We don't have time. Mm. 
Yeah, this does look pretty cool. Nah, I'm taking Flame Barrier. Now let's go for the Mystery Wagon. What have we here? Oh, we already saw this and we're seeing it again. Let's go for a transformation. That way I get rid of something that I don't particularly like. Let's get rid of a strike. And replace it with, close my eyes and look away. Rupture. Whenever you, oh. Going away too fast there. Whenever you lose hit points from a card, gain strength. How often am I going to lose hit points from a card? Huh. That looks like it would have great synergy, but... I don't have many lose one of your own health cards. That seems like a shame. And it even costs, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, let's grab some potions. Three potions. Yoink. Yoink and yoink. Blood whatever gets synergy by sacrificing hit points. Yeah, and we do restore hit points, so it's not the end of the world. In fact, I think we're gaining. Right. Not much point in gaining block when you're not even going to attack me here, so I'll just strike and strike and pass. Oh damn, cultists keep giving themselves more health, uh, more strength, don't they? I need to slam you down and fast. So it's better just to take that damage as long as I keep smashing you. Although, do I want to? Uh, you could even die next turn, so regen might be wasted on me. Yeah, see, there we go. They get the strength, and I can't be having that. Sadly, though, I don't have enough to take you down right now, but I can block. I could block, block, and... Probably Thunderclap, so he's still vulnerable next turn. Alright, but I really need to take you out now. Yeah, see, there we go. Dead and deader. Deal damage equal to your block. Ooh. Now that's quite nice. Especially if I get stuff that gives me tons of block and you only cost one power as well. That's quite nice tantalizing. Gonna go for a block build? I don't know, it's early days. How does this thing upgrade, anyway? Oh, god, if I could get cards that hurt me, I'd become mega powerful. 16 block. Body slam becomes free. I like that flame barrier thing. Building up block... You can just build up loads of block and keep damaging things back. Yeah, let's work on a block build if we can. Unless there's something better to make better, but I think I should focus on the rare-ish cards first. There we go. Let's get moving, take out our first elite. 16 block for 2 energy is good on its own. It certainly is, and look, they're trying to hurt me already. Well, we'll see about that. And this works on everybody, so gushunk. Oh, right. It, well, at least it gets rid of their artifacts. Now I can hurt them with whatever. Now, I don't know if my counterattack damage is also boosted by them being vulnerable. Mm, body slam's not going to do too much with that. Boy, now I, now I wish I had that block, because they're coming in with the big hits now. I don't want to get too hurt, so I guess I'll smash that on, and then... Not terribly much I could do here. I can dish out 11 damage, or 2 vulnerable. You're going to take the turn with attacking next turn, so I think I will... Smash you. 
Vulnerability only boosts attack damage. Okay. Troubling. Almost as troubling as this damage I'm taking already. Come now. Although this is meant to be an elite. And here come the dazes. Not pleasant. Block, block, wound, strike. The next turn is gonna hurt. Maybe a potion. Yeah, well, I might get a potion, but the thing is, I can always use the blood potion if things look a little hairy. That said, I might use regen already. This is going to take a few turns. Uh, defend, defend, and body slam. Not a great start for our hero. And unfortunately, Flame Barrier isn't going to help much because you're already dead. Yeah, that 16 block doesn't do anything, so this is just kind of a wasted turn. Well, at least I can get rid of Rupture, so it's not taking up my card space now. Endless, uh, the endless dazing. You guys are a problem to me. Oh god, I'm just going to take that damage straight up as well. Okay then. I zoned out for a while. What did you think of this card after this stupid train one? Yeah, a browser game from 18 years ago pretty much sums it up. Damn, the flame barrier keeps coming in at the very wrong time. Stuff can't even be used. What am I going to draw next turn? Potentially nothing but dazed. That's becoming a problem. Yeah, rough fight because these guys uh, counter what I do pretty well. Oh, Jesus, that's grim. Not sure I could have played this any differently. Alright, well, at least Thunderclap will kill you. And then if I defend, I can body slam you. That only did 5 damage, did... Uh, I didn't pay attention, evidently. Right, finally. Now I can block this and hit you back. And now just 2 strikes in your deed. Which involves defending, defending, and body slamming. Phew! Really rough fight, but what's my loot? You now gain strength at rest sites up to three times. Oh, we got uh, Kettlebell. Cool, I'll take that. Metallicize. Gain three block at the end of your turn. Now that sounds awesome. Gain five block, deal five damage. Also sounds awesome. Metallicize is just free block every turn, though. Which is probably pretty good. Hmm. There's not much meta progression. You unlock new cards that will appear on future runs. Same with relics, though. But it's not like you start off with some better stuff, as far as I can tell. I don't know, I'm stuck between Metallicize and Iron Wave. But that three block goes away each turn, so it's a bit... Yeah. If you don't need it, it's wasted. But it's kind of used once and it's gone, and the problem is I'm going to end up with too many junk cards as it is. Spore Cloud. On death gives two vulnerable. Well, let's try not to have too much of that. Let's metallicize ourselves. Vulnerable you, and start dealing the damage. Metallicize is probably wasted, actually. Don't know how much damage you're going to do. Oh. Oh dear. 
Well, good thing I have Flame Barrier. Flame Barrier should help with this big time. They'll burn themselves a bit. And I think I might strike you down. Or it might be better just not to take this damage. Yeah, I've been taking too much damage lately. Let's try and prevent more. Nice. Very nice. It's a shame that flame barrier only lasts a turn. If it were a power, then it would be a different story. Right, you're not hurting me. Not one bit. And then I defend and body slam you. So much lower energy compared to playing as the previous character. I really like playing as them. Okay, you're dead in a strike and a strike. You basically need a card that makes block persist between turns. I've never seen one before, so it can't be that frequent. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand. That would only be good if I had curse cards. And even then, it's only for one uh, combat thing. Gain two energy in exchange for one energy. I mean, that's a freebie, so yeah. Exhaust one random. No. Just give me the power. Playing 20 cards a turn was fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Hello again, gambling chip. Only works on first turn, though. Alright. Given that you're about to hurt me already, maybe I should just defend, defend, defend. Well, that'll be my go-to plan, unless you offer me up something better. Like my... Oh, no, you didn't have it. Okay. I thought they might have the uh, the power for me, or the firewall thing. Well, that's still not really what I was looking for. I can't use that extra power. And now I'm just going to eat some pain. Well, if we must. I don't want pain. Let's drink this potion. Deal 20 damage. If fatal, gain 20 gold. Oh, I like that. I don't have any attacks in my hand, but uh, I can't use Seeing Red without power. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your draw pile. It costs zero until played. Could bring that out, but uh, this will get me 20 gold and reduce damage this turn. So Hand of Greed, remove that spiky slime, please. 20 gold really doesn't feel like much, probably because it's not. Bad combo, vulnerable, and uh, oh, he's not even attacking. Ooh, I keep Hand of Greed. Cool, I thought it was a one-use only thing. Not bad. I might metallicize just so I have that available next time. And then smash you with my greedy hand. Just to get some damage going. Might as well play a rupture so you don't draw it again. A fair point. But it's gone already. Mm-hmm. Get my block up to not take any damage. Five, six, seven, eight. And then I can strike you. Hmm? Oh, I'm entangled. Oh, well, never mind that then. Yeah, in that case, let's get rid of Rupture. It's kind of costing me more than anything else right now. Nothing else worth doing, though. Can't attack anyway. Metallicize brings us up to eight, so your attack does diddly. You can right click cards and check their upgrades. Really? Maybe over here. You upgrade. Yeah. We already have Flame Barry upgraded. Body Slam becomes free. Metal Size. Wow, that's pathetic. Only becomes four block instead of three. This becomes free. This I want upgraded then. It's like a worse version of Adrenaline. 
because it doesn't have the drawing cards, and I do like to draw cards. Right, you want to hurt me, I don't want to be hurt, so let's just smack you. My damage output feels pathetically low, though. Oh god, he's just getting stronger. I'm trying to wish my body slam were free. Um... Yeah, less damage is better damage, please. Stop hurting me. When offered cards, you can right-click. Ah, that's what you mean. That's where I can check their upgrades. Right, there we go. Now, eat pain for that. Now you should die. Ah, hand of greed. I need money. Gain 12 block, don't mind if I do. And, well, there it is. There's my gain power thing. Ooh, wow, could you imagine? Hand of Greed is very good. Yeah, but I think I only had it for that, um... Yeah, I only had it for that battle. Yeah, hard to say no to bloodletting. Still too easy? Or do I look dead to you? I might be if I take this fight. Again, I'm not very strong for anything. But we'll do it anyway. I see I'm playing against someone else who likes to uh, do it that way. I don't need Flame Barrier just yet. Actually, don't you wake up and attack me immediately when I strike you? I might take this turn just to... Rupture. Gee, I don't know, actually. Maybe I'll strike you and just see what you do. Because I essentially have... I've got five, don't I? So one, two, three, four, five, if it comes down to that. I'll keep what I have. So what happens when you get woken up? Or maybe you only wake up when that thing is gone. fire here. No, I think it wakes up stunned. I think it wakes up stunned. Meaning I've just completely wasted that extra power thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Wakes up stunned. So I guess you can get extra turn if you don't smack it immediately. And it immediately wants to hurt me. Bloodletting won't give me enough uh, turns to do everything I want to do here, sadly. But I can always block and block and slam you. Although bloodletting does give me one extra strength, which could be useful during all of this. Goodness, I'm getting ravaged. Verily ravaged, actually. Let's get Metallicize operational immediately. Mm, just gonna defend and strike and block. I feel so weak. And there's Flame Barrier right at the wrong time. Could become even stronger, but that doesn't strike me as particularly useful right now. Ah, I, could, I should have used the potion for block when I had Body Slam available. Mm-hmm. 
Wait, why would it do one damage? I have zero block. Ah, strength is causing that. Oh god, strength down. Block down as well, that comes at a poor time. This guy's gonna kill me in two shots. I might need that blood potion sooner rather than later. Let's do what we can to negate some of that damage at least. Oh dear, he wants a piece of me! Yeesh, okay, what can I do but defend, defend, and slam? And again, I get Flame Barrier when he's not attacking me. Ah, man, it ain't going so well. Vulnerable you, smack you, smack you, and carry on. And now, here comes the pain train once more, but this time, I- oh, that's bloodletting. That's not what I want. And I'm losing even more block each turn. Well, this is, uh, nay good. I'm quite confident I can win this. It's just what state am I going to be left in once we're done here? Oh boy, right, finally I get my flame barrier. With 14, 15, 16, 17, he's only going to deal one damage. I still got to take him out of it. Although my strength is not in a good place. Are those strength negations stacking? I think they are. Right, do I have enough to finish him off? Strike, strike, and... I'll tell you what's even better. 14 on that. Yeah, that's better. So, flame barrier and body slam, and he'll die next turn. Are we still going with the bomb rush to the elites plan? But the elites are the fun fights. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say no to that. Wish I had my greedy attack uh, card still. Alright, we're on our bloody last legs, but that's okay. At the start of your third turn, you'll gain 18 block. And we can apply weakness to someone. Ethereal. What is Ethereal? Oh, Ethereal is the card itself, meaning... If this card is in your hand at the end of the turn, it is exhausted. So you should always play Ghostly Armor. That sounds pretty good. Fiend fire. Exhaust your hand. Deal seven damage for each exhausted card. Exhaust this. Okay, well, I like look at ghostly armor, but it's basically always use it or lose it. The merchant doesn't offer refunds. He is a jerk. I would call him a jerk. He's done nice things for me so far. Stacking block gains its full power once you have the card that lets you keep block between turns. Yeah, well, I don't know where that card is. For all I know, I have to unlock it. Right, er, uh, do I particularly want bloodletting from the very start? Probably not, so I get rid of you. Do I want seeing red at the very start? Probably not, but maybe. I mean, I might want the extra turn at the very start. Bash, huh? I deal 15 damage to you, you just go away, don't you? But... You only gain 3 block when you curl up, I might be able to just smash you to death. Because now you're vulnerable, as long as I have the power to do so. Can smash you for nine, which is just one short. 
But then, farewell. Is this chick's first time with Slay the Spire? I only recently picked it up. Today, this is my second run. First run went right to the end. Right. Well, you're gonna hit me. I'm gonna hit you right back. Is that the right thing to do, though? I mean, I could get Defend and Metallicize, which almost entirely negates that itself and still lets me attack you. Probably should have played Rupture to get it out of the way, though. The time meter was cruel, though. I had a great strategy, and then just something comes in with the absolute counter to that strategy. Oh, how convenient. Wait, why did I keep my block? I didn't. The captain's wheel kicked in. And now I have body slam. So, uh, prepare to die. Drop kick. If the vul enemy is vulnerable, gain that. Well, we use a uh, vulnerable attack, so that's pretty good. That's pretty much 5 damage for free, and I get to draw a card. Drawing cards, not so great for this necessarily. But it's the best we got. I think you could have still won against the Time Lord if you didn't mess it up, but I did mess it up. <laughs> Regret. I could take that money and then give the uh Yeah, yeah, I think I think there's a a net positive to be made here if I just desecrate the shrine and then I find the uh find the merchant and pay him to get rid of my regret. Mm. That said, maybe I should avoid the elite and take the chance of getting the merchant here. Hey, it's the merchant, just as I foretold. Now, if you would be so kind as to remove my regret. Net positive on Dosh. Alright, what do you have for me? Gain 30 block. Ooh, that's tempting. Gain 40 block. Oh, I, I wish I had the power for that. Feel no pain. Gain three block. Shuffle three cards. Oh, man. I don't know. I think Impervious plus Body Slam is pretty great, but the thing is, this is a one use card. And the fact that I don't. Yeah. What, what, what causes me to not lose my block between turns? It must be something. It's a card, okay. Is it a card that I have to unlock? Start each elite combat with two strength. There are a lot of elites that we're fighting. Also, I might really want a... Uh, okay, I was hoping one of these would give me health back. Hmm... It's a card called Barricade. I don't think you've unlocked... Oh, man, that sucks. Having to unlock it. Might grab Impervious regardless. Because it works well with Body Slam. And I might grab Shrug It Off, because, hey, 8 block plus a draw card is nice, and it's very cheap. And I want that extra strength. Eight damage to all enemies for one power sounds pretty great as well. Yeah, I'll take it. Choose from one of three random cards. Discovery does sound pretty great. I'll take you as well. I'm just spending all my money. Thank you, weird merchant man. Now, I am knackered, and I should really rest, because the boss is coming up. Hmm, but I want to lift. No, I need to I need to rest. Our weary wanderer is so tired. Although you get all your health back after this, but wasn't willing to take the risk here. Right. 
he's not attacking me, so Flame Barrier won't help much. However, what if I was able to use Impervious and Flame Barrier and, oh uh, no, I wouldn't be able to get both of those in and Body Slam. Hmm. Whirlwind would be brilliant with 11 mana. Yeah, I don't quite have that, but I can use the hurt yourself thing. Right, you're not doing much to me, so I should probably just get rid of these two. I don't even need that. But what if I get Body Slam? Body Slam would be yummy. Eh, only if he's properly attacking me, though. Why don't we just do a complete rejig? Wait, I forget. Are these going into my discard pile or back into my draw pile? I'll probably discard. Meaning I won't see these for a wee while. Well, I wouldn't see them anyway. Oh, here you go. I swear I'm going to draw, draw Body Slam. Well, I did not. Metal Science is a good power to have going, though. And let's just start hitting away at you. After receiving 24, he goes into defensive mode, and he's going to block. And I don't do a lot of damage, so that's not good. Oh dear lord, I don't think I'm going to be lasting long here. And I got a bunch of armor that I don't particularly want or need, and you're not vulnerable. Jeez, not terribly much I can do here. I'm immediately glad that I rested, though. Oh, diddy me. Alright, well, block it. Pray that we get something really nice here. That's a very nice power, because I'm probably going to be blocking as much as I can here. Might be my only hope. At the end of your turn, lose one hit point. Deal five damage. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem very good. Gaining block and dealing damage does sound good, because I plan on blocking quite a lot. Combust, best combo in it. What, really? Combos with Rupture, eh? Yeah. Does it? That would be a pretty cool one. Get Rupture and get Combust. I think Juggernaut's better, but... Yeah, good point. I mean, this is a card power. Whenever you lose hit points to... Where is it now? Where is it? Here we go. Does this work with Combust? If it does, I'll gain strength every turn. Yeah, I think Juggernaut's the way forward. Maybe we should just use up Rupture. No, I'll put you into defensive state. That way you might not hurt me right now. Yeah! How you like that, then? It does work with Combust, but you have too little HP for that. Well, it does one hit point per turn, right? Oof. Every time I tap, I take damage, and he's going to hurt me now. I hope his height doesn't get any sharper. That works kind of well. Mm, yeah, 
Yeah, this thing going away each turn is the pain, though. I'd rather save it for a body slam. I don't want to hit him, because he just hits back for almost the same amount. Oh! Oh, it works with metal size now. That's pretty cool. So every turn I'm just doing five extra damage. Uh, I certainly want my flame barrier up. Lose three hit points. That doesn't make me stronger because I don't have the other thing up. But it would allow me to... get both of my defenses going. Yeah, seeing red will let me do both my defendings. Indirect damage is the best I can do. Uh-huh. Well, he's just getting angrier, which might not be helping me too much right now. I can make you vulnerable, hit you with that to get an extra... card... and turn, and I'll probably shrug it off. Try and not get hurt too much by that. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, the worst card! Now I'm gonna lose my ghostly army. Diddy me. Well, I'm suddenly very glad that I rested. Right, could get Rupture out of the way. Rupture, Thunderclap, Dropkick. It's probably better to Thunderclap Dropkick first and see what my card is before I spend all of my power. Cleave ain't helping me here, so... Let's just get Rupture out of the way. It keeps clogging up my everything. And... If I block, I hurt you, but if I cleave, I hurt you more. Uh-oh. Mistakes were made. Now he's gone into this form. I know I have potions, but I don't see any of these use, uh, helping me right now. Weak, healing, elixir. Yeah, no thanks to any of that. Might bloodlet at this point, actually, because I can flame barrier body slam, and the extra strength would not go amiss. So, let me blood, please. And five is enough to work with all of this. Unfortunately, he's got that, but fortunately if this comes up first... There we go, that gets us some extra. Uh, I should hit you with this first before you start chipping away at my block. 25 damage, very welcome. Strike 7 and 7. It's going to hurt me back, but I think it's worthwhile. Because I will get my Metallicize, which will hurt you some more, and be enough to overcome this. Splat. Counterattack. And now you're really going for it. Impervious would save me a lot of damage this turn, but defend, defend, metallicize already gives me 13 away from 16. I'm just hoping I can roll impervious with body slam, but I feel like that's not gonna happen at this rate. Get the impervious in, that way I can just straight up slice him and ignore the counterattack damage. Flame barrier at a very useful moment. And if I shrug it off on top of that. Might be better to go for the body slam, actually. 17 damage. And I'm going to block most of his. Yeah, eat it. Ok, 
counterattack. Yes. Woo! Yeah, it's almost like I knew what I was doing. Skill potion. I think I'd rather have that than elixir. Yeah, get out of here. All right, all rare cards. Barricade. Block is not removed at the start of your turn, power. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like exactly what I wanted. Who was saying that it was something I needed to unlock? Offering. Lose hit points, gain power. At the start of your turn, gain two strength. Wow, doesn't that just keep stacking, though? Hmm, but no, we gotta go barricade. Got a... Got a defense build. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer obtain potions. That sounds pretty bad. I have a lot more potions to obtain. Tiny house, bleh. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two fewer cards to choose from. That's plus one energy constantly. I will take the, take the fewer choices. We are power starved as opposed to our last build, which was power heavy. Right. Oh, it's two fewer. Damn, I thought it was just down to two. I'll take it, though. I can live with it. Three minus two is one, Jake. You'll get one card or none. Oh, that's okay. It's all chance-based anyway, so I just need my overwhelming luck to help out. Right, well, our hit points are back up to full, and I didn't even need to use my potion. Now, where are those elites at? One, two, three. I can get three elites. Three's the limit, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go for it. It's a true gambler item. None of this chip nonsense. Chip nonsense. Oh god, they all want to hurt me. That would be amazing if I had my... Um... Oh god, if I replace this, do I get... Does this ethereal card go away? Because if I get my... Uh my counter-attack thing. These things are all dead. Does this go away when I get rid of it? It stays in the discard pile. It will not go away if you discard it. Thank you. How did you know that? If this card is in your hand at the end of the turn, it is exhausted. Right, thank you. It's not going to be in my hand. So I'm going to get rid of all of this and hope that I get the, uh, the defensive thing. I did not. I really wanted Flame Barrier for this, and I didn't get it, but hey ho, the odds weren't on my side. Recht, well. Well. This is very unfortunate. Not much I can do, but block. And, uh. Strike and slam is about the best I can think of. Why is it doing less damage? Oh, they're flying. 50% less attack damage. Cancelled if dealt. Attack damage three times in one turn. And I bet I get the, um, the flame barrier when they're not attacking. What a shame. Yeah, I'm about to get pecked to death. So be it. No metallicize either. You have four energy now, Jake. Ah, oh, yes, so I do. Right, well, at the very least, I could ignore the damage coming in this time. Draw a card. Never know, it might be a card I want. Like metallicize. And then I better not use my Impervious, and I can just defend, and they won't hurt me anyway, so keep on striking. Threw away card choice, doesn't even remember the upside, don't need to remember. We're taking this all the way to the end. Oh, ooh, they can strengthen themselves. Yeah. 
Yeah, that suddenly makes those rapid-fire peckings quite unpleasant. Well, let's have our... let's take a chance with Discovery. Bludgeon! Deal 32 damage, that's quite funny. And it would be free, it would just straight up kill one of these things. Sounds fun to me. Wait, no, they take half damage. Eh. But cleave... oh, again, that would do probably only four damage to each of them, right? Yeah... Can I even do you in? I think if I bash and bludgeon you, you'll die. Not that it matters much, we had loads of defense anyway, so... Probably shouldn't have done that. I missed the fact that we had the captain's wheel. If I could just get that uh, barricade thing up by turn three, the captain's wheel would just give me 18 uh, block that stays. Hey, there's barricade. Sadly, it's criminally expensive. Oh, right, this is sweet. This is them just going to die now. I wonder if they suffer from vulnerability from that, though. Does it count as an attack? Probably not. Any card that has an attack on it is an attack. Strange but true. Yeah, so Flame Barrier probably doesn't count. Well, whatever. Let's just zappity zap and finally get that rupture out of the way. And we'll see how this goes. I don't want to pay three hit points just to use power that I can't use. Alright, how's this go for you? Six, six, six. So it's not halved by flight. Interesting. Alright, time for you to die. Uh, Impervious only does 15, but what if I had even more? Yeah, get the hell out of here. Not too shabby. Cultist Potion, gain Ritual, gain Strength at the end of your turn. Only lasts for one turn though, right? I don't think that's really worth my time. I'd rather keep weakness so that uh, anything that hits me very hard hits me a lot less hard, so away you go. And look at that. Gain seven block and exhaust a card at random. Let's just not grab that. Yeah, we're taking the elite path. Nah, don't hoard potions, but I had no use for any of those potions in that fight. Join us, brother. Feel the warmth of the spire. Remove all strikes. Re uh, receive five bites. What's a strike? I'm guessing it's these strike cards, but does that include some fancy strikes I have? Well, I don't have anything else, else fancy called strike. Five bites, huh? Sounds like that could be used with my tank build to fill up on hit points quite easily. Sounds like a good idea. It also... Actually, it padded out my card count a bit more, because it gave me one more bite than I had strikes. But I think if I'm in a situation where there's an enemy that's uh, not able to get through my shielding, I can just feast on it. Shame what happened to my max hit points, but that's fine. An innate hunger passes through your belly. You must feed. Right, before I deal with Dumb and Dumber here... I will take a quick water break. I'll be back momentarily.
There we go. Now the enemies are immediately attacking me. Thank goodness we can see that. So I sent them a flame barrier up immediately. Body slam would work well with that. So... Oh man, thunderclap would work well with it as well. Flame barrier, thunderclap, body slam. Sweet. But... What if I get something else that's really sweet? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't throw any of these in, because I don't mind losing Rapture or Defend, and I certainly want to make this work, so I'd say I got a pretty good build here immediately. Flame Barrier up, Thunderclap up. Work on that vulnerability. I mean, I'm not impervious to damage here, but... Well, I could become impervious, but no reason. I've body slam to deal some real damage. Yeah, that was my thinking there, Punk Rockley. Stalling out fights and feasting. Mm. Tile size is very nice to have. Between that and shrug it off, I will negate one of these guys' damage. The question is, can I just do in the other one? Yeah, a couple of bites and that guy's dead. Chomp. Chomp. And I've got all of my health back. Well, what a wonderful day to be alive. This build was looking pretty dodgy on the first floor, but... By the way, do I get all that money back? I've been mugged three times now. So I hope I get 45 back, at least. Mmm. Barricade. Can I even do you in here? Oh, oh, but this means I keep the 18 that I just got. Oh, now that's sweet. That's really sweet. Suddenly blocking feels really good. Lose three hit points. Uh, well, I don't need the power right now anyway, but yeah, look at that! Staying around! Metallicize suddenly looks amazing. Now if I can just get my body slam operate. Oh yeah! Just come and have a go if you think you're hard enough! I will feast on you. And there's the thing, you even get health back if you don't even manage to hurt them. Huh, well that's pretty sweet. Also, bite dealing 7 damage for one turn. It's not amazing, but it's not as bad as our starting attacks. Wait, well, where'd my money go? Ah, oh, damn, okay. Well, that's a shame. Ah. Do I want cleave? I don't think I want cleave. I might just skip you. I'm trying to trying to skip to cards that are actually going to help us out. Well, there goes 45 gold. 45? Nah, just just 30. Right. Right, right, right. I could throw away a lot of these in the hope that I roll barricade with shrug it off. Could be interesting. I do not. But I do get Flame Barrier. Which is going to negate your attack. And hurt you right back. And it lets me shrug off and body slam this thing on into oblivion. Uh, in fact... I can do better than that. I don't mind bloodletting right now. I'm going to Thunderclap. Shrug it off. And then defend, and then it's almost a waste to use it on you. That shelled parasite could get utterly ravaged. I don't know how bad that fungi beast is going to hurt me, though. It does feel like a waste, though. Come on! Hurting Jake hurts the most, it did hurt. Alright, sadly I lose all that block. Do I get Barricade? I do get Barricade, and I'm certainly putting that one up immediately. Bit of a shame, because I'm about to be hurt pretty hard here, though. Do I want Barricade, or would I rather survive this a bit better? 
You know what, maybe I'll find a card that'll make my decision a lot easier. Exhaust a card and draw two. At the start of your turn, draw, lose a hit point and draw a card. Huh, you know, I bet that would work very well with a lot of things. Make all enemies weak and vulnerable. Well, I'm about to get hit pretty hard, so that would be nice. Now I'm starting to wish I'd killed you. Um... Well, you know what? This is an excellent opportunity to test out my strategy for... Um, feasting. They're going to hurt me, and that's going to suck, but I'm going to see if I can just eat it all back. Especially this guy, since he metabolizes so much, I can just eat him alive. Now I've got my 18 block, now I've got 48 block, and now we begin the feasting. I could get metallicized as well, which would be kind of cool, but I'm pretty sure we're fine on that front. Eat and eat some more. Metallicize will be back. Dev said that statistically this is the most lethal and powerful. I can see why. This thing gets so much armor, and this guy just keeps uh, boosting itself up. It's kind of scary in a way. But that's okay. I will eat it. All gone. Gain more block. But now my block is being negated quite a bit. But you're vulnerable, so smashy smashy. Eaty eaty. Blocky blocky. Wow, block build feels quite nice. Well, it's not just block. It's kind of like um, knife, fork, and plate build. Right? Here's my knife. Here's my plate. And here's my fork. And there's no point in me fighting you with anything other than just um, biting. Although I do need to get through this, don't I? My frail won't last forever, you know. I <laughs> got the limp noodle fight here. There you go, you like that. Bite and bite. You're cooking my food for me. Oh god, that's not even remotely fair. Um, deal 31 damage, huh? Next shot will kill them then. And I do want to eat them, so... Hold that thought. Your starting relic heals you that last bit. Ah, oh, good point. Even so, I feel like I should uh, finish my meal. Chomp! Oh, right, still got his uh, armor on. Oh, I should have bashed my way through it. Well, bashing sounds like a good idea. More bloodletting. I think I like the bloodletting now. I'm actually going to take that with me. Because we bite to get our health back, anyway. Hmm. Chat, what do we do? The monster or the mystery? I actually don't know which would be better at this point. The monster encounters at least have guaranteed rewards. The mysteries can straight up be bad. Sidoin is in first, and he says mystery. And hey! It's a bottle of ink. Okay, I thought that was a potion, but no. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw a card. That might be good for us. And that adds up pretty well, I think. How do you know how many cards you draw per turn anyway? I mean, is it just always 5? I feel like it was 7 with one of the previous ones, but I might be imagining things. Right, you immediately want to shank me, which is unpleasant. I wouldn't mind eating you. That'd be pretty sweet. Why is this thing... Oh, we got... Why do we have plus two strength? Ah, you're an elite, so we're stronger. And this mystery was an elite. 
Impervious plus Body Slam would really put you in your place, but I'd rather use Impervious once I have Barricade up, because 30 blocks is a lot of blocking. I might just re-roll everything and see what we end up with. Except maybe Bloodletting, so if we get something really good, I'll want that extra... Um, I want the extra turns. That's not Barricade, it's just even more Bloodletting. That's actually pretty bad. Oh well, I'll have to feast my way through you one way or the other. Five plus whatever relics get you. Relic, uh, silent starting relic makes you draw two or more in your first turn. Yeah, that's probably what's confuddling me. Well, I'd love to use this power, but I have no use for the power, so all I can do is nibble away at you and regret this decision. Ow, ow. Hope I get a chance to... Oh, right, these wounds. I hope they go away. Probably not. Nothing indicates that they will vanish. Hmm. This doesn't look pleasant. What do you have for me? <laughs> More imperviousness. I could keep it for later. I might just use it now so I don't get shanked for 18 damage. But I already have a lot of don't get shanked for 18 damage. In fact, I have exactly that. I think I'll keep this for later. It will, it'll stay around. So please don't hurt me. Boy, Howdy just likes to keep on hurting me, doesn't he? Well, I need Barricade up so that I don't lose all the stuff I'm going to get, and it's either Metallicize or Disfend. Metallicize is going to stop this thing from hurting me, but Flame Barrier is too much for me, so I guess Metallicize pays off more. 21 to 21. All right, now we've got the real game going on, Painful Stabs. Actually, Book of Stabbing is your name. I actually want Rupture activated. I definitely want Ghostly Armor on. Oh yeah, block, block, block. Huh, even more block. Do I want to block all of that damage, or do I want Rupture activated? Probably best just to keep mounting on the defense. I'll end up with more defense than I started with here. Oh, I should have done Seeing Red so I could get Rupture. Damn keeps throwing me off because it's not free. I'm too used to Adrenaline, which is free. Is this a zero DPS build? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no. Here's your, here's your build right here. Oh, my God. Okay, he's not messing around. Do his attacks just get stronger the longer you hang around here for? Less of that, please. Could still hurt unpleasantly. Give me something interesting. Mm -hmm. I could exhaust this card that I don't like and then draw two other cards. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, wait. No, 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 that's fine. Exhaust a card, I'm exhausting wound. And I'm drawing another wound. Okay, well, at least I can just keep biting into you. Might be better to bash you before I bite you, though. Smack, nibble, nibble. Oh, not enough. Well, too bad. Oh, God. His wounds are starting to pile up. But now I can get double impervious operational. Ooh, double impervious or flame barrier? Nah, keep the impervious, it'll never go away. Never betray you. I am royally rogered the moment an enemy starts using poison on me. I don't have my boost thing for bloodletting. Hmm. Oh boy, now we're talking. 
you're not vulnerable yet. Let's change that, shall we? Now I want to feast upon you. Oh, actually, you barely have any health left. Well, I still want to feast upon you, but... Let's not take that chance. Gold upon pickup raise max hit point by 7. Pretty good, considering we lost a lot of max hit point from the, uh, the feasting. That's pretty good. Just plus two to everything. I'll take that. I want to lift. I really want to lift. But what if we were unbelievably impervious? Or if barricade were better? Where's barricade? Yeah, it becomes cheaper, sure, but the cost isn't really the problem. Lifting, on the other hand, is just always good. But I have to think about it this way. My build isn't about dealing damage. It's about not being dealt damage. Mm. Mm. Talicize... I don't like how inflexible it is, though. Yeah, go on. I'll be relying on Barricade. I was hoping it would become innate. Now that would be sweet for it. Right, not turning down the elites. We fight them all. Wait, you're an elite? Oh, maybe I shouldn't run my mouth just yet. Now... 10 damage to everyone seems pretty good. If I can follow it up with something else that does damage to everyone. Like the Lightning Strike. Maybe I should keep the bloodletting in case I want that as well. Alright, let's go with this. Give me the goods. But that's actually even better. Because I can cleave you and flame barrier you. And then I could just uh, eat you. These guys will kill themselves trying to get through my stuff, and then you'll do whatever. Bloodletting wouldn't help me though, so I'll just eat the leader. Don't tempt me, bloodletting. Hmm? I've never streamed Ascension Zero. I've beaten Ascension Zero in my own time. Twice, in fact. No extra card. Oh, well, no, no. Shrug it off, lets me draw a card. And it's just more defending, and we don't have Barricade yet. I think I will just bite into you as much as I can. Give me that health, please. I really like building up this health. Barricade, uh, defending does nothing for me, I might as well. Wait, why did I, gra why did I get a card there? Ah, the ink bottle. God, keeping track of that's going to be painful. Good thing I didn't draw something like Barricade there. And these guys rush in and instantly get to attack, don't they? Oh, he's not the only one. Ooh, Barricade plus Impervious. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, just come and have a go. Charging up, charging up for what? Oof! Well, I certainly want metallicized and ghostly armor. Use it or lose it. And it's constant. Thunder clap to vulnerable them. And you're still charging up, so I don't particularly care about you. If I kill you, you just come and come back, so I may as well smash the leader. Tempt me, bloodletting. I don't have my strength buff with you yet. Alright, so can I kill you next turn? Or was that what you did? Did you just buff everyone for three strength? No, that might that must be what's coming. Oh boy, is it coming. Um 36, 46, 56, 60 something, 70. Holy crapola, that's a lot of everything. And I don't have anything to go and kill them all with. And they're all pretty well defended. 
was painful. Uh, I'm going to rely on Discovery giving me something amazing here. Exhaust all non-attack cards and deal 16 damage. Eh. Eh. Add a random attack into your hand. Also, eh. Boy, none of these look very good, do they? Yeah, shrug it off, but yeah, I kind of need to kill these guys. That in particular, can I deal... You're not vulnerable in any way, but can I deal 24 damage to you? Bite is just one bit too short for that. Drawing is probably better. You mean Infernal Blade? It costs zero. It might be a really good card, or it might be a regular strike. Let's give it a go. Pommel Strike. Deal 11 damage. Ah, uh, well, it's free at least. Wait, bite is nine. Why is it showing that? Oh, because I'm I'm boosted, aren't I? So yeah, that would actually work kind of well. That's twenty damage though, but I need to deal more than that. You're two off of ink. Drawing a card. Yeah. Well, pommel strike would at least kill the front one, right? Let's let's deal one one problem at a time. Eleven damage. Deed. Thunderclap will make you vulnerable. And with that I might be able to do something. I'd be able to bite you to death, but then this guy's still gonna come and do me in. Six damage, vulnerable. That's not gonna be enough though. Troublesome. And see, my bite only does 13. I think I've got little choice but to flame barrier it up. This'll hurt. At least he got hurt for every time he smacked me. Maybe I can get lucky and just feast upon him, but he's already gotten uh, strength buffs a fair bit. Mm. I got four, but four just to or just to use these, though. Well, drawing a card would be nice. Ah, cleave to kill you off would also be nice. Give myself the extra power so that I can indeed... Eh. This doesn't work well. It's going to be a lot of overkill on you, however I cut it. Right, well, at the very least I should bash you to make you vulnerable, and then smash you all down, and then sadly that's just not enough to kill you with, but you'll uh, the little guys will flee when you die, so what if I just nibble you for now, so you're ready to die at a moment's notice, and then hopefully I can get a bit more nibbling done. Come to me, bite cards. Well, that's two bites. Deals nine damage. So you, you will just straight up die. Do I have anything that will let me draw a card? No, I'm not looking to kill you just yet. No, I guess I bite you and then bite you.
Ooh. Rough. Every time you play three attacks, you gain one stri- Ooh. That's pretty good if I can get a lot of attacks going. Deal ten damage. Yeah, I could have done with that just now. And whenever you draw a status or curse card, deal six damage to all enemies. Status. Do I have any status or curse cards? No. So that seems like a bad idea. All bad cards like curse, daze, etc. And that's whenever you draw them. Status is like bleed, burn, etc. Okay, is uh, is life drain counted in that? Or is it all the bad stuff that we get? Because that doesn't seem worth my time. I'll just skip that. Give me my treasure, please. And this is going to be like every turn. Grab three status of the cards. Oh, not bad. Right. Taking the mystery loot still lets me go to the elite. It forgoes the merchant, but... Good opportunity to get some lifting in. Cultist. Also fancy looking cultist. The chosen one. Impervious would work well if I can luck out and grab... Oh man. I'm going to take a chance on getting barricade. If I don't get barricade... Nah, go for barricade. Barricade is good. Barricade is great. Barricade. Uh, however... I could also use Seeing Red, which would allow me to use In Flame as well. There we go, come and have a go. Hmm. So it's not plus two every turn, it's just one plus two. Okay, forgive my, uh, forgive my dissatisfaction. Mm. Dropkick is unlikely to be something I'm interested in, but leave and shrug, absolutely. What do you have for me, discovery card? Hey, more barricading! Does that stack? There's no good reason that it would, right? Hmm. I can't imagine that it would. Barricade's pretty binary, right? Does not stack. Deal three damage to a random enemy three times. That's pathetic. But bloodletting is also pathetic. It's also free anyway, so the free thing doesn't help. You get to keep your armor at the end of your turn twice. <laughs> it's quite funny. Alright, well... None of them are useful, so I'll just go with Sword Boomerang. They're not vulnerable, so I guess it's just going to be... Shrug it off, see what the extra card is. Oh, well, that's pretty sweet. Shame about not biting, but that is too sweet to say no to. Keep stacking that defense. Also Sword Boomerang. Although maybe the Chosen one needs to go down. Because they're casting fancy things, aren't they? Non-attacks. Well, fortunately, biting is an attack, but ghostly armor is not. Right, I'm going to eat your cultist if you don't mind, because I really don't like all the strength boosting he does. Ah, crumbs. Gotta, gotta keep my eye on that ink bottle. Boy, you ain't messing around now, are you? Those extra things wouldn't help me whatsoever. I just got a metallicize. Rupture and defend. And yeah, I know all those days cards are coming in. What are they going to do? Boy, this is going to hurt. A lot. Ah, 
Have I even faced the first boss yet? Yeah, yeah, it was some fancy guy that went into shell mode. Ha <laughs> what a fool! Okay, thank you, please. Alright, now you'll get yours. I'm a good bit weakened here. And I've still got my Hex, don't I? I think that lasts forever. I know it keeps giving me days, but let's not worry about it. I need to start doing actual damage to you. Hit you with that, hit you with my body slam, and even drop kick you for pretty much nothing. How did I gain plus one strength from that? Every time you play three attacks, you gain one strength. Right, I should remember that someday. Three attacks isn't that much as well. I can do that. Right, ghostly armor, use it or lose it. And bite, because I really want my health back. And defend, because... Oh. Damage is nice, but block lasts forever. Actually, I should have considered damage up, strength up. So all these things are stacking. I wasn't expecting all this. Right. Um, flame barrier for sure. Bite, because I really want more. Well, I really want more. And I could shrug it off, so I will. Yeah, these, uh, these battles are taking forever, so the Mercury Hourglass is certainly helping us out a bit. Between Bite and Cleave, you're already dead. Ooh! That took some time, but not a problem. We get a measly amount of gold, we get 5 dexterity, and... Deal 5 damage twice. Yeah, that doesn't seem very good. I guess in the end, an attack's an attack. Mm. I don't. I don't really like it. It's nothing fancy, so let's just ignore it. Has Jake not lifted once? I think we've only had one or two opportunities to do so. Right, that was just mystery. That wasn't even the elite. It's the elite then, or was that considered elite? You look a bit more elite. Right, well, straight away you want to hit me for 27. I don't particularly want to be hit for 27. I want Flame Barrier up. And I think I should... drop these three in the hope that I get Barricade with Flame... Well, actually, does, Barricade doesn't matter. They're going to chip through it anyway. In that respect, it might be worth just keeping these. I'm going to get an extra card anyway, so I Bloodlet, Flame Barrier, and Flame and Bite. Yeah, 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 why not? Let us become stronger. Let's get that Flame Barrier up. Let's let out that blood for a couple extra turns. And it won't be wasted because this is my tenth card. Also, who am I going to eat? That guy nets. He stops me from doing painful things. I can do damage to everyone, so if I kinda... Now you know what, Taskmaster sounds a little too much of a guy in charge here. Uh, too vulnerable is quite nice. But I don't heal. But it's quite nice. Good. Good. Oh, right, the wounds. Seems kind of nasty that give you a wound, even if you block all of the damage. Right, there's my Barricade Impervious build right there. But if I Bloodlet, I could gain Strength. 
In fact, I could do everything. So we deploy the rupture. We let out our blood. We get up barricade, impervious, and then we smash the taskmaster. And then I defend myself further. Ha ha! But they didn't see that coming. And my wounds again, but you seem to be the only one wounding me. Oh, the entangle's nasty, now I can't attack. But I have non-attacking things I can do, surely, like my ghostly armor. Body slam is sadly an attack. Oh well, I guess I'm just doing that. I hope you can't net constantly. Looks like he only had one. Hmm. My, uh... My armor's gonna have to hold me here. Is it bringing back Battle Brother flashbacks, Baron? That's a lot of bees. Right. Now the shoe is on the other proverbial foot. Taskmaster, you're going down before anything else. Metallicize, that's just free, uh, free guard. And I intend to bite as much as I can here. So I'm going to block, block, and start eating you. Well, the 29 damage is quite a lot. Yeah. And there are the bites that I was looking for. Killer bites. Always like discovery, though. It's like you never know what you're going to get. Got a good amount of block, but if I finish off the guy at the back, then I don't really need to worry about the guy in the front, so I think I'll just eat you first. And then shrug it off and see what my mystery card is. To its wound. Well, that's kind of good. And what's my discovery card? It's going to be free. Getting too vulnerable. Well, I'd rather not. Let's just become untouchable and see if we can use the uh, the power here to eat. Oh, we get another one, but I can't afford it. Damn that ink bottle. Because it can help or hinder me. Right. The feasting. The feasting. Eat him. Defend. Defend. No point drop kicking. I'm outpacing him anyway. It'd be nice to get more metallicizing. Keep the feasting. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shot. That sounds like a waste of time. Deal 5 damage to all enemies with all of your power. Eh, probably skip. I don't think I'd want that. Keeping a lean build here. A lean build of only the best. Oh my god, it just immediately gives me this guy. I, I might be losing my maw bank here. Innate. Hit all enemies for 8 damage the moment you enter. That's cool. Draw 3 additional cards. That's also cool. And then I could very quickly turn this into a build where I draw lots of cards. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15. Nah. At the start of your turn, gain two strengths. All enemies gain one strength. That's a lot of strength. Nah, no, forget that. Double your strength. At the start of your turn, Lose one hit point and draw a card. That would work well with the other thing, where I gain power every time I lose hit points. And it would work well with feasting. Brutality sounds amazing. I'll take it. Yeah, no refunds, I'm sure. A hundred to lose a, a card, though, seems too much. Dramatic Entrance sounds really cool. It's free, and it just does damage. Hard to say no to that. It's always one of the first cards I get as well, and if I want something else, I can just re-roll it. 
Yeah, give it to me. Right, I've seen all I need to see. I'm out of here. Thinning your deck is strong. Well, so you say. You know what else is strong? Lifting. However... In eight. Damn, the thing I want in eight is bloodletting, though. Uh, no, not bloodletting. What's the what's the one I actually want? Rupture. Oh god, rupture plus two strength every time. And my battles do go on for a long time. Rupture plus with brutality. Yeah, that's just extra damage. We don't care about extra damage. That lifting might be one strength forever, but this could be two strength for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, gain two strength every turn, I'll be unstoppable. Rupture with Whirlwind and Bloodletting, all upgraded. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's hard not to say no to Rupture Plus, I'll take it. Did you look at the Discovery upgrade? Ah, too many choices. Right, what do we have here? These guys instantly want to do quite a lot of damage to me. And honestly, I don't like any of the stuff I have here. Dramatic Entrance isn't going to do too much. My build is more about setting myself up than just going out and crushing. So I think I will get rid of everything except... I'll keep bloodletting in case I get a really good set of cards that I need to spend a lot on. What do we get? Yeah, uh... Well, I certainly want ghostly armor or else I lose it. That impervious just gets lost, which kind of blows. I don't get my extra card just yet. I think I'll just not take the damage then. Otherwise, the Mystic seems more deadly to me. So I just start chomping on the... Ooh, never mind then. Didn't count. Ah, we're talking. We're not afraid of taking a little bit of uh, paltry damage each round now, are we? Get brutalized. Was I always frail? Hmm, it's quite a bit less. Uh, that damage is probably more valuable to me than just three more block. Get to it. Oof, yeah, see, that's why I knew that Mystic had to go. Alright, there's my Barricade. Just what the Doctor ordered. There's my Metallicize, also something the Doctor recommends. Believe it or not, I might not go Bloodletting. I've already taken a fair bit of damage here. I need to, I need to feed. Flame Barrier instead. And I wanted to feed, but I don't have the... Oh, well, I could Bloodlet! Get my bite and my metallicize. Yeah, what the hell. Beast. Oh yeah, you're right. The uh, the Mystic heals. Doesn't matter. I'm sure there's enough on that guy to to feast on. When you lose hit point, gain two strength. Well, that's probably going to work against me, considering I want to feast on this thing pretty hardcore, but let's not let it get to us. Eat and eat. Oh man, that's a lot of eating coming in. Cool, 
combo though. You give them armor and they heal you. And I get stronger and stronger. Get that armor up. Eating. Oh well actually now you're starting to deal some actual damage. Perhaps I should vulnerable you and then eat and just keep eating. But dramatic entrance is free. Does this interest you enough to attempt a long play? I'm not sure what the long play would be though. I think it would uh, get a little samey for for streaming. Oh, gone already. But I was here to eat. Well, you're still trying to fruitlessly attack. I'll start off by shrugging things off. Let's become truly untouchable and get to the eating, which is what I'm here for. This for weeks on end. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun game, but I, I think I would tire of it. I mean, Jinx, if I tired of uh, FTL, I would certainly tire of this. Loving that, uh, that strength boost, though. I have not yet feasted enough, though. What is this? Yeah, we've got a lot of bites coming. I'll, uh, I'll hold off for a moment. Especially since you keep taking damage every turn thanks to my Mercury Hourglass. Time is on my side. Wouldn't be the case if I fought that time thing, though. I'd be in trouble fighting you. Right, let me eat. And let me eat some more. And I should be able to heal back everything else. There we go. Maxed out. Flex plus. Gain four strength. For this turn only. One turn only of super strength? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Never do anything right. And while we're here, let's get swole. Alright. Second area boss, what have you. Bronze Automaton. How much do I want to gamble here? What are you going to do? We don't know, but it's not attacking. Well, I want to see if I can roll myself barricade right off the get-go, so I'm going to just throw away all of these. That doesn't look like barricade. I need to play this or I lose it. Whenever you lose hit points from a card, gain strength. Yes, please. Yeah, rupture is pretty good to get. There's nothing to heal and nothing to do anything else with, so I guess I will just bite you and slam you. Oh, he brings in minions, huh? Glad we hit all of them. Right, Brutality is going to start working with my Rupture pretty damn well. And Flame is just going to straight up make me stronger. I'm about to get another card. I'm curious as to what it is. Do I even bother focusing down the minions? I don't know. Maybe I should just focus on the automaton himself. Alright, what's my card? It's another bite. Well, at least it's damage. They'll steal your cards. Well, ain't that a shame. Give me plus one strength there. Oh yeah, my freaking shuriken. How many times am I going to forget that? All the time, I think. Oh no, my barricade! Oh god, the thing that goes well with my barricade. How do I get that back? You have to kill them to get your cards back. Okay, that kind of sucks. They steal based on rarity first. Okay. Nice of the game to tell me anything about them. Right, well, 
four, huh? Wish I had more things that let me draw more cards. Shrug it off does, at least. I don't need the extra block. Let's just see what our discovery card is first, shall we? Exhaust all non-attack, gain five block, nope. Deal 12 damage, upgrade any amount of times, nope. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Do I exhaust a lot of cards? Not really. But none of these are really good. Mm. That's just a free 12 damage. But this is still a power. I'm just trying to think if anything I have exhausts. Not really. You exhaust. I guess Searing Blow is the only thing that makes sense here. Not that many of them made sense. Shrug it off. Let's see what a card is. Biting. Oh, biting is health at least. I want my card back. I want my barricade back. Who's got my barricade? You do. Not really much point in getting more block on the go here, so I guess I'll keep my bloodletting for later. Regrettable. I mean, I do have 10 damage to everyone, but that's not going to change this outcome at all. I will probably use it, because I'm going to get a potion from this fight, no doubt, but you need to die first. Wait, he's Ascension 1 still? What do you mean, still? You don't get to choose that. You gotta work your way up one at a time. Right. Not only that, but you have to work up with a new character on Zero Ascension. Guess some people are just full of criticisms. Rift. 12 damage is just one short of what I need here. 16 damage now, you're a different story. Get me my barricade back. Does it go straight into my hand or not, though? Hey, that's pretty good. So I do want you right now. However... That won't help me too much right now. But the sooner I get it up, the better. Oh, I think I'd just rather not take this pounding right now. So why don't I drink my speed potion so that when I get barrier up, I get 21 block, and these guys hurt themselves a bit. And on top of that... Extra damage, some healing. Now I want metal size operational. Oh no! <laughs> My freaking ghostly armor is gonna go. This uh, this ink bottle works against me more than it helps me. I think removing too many options for me. Oh, they're going to steal my uh, barricade again. I already regret my options. Unless they don't take from your discard pile. I think I'm relying too much on barricade, right? We have a working strategy even without barricade. I do need to feast, though. You're going to block. You're going to do other things. Why is Searing Blow costing me? I guess I didn't get used when I used it up once. Well, first things first, let's bite. Oh, right, you're gonna steal Jack. You already have Impervious on you. And maybe he won't summon another minion if I leave you alive. So let's do that. Let's eat you. Let's draw another card, see what it is. Anything good? Yes and no. Too vulnerable is actually quite nice to put on you, except you negate those debuffs. Might be better just to smack you one. Oh god, plus three strength. And a bunch of armor.
If I flex, I can get a lot of my biting done. But not a lot else. Oh dear lord, he's going in for the kill here. I can get my impervious back, though. to not flexing right now. Right, if I bite you, I'll get impervious. I don't seem to have the one that makes this give me even more block, but oh well. Right, well at least that's 33 down for 51. Could block some more, could eat some more. If I bloodlet, I can do both. And I get stronger from taking that damage. You're not vulnerable, but let me heal, please. Let me defend, please. Uh, if I play this card, I'm going to get another card, and it might be a card I really don't want to see. If it's Body Slam, I'm going to be very unhappy. Because it won't be free. Ah, but if it's Seeing Red, that would help. These two would help. This one I don't care about, this one I'm unhappy. So it's more likely than not. It's... Actually, no, I can't use Seeing Red. Oh, okay. Then it's quite unlikely to make me happy. But that's okay. Life is sometimes not about being happy. It's about living. And today, we're just unhappy. Okay. Gives power, but costs power. <laughs> Alright, come and have a go. You automaton of fun. I can't take too many of those. Oh, thank goodness he gets wiped out from that. Meanwhile, I become all the more ultra swole. Meaning, even without defense, my body slam does huge amounts. I wish I could vulnerable him. Um, but I can eat him. No good reason. Well, actually, this would be... Ah, crap, I meant to bring it back down here. I was thinking that would be good when he had his little entourage on, but I am currently doing him in pretty hardcore. Bash does 26, which is better than defending and body slamming, so just smack the bugger. Ah, so one artifact negates two debuff. Or any number of debuff, I guess. I thought it would take it down by two, but it did not. Yeah, <laughs> right, you're probably dead this turn. I can bloodlet all I want because uh, I get all my health back for finishing off the floor. Well, it's not a floor, it's something else. Wish I could eat you some more, but... Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? Smash it. Cleave it. Kill it. Oh, I got my speed potion back. Ah, oh, for fun's sake! I don't really want barricades. Should I take a second one anyway? I mean, it makes it more likely that it's going to show up to begin with, so I guess I will. And I guess if someone wants to steal my barricade again, good luck to them. Replaces your burning blood. You heal 12 HP instead of 6. Eh, it's the individual fights that bother me. Upon pickup, transform 3 cards, then upgrade them. Transform cards can become a random card of any rarity. You gain uh, energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. Uh, one more energy every turn? That's a no-brainer. I don't rest at rest sites anyway, so... Yes, please. He didn't read the name. What, the Black Blood Astro Lab? <laughs> or Coffee Dipper? You're right, I didn't. Give me that extra turn. Yeah, we have rest sites for lifting, not for, uh, not lifting. Mm hmm. Hard to say no to the mystery path, especially a path that lets me rest up. So I think I will take this route. Alright, what's your story? What's my story? Uh, impervious plus barricade seems borderline likely if I throw away four cards. 
That's what we're talking about. Oh god, it wasn't upgraded. So this one's not pleasant. However, I can still roll it with imper uh, Impervious, so I think I will. There we go, come and have a go. Well, fortunately, I can shrug off and body slam you. I can also thunder clap you. Oh, well, hey. The going just gets better. Get that vulnerability going. Oh, well, okay. I thought they had uh, artifact, but they don't. Well, that's going to hurt you a lot. Let's do as much hurting as we can then. And bite you. And cleave you. And then there's not going to be much left of you. Hmm. That was my single card. Hey, we like Flame Barrier. Yeah, I'll take it. Calling my cards junk. Well, let's win with junk then. Any chance he could turn off the screen shake and options? It doesn't bother me, but... There you go. Lose all your gold and obtain a relic. Probably not worth it, considering the gold that I have could buy me a relic. But if we just avoid all of the uh, merchants for now, it won't be a bother. Yeah, let's take that gamble. At the start of the combat, apply one week to all enemies. That's not very good. Don't like things that only uh, happen once in combat. Right, uh, I want that campfire for lifting. There are too many campfires. Oh god, there's four campfires on the left one. No way. Glowing Tesseract, eh? Sharp pain flows through you. Ooh, I like colorless cards. Give them all to me. The enemy loses nine strength for free. Okay. You deal seven damage for free and add one random color. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have bolstered my hand with junk, but oh well. They were free, but kind of junky, and one of my problems is that I don't draw a lot of cards. One of my not problems, though, is that I get Barricade. If I can get Barricade and Rupture up immediately, that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, one, two, three, four... Four, four, four. Alright, I can't even spend this much, but I will get the ink bottle. And the ink bottle might give me something I want to spend desperately, so let's see what it's going to be. Alright, get that barricade operational. It's my barricade plus, so it's cheaper. Become ruptured. Gain strength. What's my extra card? <laughs> That's not useful. Neither of these are particularly useful, actually. I need them to do anything on their own. Oh well. Not playing Rupture before the card that damages you? I played a card that damaged me? I didn't think I did. Right. Now I can happily do a lot of things. Like get my Flame Barrier up. Get my Metallicize up. I don't think I want to let out my blood. I couldn't even use the extra stuff, so let's just block up all we can. Did I play Bloodletting? I thought I played uh, the other one that gives me plus two energy. I forget its name. Yeah, I played Seeing Red, not Bloodlust. Uh, Bloodletting. Yeah, I already threw away two of these without playing them. Acro goofed you, yeah. Yeah, what an un unthinkable situation. Always play ghostly armor. <laughs> what if I just play barricade again for the hell of it? Did that do anything? It just kind of vanished. How troublesome. Oh, explodes this turn, dealing 30 damage. I maybe should have paid attention to that. I wonder if it hurts its friends as well, that'd be nice. Oh, 
Little bait. Oh man, why are you only gonna hurt me? I don't really need brutality now, and I can do without the extra damage. Impervious, on the other hand, now that speaks to me. Let's bite you. Now you're a problem. When attacked, deal 7 damage back. How do I kill you without touching you? Can I even kill you without touching you? Or are you just going to keep buffing up your spikes? Ah, well what I can do is I can block against it, can't I? Yeah, yeah, that works. So as long as I keep my blocks going, that should be fine. Yeah, just like that. God, he keeps thorning up, though. Right, 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 right. What's my random card here? Whenever you draw a status or curse, blah, 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 gain 12 block. Enemy loses 2 strength and exhaust. Give me that flame barrier. More block is better block. More block is better block. Enemy loses strength. Not my problem. Add a random colorless card. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw 2 cards. The odds of them being something I can actually use is unlikely, so... I'll just bite you while I can. There's nothing apart from Swift Strike that could possibly help me. And I'd rather eat this thing. Oh, it's going to kill itself, isn't it? Bye-bye. Upgrade all the cards and rest your hand for the rest of the combat. That I should keep for the end boss. I'll get rid of... Mm. Five dexterity really lets me pile on a lot of block in one turn. I think I'll get rid of the explodey one. Iron wave? Nah. I'm trying to keep a lean deck here. Right, I want to go to that rest so I can get swole. But there's already plenty of rest along the way. So I think I'll actually take a fight. Oh yeah, the hourglass, of course. Hourglass works for me. Right, dare I throw away my barricade in the hopes that I get a better barricade. No. What are we looking at here? Blocking, spiking, exploding. I certainly want to take care of you. I might dramatic entrance regardless. I could actually just use what I have. If I use that up... Then I essentially get the rebate on it. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to get an extra card. So I will actually keep what I have. Start with seeing red. Follow up with a barricade. Follow up with an inflame. And a defend. And let's see what our free card is. Maybe I should use Dramatic Entrance first, because the extra card might cost two, and I want, might want that too. Thorns be damned. Bzzz. Enemy loses nine strength for this turn only. Well, I'd rather not get hurt, so let's just get rid of you. Could have avoided those spikes if I'd guarded first, but I had choices to make. Oh, I'm well aware of that, Punk Rockley. It would be horrific if you couldn't, but we saw the, the drink button is there even when you're choosing other potions to grab. Right. Brutality would certainly start buffing me up, but again, do I want the extra damage? I think so. This isn't so hot, these selection of cards. It's nice to thunderclap them. I take the counter attack. Should have body slammed while I had the block on me. Didn't think about that. But I need to get rid of you so you don't explode. So, fare thee well. Italicize is a nice addition. This won't help me where I am. A little unfortunate. I'm going to get brutalized on this turn. 
barricade without getting any of my plus 30 blocks is a shame. But my deck's getting a little too big for its own boots. Also, where's all my eating? You really drown out your cards, don't you? I've got my huge amount of extra defense there, so I don't think I also need my speed potion. But I will flame barrier up. We'll see what our random card is. A big old bludgeon. 32 damage to hack through you would actually be rather nice. Or even better, just to remove you without any more of those bleeding spikes. You, I want to eat. Although you also barricade up quite a lot. I mean, however you cut it, I've got to splash through that damage. Smack! strike you swiftly, and then bite into you, you're gone, and I only have one guy to worry about, and then I can largely defend up. In eight. Number- ooh! The more you have in your draw pile, the more Mind Blast is gonna do. Lovely to see. Alright, of course you're gonna thorn up, but if I can just eat you... Eat you... I won't get uh, damaged by your counterattack. Man, where's all the eating? Let's get rid of it. We have inevitability running in both ways. We lose hit points and gain strength every turn. There's no real way for our build to get stuck in an endless fight. And the biting should be able to undo any amount of uh, damage we do to ourselves. It's just the damage we take from enemies that could be a problem. Apply five weak and vulnerable to all enemies. For that kind of cost? I don't think I want to. That is pretty sweet, though, the effect. It's a more expensive, better version of Thunderclap, but I quite like how... Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'll take it. It's not going to clog up my things very often. Okay. Am I going to regret taking this fight? Maybe. Depends how well it counters me. You don't look like you have too much health, but what's your story? You immediately want to deal 12 damage to me. Nemesis. I think I'll just throw all of these away in the hopes that I can get um, some nice defense. Well, I didn't get Barricade, but I got Brutality. Bloodletting won't help me here. Oh, well, maybe. What do we have here? Oh, well, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted Rupture up. Mm-hmm. Not much to do but take my first bite and then get bitten into. Ink bottle redeems itself <laughs> a little bit. Okay, if you do multiple attacks, my flame thing... Yeah, there we are. Flame barrier is going to help. First things first. Ghostly armor. Second thing second. Get barricade operational. Now, I've got a lot of things I can do here, so it might be worth bloodletting. Because with bloodletting, I can get my flame barrier up and shrug it off. And there's that shock wave, but I can't afford it, so too bad. Now that's what we like to see. What's that wee thing? This enemy intends to inflict a... I thought it had a wee thing affecting it down here, but I didn't, I didn't see it. Also, did I take damage somehow? Poison or something? Well, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, impervious for massive amounts of block with Flame Barrier. It had Intangible Jake. Only one damage. Ah, that's your shindig. 
Alright, well if that's how you are, I'm going to become impervious. I'm going to gain massive amounts of block. I'm going to get an extra bit of power. I want to eat you. I want my health back. And I'll just defend instead of using recovery for now. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a big hit. Seems like a no-brainer to weaken you for that. What's my random colorless card? <laughs> I might as well flex up before I do anything else. Vulnerable you up. Wait, he's intangible now? Does he gain intangible after every time I hit him? I swear he wasn't intangible when I looked at him earlier. Oh well. When in doubt, I might as well just get my health back. And yeah, looking at that doing almost no damage isn't really worth it. Right, well, at least this flame barrier helps me out quite a lot, but I need to get my damage in. So first off, thunderclap him. Make him vulnerable. Stab him pretty hard. Oh, should have gained my strength first. Yeah. Definitely want my flame barrier up. Especially since he's going to hit me, which means hitting himself. And let's see what our random card is. All your cards with strike. I already threw those away. Mm -hmm. Deal damage equivalent to your block. Well, uh, say good night. Bag of preparation. Ooh, two additional cards at the very start. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Don't really want another shockwave. I've already got one. Does exhaust though. Hmm. It's still good and upgraded. It's pretty dope. I'll trust you on that one. Right, onwards and upwards. Time for rest soon, although we won't rest. You begin to fall as you hop from one floating shape to another. You consider your option. Oh, okay, so this is all bad. Lose bloodletting, lose brutality, lose swift. I don't want to lose any of these. I suppose out of all of them, I use I lose eh, I use bloodletting the least. But there's no way in hell I'm losing brutality. Guess I'll have to lose swift strike. Yeah, it would have been good if I'd left, lost something I wanted to get rid of, but that was not to be. should probably take the opportunity to go to the merchant one last time before the end. Well, I have to come here first, make our decision after we have all of our parts. I can lift one more time, and of course, why would we do anything other than lift during our break? Mm, I want the mystery. I don't really want another campfire, so that says no to you, or I'll take the left path. It's my mantra, after all. Upon pickup, upgrade two random skill. Oh, random. At least it's skills. Hey, bloodletting! That's kind of nice. Dark Shambles. It's, it's a one-use-only card, though, isn't it? Yeah, exhausts. What a shame. Alright, bring on the elite. I'm not afraid. Maybe you are. And I'm not. Wait, what was this guy's shindig again? I think it just waits a long time. Which might give me an opportunity to buff up my block something fierce. I want a rupture, I want to use that straight away. And in flame is also a nice one to just use straight away if we get the opportunity to. I'll roll these in the hopes that I get barricade. Well, I did not get barricade. At least I can eat you a little bit. 
Oh, well, you never know. Discovery might be a barricade. Eh? It is not. But I can bludgeon you pretty damn hard. And that's going to mount up pretty well with my mounting strength. Well, no, it won't, because strength has a flat amount. Do I have anything to make you vulnerable? I'm not seeing it. Mm hmm. Oh well, bludgeon it is. At least it's free. Oh well, there's a thought. You take more damage after every card I play, don't you? So maybe I want to bludgeon anyway. Not to mention, ink bottle could help me out. Maybe I will. Uh, I'll rupture. Then I'll inflame. Then I'll bloodlet. Actually, Bloodlet won't do anything that these won't already do, but well, what do we get out of Jack of All Trades? Another discovery. What could it be? Will it be something worth Bloodletting for? I don't know. I'll give it a go. Another level of Rupture. But I haven't used uh, the other one yet, have I? Uh, the, the one that makes me lose health every turn. But metallicize would be pretty sweet. Yeah, the ruptures will stack. That that much I know. And I'm about to consider bloodletting anyway. Mm, I will admit the the block is tempting. Don't know how long I'm going to be here for. That's a lot of hit points on that thing. It's time to lift, Jake. I know, I know. Alright. I'm going to need to bloodlet regardless, but let's uh, rupture first. And then, ooh, well that's kind of useful. Because I want that block anyway. And now I can bite you. Just biting this giant stone slab. Bite you, and then bludgeon you, and then really wish that I had uh, vulnerability on you. But oh well. Smashy smashy. Okay, you will hurt me a little bit. And that countdown timer does fill me with woe. Right, still no barricade, but I do get brutality now. And I can vulnerable you. You don't seem to be invulnerable to it. I guess I just have to do this. I would have liked to have done more. Yeah, without barricade, this thing's a waste of time. Why can't I get a health pool like that? Alright, so you put weakened on me. Hey, barricade! I want that, but I don't get a lot of opportunities to... Um, Hmm, to synergize it right now. I get shrug. Oh, well, I absolutely need to deploy it anyway because we've got our plus 18 here. And I want Metallicize operational. Shrug it off would potentially draw me a card that I really don't want, so I think I'll just eat you while I'm here. Although Shrug it off is nice to the block. No, I'm just going to eat you. I don't think you'll get to build up much block. Now, I'm pretty sure it hits like a truck when the countdown timer is over. Fortunately, though, I can shackle you down so you don't hurt me now, but... Well, ghostly armor is always a yes, please. Oh, my goodness, body slam. Yes. Flame barrier up. Do I bloodlet for even more? Well, def 
defend. I think I'll shackle you because now every time I reduce your damage, it saves me my um, my guard. Bloodletting won't help me here, but body slamming certainly will. Enjoy. Thump. Shame. Oh, he was vulnerable as well. You could have used your dex pot for massive damage boost there. Uh, good point. I forget if this guy drops me a potion or not, but that would have been a good idea. Oh, come on, Plo. I only just picked up this game. Oh, give me your exaggerated size for not keeping track of every single one of these little bloody things here. The expectations on that man. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm feeling pretty swole now, and you are still vulnerable. I'll probably want to do a lot of things here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I'll need this for that. Use all the cards I can. Defend, defend, bite. And it'd be nice if I had my... Uh... Chomp. It'd be nice if I had my body slam with that. Right, you're still vulnerable. Good news for me. I think I might just be able to bite you to death here. Or would it just be bite, bite, bite? One, two, three. One. Two. Three. Not bad. I think I actually gained health in that encounter. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. That would actually work pretty well with uh, immediate attacks. Gain three thorns. That lasts forever. That would actually work pretty well with a long drawn out fight, which the end fight might be. The problem is I'd have to part with one of my potions for that. And I don't particularly want to. That health could get me out of a real pickle. Dexterity would give massive gains to block. Yeah, blood is the least useful one, though. I'll just drink that and get my thorns. Draw three cards. Uh, I do sometimes find myself short on cards, but... Yeah. With five power and a lot of low-cost cards, that's probably worth my time. Oh, hello, merchant. Thought we'd never cross paths again. Mm -hmm. Man, go, go full berserker build with that. You got anything really worth my time? Heal four hit points. Huh. Cool. Even more flexing, but it's temporary, so I'm not a big fan of that. A lot of free cards you have here. Remove one of your unwanted cards. Do I even have an unwanted card? I mean, which of these would you say is not worth my time? Even the defend cards are kind of useful in a pinch. But they do block another card from being available, don't they? Yeah, I guess off you trot then. Although I don't even... I don't particularly like Bash. It's too expensive for what it does. But yeah, I've got a lot of block. Oh, but block is kind of my build. I wouldn't call blocks dead draws. When I have barricade, it uh, it works for me. To a degree. I'm going to get rid of Bash, actually. Vulnerable is nice. I can't deny that. But we build more on strength. It doubles down with strength quite nicely. Alright, just get rid of a vanilla thing. Bye bye. Yawn indeed. Right, not far from the end. Excuse me. Why'd you all end up with that? With strength plus three out of nowhere. Okay, well, I actually do start with barricade for a change. And Brutality.
Geez, they immediately want to uh, have their filthy way with me. This could hurt straight away. I might actually shockwave them just to take less damage from all of that. Reroll defend, bite, and dramatic entrance. See if we can't get something better. Oh well, I was looking for rupture. Rupture, well, seeing red first, please. Ah, damn, I need to play my uh, my ghostly armor. Uh, use it or lose it, you know. Now I can shockwave and barricade, or I could rupture. I might not need barricade actually. Uh, that'll free up a lot of uh, a lot of points here. Yeah, let's let's have these guys not hurt me so much, please. Uh, oh Christ, they were already weakened. They were just willing to do lots and lots of damage to me anyway. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, I'll give myself some rupture and some brutality, and let's hope that we can get something really nice out of these. What do you have for me? Ah. Gain two block and a free card for free. And that's also rather nice because they're all about to hit me. Pretty sweet. Thank you, RNG. That completely negates what they're about to do. Although I didn't use barricade. Come and have a go. Yeah, stop hitting yourself. Yeah, stop hitting yourself. Why are you going to hit yourself? Right, got to boost up that strength and start dealing some real pain. You want to come at me for seven? I don't have barricade up, so metallicize doesn't help too much yet, but it's always nice to have operational. I'll do this just so I can get another card. It might even be barricade. It is not. Quite like the idea of uh, smashing them all for reasonable damage, though. And I will get my metallicize operational. And it's probably a good idea just to finish one of them off. Let's just have less of that nonsense. Ah. Oh. Damn you, ink bottle. You're going to cost me one of these days. It's going to be ghostly armor, right? In a crucial turn against the end boss. Alright, this was the absolute time I'd like to have barricade up, or else I'd just lose that 18 defense, but it kind of negates what they're about to <clears throat> do to me anyway, so how about we just flame ourselves up? Wow, I mean, they're practically dead if I just cleave them. And then eat you for the last of my health back? Is this even meant to be the final floor? Come on. Armaments. Gain 5 block. Upgrade a card in your hand. No. Might sound cool, but I already upgrade all of my cards for the end boss, and that's what I'm thinking about at this point. Alright. We got a monster, a mystery, and then the final boss. What the hell is that? Uh, let's see. You die in five turns, so the gimmick is probably just outlast you for five turns. Joke's on you, outlasting is all I do, so it's probably not worth even attempting to attack you. Oh, right, every time you hurt it, it loses strength. Upon losing hit points, it loses that much strength until the end of the turn. Okay, so hit it to reduce its strength. Okay, does that seem too hard? Even so, I would like to get a lot of defense as well, he says, getting rid of defense. <clears throat> Actually, in hitting him with vulnerable might be really useful, but that's all the more reason to have shockwave. Shockwave will vulnerable it for its miserable life so I can keep dealing as much damage as possible. Not sure if my talus size will do much for me. Might keep bloodletting in case I get a lot of high value cards here. Alright, there we go. See what you have for me. Barricade, please. That's not barricade. There's a lot of things that's not. 
Now let's enable rupture and metallicize. Boy, there's a lot I can't do to you here. But I can fight you to reduce your attack power, right? Yeah, so down that goes. Didn't go down by as much as I thought. I thought it would go down by more. It only went down by 10, but I did 13 damage. Why? I don't get it. Or maybe I don't have to get it. If I'll just bite you again. Right, then it went down to zero. I wonder what's up with that. Nothing else makes a lot of sense to even use here. I'll just block. Jake's testing out his PC specs of the card game from a couple of years ago, yeah? Need to make sure it can work with it. Oh god, is that 30, then 37? What is your game here? And why does it keep saying transient? None of these things are transient. Uh, right, well, one thing for sure. This will keep you off my back for a good long time. 15 strength. But I can probably do that just by biting you a fair bit. What's my discovery card? Draw three cards. No, because there's a good chance I'll get a barricade that I want here. I don't really want any of these. I guess I can flex just to bite you a bit harder. Oh, well, I'd also like to inflame, if you don't mind. Alright, so if I flex, and if I inflame, and then I bite you, and then I use Dark Shackles, you're still doing damage? Well, that's okay, because I get a little bit of metallicized to undo it. I don't think I really understand how that strength reduction is working. Oh god, 37. Thank goodness that's going down. Hey, finally, there's Barricade with Impervious. Unfortunately, it comes with all of my nice block spells, and I don't have a way to give myself more, but whatever. Barricade is up, and Impervious is the best of the lot. And then if I just bite you, you'll do less damage, and now I should be able to outlast you. You're going to disappear in three turns after all. I'm glad to see you're having such a horrible time, Blow. I'm having a great time. A really great time. Got 42 now. He is no joke. Right, well, ghostly armor or else I lose it. This is practically free. When you, Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take 5 damage. Well, we're not really doing that, but I get... Oh, crikey, he's going to hurt me pretty hard now. Maybe I should do that, because I'm about to apply a debuff to him without much else to do. Oh, well, when in doubt, shrug things off. When in doubt, flex. No, no, because I'm not about to do any damage to you. Well, not something that counts as damage. There's nothing horrible about my time. I'm both laughing and cringing while trying not to backseat. Well, I do appreciate the latter part. There we go, and it uh, affected for both of them. That's swell. Okay, sweet. Nothing else of value I can do right now. This'll hurt. Eh. Alright, so you die this turn, right? But not before you try to deal 50 damage to me. Yeesh. That's a problem, because I don't have a lot of uh, ways to boost myself. So I'm going to throw this down to draw three cards. Brutality won't help me here, so I'll just get rid of it. Bloodletting could, however. And Thunderclap could as well. Okay, Body Slam should do you in something fierce, as will Drop Kick. So, 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 so. What will I not use? Probably Thunderclap. Well, you're already vulnerable, so let's smack you with this. Oh, hello, Ghostly Armor. Might as well. 
because then I can... Actually, the, the hit points that I uh, lose here I'll gain back from the end of the battle anyway, so let's just grab the extra turn stuff. Grab the block. Smack you. Bite you for health. And then body slam you. Crunch. And now you should die. Probably an achievement for killing this guy before he kills himself, right? I'd put an achievement for that. Carnage. Ethereal. Deal 28 damage. I mean, that's cool, but it's too, too cost for just damage. If it was 28 damage to everyone, I'd be tempted. But it's still pretty hefty. I don't know, it doesn't work well with the build that I have. I might skip you. Even though I don't have a lot of heavy hitting cards. If I face something that poisons me badly, I am so dead. Nice card, but yeah, like you said, doesn't fit my build. Mystery time! And the mystery is just a normal fight, what a shame. Start out vulnerable, start out weakened, and... I might keep Shrug it off, I quite like it, and the extra card it gives. Shockwave will be pretty good for keeping you in place for a wee while. There we go, go with that, get me something nice. Get yourself something to eat. Barricade and Impervious is a pretty no-brainer. I'll throw up seeing red first, there's a lot of spending I want to do here. I want to see what Shrug It Off gets me before I consider bloodletting. Jack of all trades, what do you get me? Take three random skills into your draw pile. They cost zero for the entire combat. That's pretty cool. I mean, what are the odds this thing's even going to hit me? Or hurt me, rather. Uh, actually, I can't afford that and Shockwave, and I absolutely want to Shockwave you. So there you go. There we go. Good luck even being able to hurt me. There's the brutality that I... I think I'll take it anyway. Get those boosts going. Mmm, I do like flexing as well. There's a lot of things we like around here. Draw three cards and exhaust one. That's great. I can exhaust my barricade, which has now overstayed its welcome. I can let out even more blood. But I think I have enough turns here. Yeah, we're good. You're already vulnerable, so enjoy this kicking. I will... Do oh, hello. Where'd you come from? I have something that gives me extra card. What is it? I don't know. It wasn't my ink bottle. Drop kick draws you a card. Oh yeah, because they were vulnerable it dropped me a card. Yeah. Well, hey, come on. What's my What's my random discovery? Deal 7 damage and get dazed, so well, that's not very nice. If the enemy intends to attack, gain s Oh, wow. Oh no, that's a one-off skill, not a power. Well, none of these look particularly enticing. But strength is always nice to have, right? There we go. Get swole. Getting swole is always the right decision. Heal ourselves up and slam that bugger down. Poor guy didn't stand a chance against my awesome build. But that's what I thought when I played last time and the end boss just completely countered me. God, I was in a lot of pain. Always get the ghostly armor, lest I lose it. And right now I can probably just eat you to death or something. Flame barrier up. Inflame myself up. And just take a big old bite out of you. Was it really a hard counter, though? I mean, I felt like there wasn't much I could do, but I think if I just fought harder, I could have taken care of the uh, the time guy. I badly misused my potions during it, for one. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack and deal 14 damage. 
that. No, I have a lot of non-attack cards, so you're just going to clutter up my deck. Wait, we can still lift? Oh, I haven't fully lifted. Well, that can't be. Got to be maximum swole for the end boss. And then we take on the end boss. What are you? Okay. So, do you summon cultists? Oh god, whenever you play a power card, he gains strength. I play quite a few power cards. Heals 10 every turn. He's not woken up yet. Hmm. Okay. I'd like to keep bloodletting and have a lot of options for my first attack. I don't need thunderclap or bite right now. I love flame barrier. Although only one of them's attacking, it's still nice to have the have it completely blocked away. Although ghostly armor will do mostly that. Cleaving them all while they're there seems like a good idea. I might do this then. Actually, I can switch out Flame Barrier for Ghostly Armor. It's a little more expensive, but it completely blocks that. And there's my Barricade. It's the worst one, but it's still Barricade. And there's my Rupturing, so... Although it's a power card and makes you stronger, do I look afraid? I am not afraid. Bloodlet. Get Barricade up. Get my Flame Barrier up. Get my Defense up. And cleave all of you. However, I should also... Oh my god, why didn't I use this at the very start? Eh, upgrade your cards, Jake. Give yourself Thorns, Jake. Definitely should have given myself Dexterity. No, definitely not. I should wait till I have the big one. I hope that did all of my cards and not just the ones in my hand. Probably did all the ones in my hand, right? Because these all don't look upgraded. Ah, oh, bollocks. I thought it did my entire deck. Well, that's what I get for not reading properly. Well, that's okay. We clearly needed the debuff. Stop hurting yourself there. Oh, he doesn't do. He's got the Regeneration Bless on. Right, well, there's my Impervious, but I still don't have my... Oh, I did get Barricade. Well, then I certainly want Impervious on, and that's a definitely good reason to Speed Potion up. Feels like it doesn't improve it by much. There we go, and this card was probably not going to be very useful to me. Oh hey, I did want Brutality, I'll take that. I don't care if you get stronger, I am also getting stronger. Stop hurting yourself, stop hurting yourself, and you're going to hurt yourself a fair bit. Why did it look like it was hitting you twi- Oh, right, because of my spikes as well. Okay. Right, well, I certainly want the shock wave. Might as well get all the power that I can. Oh, this might not be too expensive. One, two, three, four, five. But when I drop kick you, I'm going to get a card. So let's see what that card is. Also... Do I even care about these things? I mean, I want them gone. Because they keep ritualing themselves, but they're going to kill themselves at this rate. Oh, also, they're not vulnerable, right? To the shockwave first. Then I drop kick you and get a free card. Defend. Bleh. And maybe you weren't wrong about it being kind of a waste. 
Right, let's just not have you hurt me whatsoever this turn. Yeah, it's a shame you go away, but away you go. And one, two, three, and the ink bottle isn't going to hurt me this time. So, defend. I think I will bite you. I should focus down the awakened one. And then slam the awakened one. And then come get some. Barely does any damage. They hurt themselves. You don't really do anything, do you? Unshackled, though, and getting your strength back. Right. A lot of options. Power card makes you stronger, but that's okay. It makes me stronger, too. I'll get that, and I'll get my... Metallicize. I don't... Oh, I have bloodletting, don't I? Yeah, I'm probably going to want those extra bits of energy, but let's see what we discover first. <laughs> Flex some more. There's Barricade again. May as well just flex for now. Jack of all trades, what do you have? Draw two cards. Put them on top of your draw pile. So I could make sure that next turn I get anything, really. I'm not sure if I need anything, though. Because I'd like to see what my two cards are. But I have to exhaust something. I might exhaust thinking ahead. I don't have time for thinking ahead. We definitely get Barricade and Shockwave, which aren't very useful, though. Let's see what our cards are. Bye-bye, thinking ahead. Oh, right, of course, it's going to draw these three that I already knew were there. How did I manage to not make that connection is beyond me. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, bulk ourselves up a touch more. Let's bulk ourselves up a touch more. Won't use barricade. It's a waste of time. Shockwave. Well, they're already pretty debilitated. So let's start feasting on the awakened one. Okay, the, uh, the Sculptist will die next turn because of our Mercury Hourglass. Our Splat. You're a bit of a pain, but... Where'd all my armor go? Did I just not have much of it? Well, good thing I still have it. Hold on, this enemy hasn't wakened yet. What's gonna happen when he wakens? That's one of the things with the TikTok guy. He had a second form that I did not see coming. Mm, the little guy's chipped away like 30 armor because you didn't kill them. True, I took that for granted. I don't have a lot of good cards. Oh, well, no, I got, uh, I got draw off some cards. I can exhaust Barricade because I don't need that anymore. Bye-bye, Barricade. Bite, flex, cleave. Hey, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh... Flex up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might bloodlet just to get all that done. Cleave is going to kill you anyway, so farewell. Oh, well, you're already dead here. Although, I feel like you've got a surprise up your sleeve, so maybe I should start eating you first. What happens when you die? This doesn't feel fair. I used all that stuff and now I can't use my cards on him. Come on, take him out! It's like leaving Cell just there to absorb 17. Can't even cripple you. Okay, well that was a waste. I had everything stacked up so I could just destroy you, but nope. Time for you to waken up, gain all your health back, and... Hit me for 45 damage? Dear lord. I'm not sure any amount of shrugging that off is going to shrug it off. Well, I guess we got to get started on it, don't we? 
He lost his vulnerability as well. This seems monstrously unfair. Uh, one, two, three, and I only have two. Do I drop something or not? I certainly want to defend. I might just use my bloodletting. That way at least I can... Oh, Ink Bottle might actually help me here. I can defend. I can clap you. I can smash you with this. Then I can body slam you for crazy damage. And then our mystery card is something I can't use. Which is a shame, because it would certainly kick your ass. Come and have a go. Okay, you think you're the spiky one. Keep that strength coming. Heavens knows I need it. Better play this. It's use it or lose it. I want you. That's five. That's enough to deploy everything here. So, fire barrier. Block. Drop kick. Shame he's not vulnerable. He would have been if I'd got my turn in. But yeah. And just eat the bugger. Because we're hungry. We had to give him a sensu bean. <laughs> we had to make it fair. <laughs> yeah, Goku, just can sell the sensu bean and send your child to die. Top parenting. Alright, you should be dead this turn. Let's uh, get ourselves ultra sw Why did I lose one of my energy? What did he do to me? Well, the world will never know. We're still going to flex up. Oh, maybe it's this void thing. Ah. You're still not vulnerable, but I have a funny feeling you are on your way out. Fight the bastard, and kick the bastard, and just smother the bastard. Oh, Jake. Okay, on assumption mode, that's the real game. You find it hard. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. But when you've got a brain this size, these sorts of uh, difficulties to other people, just nothing to it. Victory! Ignore the question mark. Probably a typo. Ascension 20 is the real game. Well, uh, the game doesn't let you go up that way, and I'm not very happy with its gating. I'm certainly not happy with all these locked uh, relics. It's like, oh, there's a build I want. Oh, no, it's behind a relic. You need to unlock it. How do I unlock it? Oh, you just play the game to completion many times. Okay. But this is this is very intro opinions here. Could be after I play the game for several hundred hours, I'd have a different opinion altogether. Oh, man. kind of forgot what the whole point of the stream was. The point was, I used to think that deck builders were not for me. But Animation Throwdown and Slay the Spire were two very compelling reasons to give some love to deck building games. So whilst Slay the Spire seems to just be the gold standard in roguelike deck building, I'm certainly interested in something that can be like Pokemon Trading Card Game or Animation Throwdown. But preferably not have the uh, geriatric age of Pokemon Trading Card Game and not have the predatory monetization of Animation Throwdown. That's it for today's stream, but if you know of such a similar deck building game, and I'm talking similar, like, you build up your deck of cards, and then you can improve upon those decks of cards. Yeah, and the amount of people uh, advertising that Pony Island type game. I'll give that a wide berth. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll be back with Dominions tomorrow, because we're clearly not playing games that stress my new PC enough. And until I am back with that, so cheers and cheerio.